quite a quite a quite a selection of drinks. Text in, are we live? Tom, go and see if anyone's text in. Text in, are we live? Is there any can you hear us? Is there anybody there? We've got the most amazing show for you today, just in case anyone can hear me. Um, we've got Argentium coming your way. Uh, we've got Elizabeth back in the building. She is here. Um, she's bought a load of incredible jewellery with her. She's going to be here to answer any questions that you have, any queries that you have, and also to show us this incredible product and also to do some fantastic demos as well. We've got brilliant, brilliant, brilliant demos coming up in the nine o'clock and maybe the 12 o'clock as well. So that's going to be really exciting. Um, it's going to be my first Argentium show. So um, I've heard so much about this from when it was launched um, just a few weeks ago, actually. Um, so really, really, really excited about that. Um, we've got um, an amazing deal of the day. Have a look at these beauties. <whistles> Gorgeous turquoise faceted cabs. This is Mexican turquoise. These are the most exquisite cabotins you're going to be getting here. The most beautiful, beautiful cabs. Um, they're coming up at 11 o'clock today. It's your deal of the day. Unfortunately, I've only got about 50 of these available. They are so, so, so beautiful. And so like the uh, Kingman turquoise that we've had in the past as well. That really beautiful, true blue colour. So that's going to be your deal of the day. Um, text in with any questions that you think you might have for Elizabeth and we will pose those to her when she joins us at nine o'clock for, uh, for, for the incredible start of Argentium today. Yes, we can hear you now, says Hilda. Thank you, lovely Hilda. We've got Tom producing upstairs. Where's the stick? I don't think it's here anymore, is it? I think they've taken the stick away from us, haven't they? You want the stick? You were kind of poking the, the ceiling the other, uh, the other morning. Oh, you can hear Tom. There you go, you can hear Tom. It's not a sticking one, there you go. There you go, right, there we go. Make sure those deals are good. Keep those prices down. Keep the prices down, Keep yes. The prices down. Keep the prices down. I can't hear Tom. I think he's probably trying to talk to me, but I can't hear him. Can you hear him? No. No. Could be for the best. Could be for the best. In fact, it's always for the best, isn't it? Can you hear Tom? No. Is Tom talking? I don't know. I'm guessing yes, he is. T Tom, if you're talking, can you stamp on the floor three times? Yeah, I can't hear you, love. <clears throat> right, okay, should we start off? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna start off. Okay, tap on the floor with the amount of, uh, with the number of boxes you want me to go to, first of all. 22. One, number one, okay, right. <laughs> I think it's number one anyway. Here we go. Right, let's start off, shall we? Beautiful strand of faceted rounds here. Look at the clarity! Oh, look, we are singing off the same hymn sheet today. Sky blue, topaz and citrine. There you go. Now, this is going to be interesting not being able to hear Tom, isn't it? It'd be quite refreshing. We can say anything we like about Tom this morning. Uh, and I, I can kind of hear a <laughs> coming from upstairs. This is going to be absolutely brilliant. Uh, so 20 carats of your sky blue, topaz and citrine. You've got sterling silver um, um, uh, spacer beads here. One two of those as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. They're beautiful faceted four mil rounds, aren't they? What a way to start the show. 24 pounds and 95 pence. Absolutely fantastic. Only one chance available. This is what the Breakfast Club is about. It's about getting involved with items straight away, getting involved, checking your baskets out because um, these items are only available for an hour after they've been played or until they sell out. That is what happens. Oh, well, I've already got you coming through. Well done in County Durham. That's going to sell out in the next couple of seconds, undoubtedly. So we've got loads and loads and loads of incredible items coming your way. Text in. <clears throat> right. So here we go. Number 11 now. 11. Through the power of Michael telling me. 11. Tom is texting down with... Um, I don't know why we can't hear him. I don't know why we can't. It's quite nice though, isn't it, uh, Michael, not being able to hear him? What? Yeah, it's refreshing. It's quite, it's quite been in the Alps. Oh, he's getting very refreshing. upset. He's getting very upset upstairs. I can hear him. Um, what? Amethyst, citrine and praseolite? Ashercut? Octagons? No, hang on. Is this, this is the wrong... This is the wrong box, surely. There's not three of them in here. Yeah, these are not octagons. What's the code on this? Oh no, this is really confusing. 
This is confusing. Sorry, everyone. <sighs> Hello. It is. It is. Don't be rude to me, mate. No, well, it's not. That's what's in that box there. Right, okay. What should we, what should we do now? Okay, three chances available. Here we go. So let's find... Let's find the image for this beauty, shall we? Here we go. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Text in, everybody. Oh, no, no, this isn't working. Everything's breaking. Here we go. There you go. Amethyst, citrine, and praseolite, ashokut, oxygens. Here we go. More information. There's your photograph. Come on, Michael. There you go. There's your photograph for them. Twelve ninety-five for all three of these today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amethyst, citrine, and praise it like there you go. Absolutely gorgeous. Twelve pounds and ninety-five pence. I've only got three chances available. Come through on our phone lines 0800 six triple four six triple five, or get involved on our website jewelrymaker.com. Or you can. What else can you do, Michael? You, you can, can tap the app, Carol. Tap the app, Michael. Tap it. Here we go. This is. I'm definitely tapping. Tapping that app. You go for it, mate. Oh my gosh, a loose gemstone. Is it really? Yeah. I have a lovely bunch of coconuts. I've also got the most amazing Kunzite loose gem. Ew, gorgeous. Look at this. Incredible, only one chance available. This is the actual one you're going to be getting. One chance available for your gorgeous mixed colour kunzite faceted multi-shaped stone. 81.95 should be a price point. You can forget that, Michael J. Wolf. All the way down, one available. Here we go. Nineteen pounds and ninety-five pence for this gem. Well done. That's gone. Collector in Moray. Well done to you, my darling. Okay, road like garnet coming up now. Oh, let's put that there. Here we go, road like garnet. Oh wow, these are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Here we go. So. Road like garnet, beautiful micro faceted rounds that you're going to be getting here. These are two mil rounds that you're going to be getting. Only one chance available. Here we go. Let's get that price point all the way down. Here we go. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Here we go. All the way down, £32.95. pence. Let's get that price point down. Is it warm in here, Michael? Yes. Is it warm in here already? I thought, yeah. Oh my gosh. Seven pounds seventy-seven. That is your deal. One chance available. Who's going to get it? Because pretty much everything that we've already bought you is already sold out, which is absolutely brilliant. Gorgeous. Well done. Um, Twenty-four carats of your beautiful road like garnet here. Oh, that. Oh, that air's nice. Wherever that's just come from. Where's that just come from? I'm sharing the air. Seven pounds seventy-seven. Oh, that's very nice, wherever that's just come from. Glenda, that could go to you, my darling. Um, only one chance available. Someone's got the, there you go, our Glenda's got it. Well done, lovely, well done. Next. Beautiful, Botswana. Botswana, Botswana. So I found myself this morning at uh, quarter past six, bribing my children with the golden arches. And my husband said to me this morning, gosh, that's a bit early to, uh, to start getting that card out. Uh, but yeah, so they have promised me if they are very, very well behaved today, if Hattie does well in her spelling test and well in her maths test, um, that I will be taking them to the Golden Arches for dinner. They were literally doing cartwheels. Botswana agate, oval and pear cabochon. So I've got uh, only one available. This is the actual one you're going to be getting, two ovals and a pair. One chance. Who's going to get this last opportunity all the way down? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, 70 carats of Botswana agate there. There we go, seven pounds and 95 pence. If you're trying to watch us on the website, um, which probably means you can't, I don't know, it, there doesn't appear to be any um, anything coming up on the website. Um, oh no, this is just, this is just awful. I'm so sorry, everybody, but we're live. We are definitely live. Uh, but if you could try and watch us either on our app or, or, or tune in and watch us on the telly, then that would be great. Yes, you are live, sound was off initially. Now there's just, now it's just a little quiet, so excited. Oh, dear, dear, says Sarah in Cheshire. Sarah, are you watching us on the website? How are you watching us? Let us know. Well done, Judith. 
See, Judith has come through to get that on the web. Silver obsidian. Ew. Ew. Look at these beauties. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that silver obsidian. Isn't that gorgeous? That beautiful kind of moon quality. One chance available. Here we go. You're right there, Michael, on your really squeaky chair. It's a very, very squeaky chair, that one. Um, beautiful quality, 18 mil rounds, 10 on the strand, should be 19.95. This is the last one available. This is the only one that we've got. Here we go, all the way down. One chance, 7.95. That's amazing for silver obsidian. That is absolutely amazing. A collector there, well done. Who's gonna get this last chance available? We've got Argentium coming up at nine o'clock. We've got the lovely Elizabeth um, uh, joining us. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. I didn't start the day very well with her. I called her Caroline first thing. I said, Caroline! And she said, or Elizabeth! <laughs> oh, fail. Fail, I know, it's not good, is it? Okay, Zavarite Garnet coming up now. Here we go. Zavarite, Zavarite, Zavarite. So, Breakfast Club hour, everything is available for an hour after it's been uh, played or until it sells out. That's all you need to know about the eight o'clock hour. Zavarite Garnet graduated faster rondelles, two by one to three by two, they're beautiful. One of the rarest varieties of garnet in the world. All the way from Tanzania, which is just around the corner from Zavara National Park. Uh, where this incredible gemstone was initially discovered. Absolutely beautiful. 12 and a half carats here. It's got this gorgeous natural green tone and this really beautiful luminosity which comes out of it. Should be £47.95. pence. Let's get that price point even lower for you today. How many have we got, Tom? Six available. Oh, that's a good, uh, good quantity for the Breakfast Club show. £23.95. Well done. Michael, have you had your breakfast today? Yes. What have you had? Um, overnight oats. Overnight oats? And what were they overnighted with? They overnighted with um, uh, seeds, seeds, nuts, nuts, and protein. And protein, Chocolate lovely. Protein. Tom, have you had your uh, breakfast this morning? What have you had? Protein shake. What about you, Ollie? Ollie hasn't had his breakfast yet. Tom's had three dozen eggs, so he's roughly the size of a barge. <laughs> <laughs> £23.95. We're down now to the last three chances. Well done. We've got the alarm clock deal coming up now. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, right, Michael, you're on. Oh, what is it? Just get that alarm clock. Just get the alarm clock. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say alarm clock. Alarm clock. Okay, can you, can you just... I think we need a bit more of an intro because I've only just got the strand. Can you just do it again? Oh, oh, just do it again. Um, Okay. Uh, oh, boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say alarm clock. Hello, clock. Alarm clock head. You got the alarm clock for a head. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you actually did for a second. <laughs> I'd love to have an alarm clock head. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to a fan I'm going to a fancy dress party uh, tomorrow night. My friend's fortieth, Abby. Uh, she's my best friend. It was. It's meant to be. Um, uh, 80s screen icons. So I'm going as Gordon Gecko, um, and my um, husband is going as Teen Wolf. Oh, yeah. Which Teen Wolf? Like, what's he dressed in? Uh, the basketball outfit. Oh, okay. Teen Wolf. There's two versions. There's pick that, and there's a tux as well, the white tux. Of course, the tuxedo, yes. Yeah. Um, no, he's just going as, he's just going, yeah. I can't wait. Cartwheels and stuff. It's like going to look amazing. <laughs> Very hairy. Um, gorgeous. Only 20 of these available. Pink Opal graduated rounds, six to eight mil in size. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, Pink Opal all the way from Peru. Should be 18.95. Really, should it, Tom? That sounds a bit low already. How about under a fiver? That sounds amazing. How many do we have, lovely? 20 chances available. Let's get that price point all the way down for you today. 0800 644 655. 
four pounds 95 pence that's absolutely brilliant do get involved when you can we are live now on our website which is absolutely brilliant so fantastic do join us when you can i think pretty much every item that we've already bought you has already sold out um uh, so 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 do come through and get these items as quickly as you possibly can Teresa in kent well done to you my lovely regina well done to you in new york as well more people coming through four pounds 95 pence collector now that's great to see well done less than five pounds for this color this size this shape it's absolutely gorgeous well done everybody taking us down almost into single figures that's great to see well done everybody if you want to multi-buy you can do just um speak to our call center team and say can i order three of these please and if the quantity is available then you absolutely can do or just also the quantity that you add to your basket on, on the website or on our app. Caroline, well done to you in the Channel Islands. Sylvia in Merseyside, well done to you. Collector in the West Midlands as well. Absolutely fantastic. More people coming through. That's great to see. We only started with about 20 of these. We're about to sell out. Well done. Do check your baskets out. That is 4 95 That's the way the Breakfast Club goes, isn't it? Yeah. That's the way we do things, isn't it, Michael? It is. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Alarm Clock Head. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that. Right, what number? Here we go. Multi gems. I don't know what the, what's with the hands. I'm just, I'm just it's getting organised. Look at these. Oh my gosh. I do have a question to ask you as well. Um, so I've got loads of old VHSs. Um, they just need to go in the bin, don't they? They just need to go into. They need to go to the tip. No one's going to want them, are they? Don't People don't want DVDs. Oh, I buy DVDs. They do take DVDs, though, charity yeah, shops, DVDs, don't they? But not, but, but not VHSs. Yeah, I'm going to have to chuck, chuck them all away. Picked out one last night, which, uh, which said, uh, John's tape, do not record over, and things like that. So, oh, it's, it's a Scotch tape. It was a Scotch tape. Yes, exactly what it was. Uh, Multi-gemstone graduated plain rondelles. Now, here, you're going to be getting everything, um, oh, my word, including your dendritic opal, including your beautiful, now, that looks like sage amethyst. You've got your blue chalcedony there. You've got your chrysoprase. You've got um, your lavender amethyst. You've got your clear quartz. You've got your Dalmatian jasper. You've got your uh, calligraphy stone. You've got, oh, my word, you've got so many different gemstones on here. You've got some beautiful um, K2 jasper on there as well. £19.95. pence. The beauty of this, obviously, um, is that your... Um, the beauty of these, obviously, is that you don't have to buy a dozen different strands. You could just get one strand with all of these incredible gems on. Liz, good morning. It was lovely to see that Tom was perfectly colour matched with the smoky quartz on your Facebook Live, says Liz. He will go to any, any lengths to make sure that he matches with that uh, smoky quartz. Won't you, uh, Tom? That was a yes. I feel like we're playing kind of the Ouija board or something with, uh, you know, kind of uh, one tap. One tap for yes, two taps for no. Quick, blow in the glass. <laughs> or whatever it is, I don't know. Uh, $14.95 though, well done everybody. Uh, for your multi-gemstone graduated uh, rondelles. Absolutely fantastic. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Steady on. Uh, well done everybody. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. So we've got loads coming up on today's show. We've got the Argentium obviously coming up at nine o'clock with the lovely Elizabeth. She said, I can see Caroline out the door there. There's Caroline out there talking to Elizabeth as we speak. Elizabeth, who I called Caroline this morning. It's not good, is it? Elizabeth brought a boiled egg with her today. All will become clear. Um, yeah, fantastic. So um, Argentium uh, coming up at nine o'clock. I can't wait. It's my first Argentium show. I'm so excited. Well done. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through today. Um, text in as well um, with, um, have you got that Friday feeling? Have you got that Friday feeling, Michael? Oh, today is the start of a three day work. Still Friday though. Section. No. Are you on a are you on a fasting day or a binging day? I'm on like just a normal healthy eating day. A normal healthy eating day. Yeah, I have to rethink the fasting. I think. Yeah. It's quite a long time, isn't it, to be fasting for? Yeah. Anyway, I would just do the not eating dinner thing. That's what I do. No, it's not. And then they have a break from kind of, I don't know. Five, six o'clock in the evening to breakfast the next day. It's all right, isn't it? We can do that. Come on. There's plenty of other things to be doing in the evening. So, 
Peridot graduated faceted rounds. <laughs> oh dear me. Um, August birthstone. This, this right here, this is the symbol that spring is on its way. Has anyone else seen the snowdrops outside? I don't know what a snowdrop is. You, don't, you do know what a snowdrop is, Michael. Stop lying. Um, out the, you know what a snowdrop is? It's a, it's a flower. It's like a little... I know, I know it's a flower, but I, don't, I, can't, I wouldn't recognise it. You wouldn't recognise it? Okay, so it's like a, it's a green stalk with a, a bell-shaped white flower on it, which kind of hangs down. It's beautiful. It's like a drop, a drop of snow, basically. And there's some outside the uh, studio. Uh, there we go. 45 carats of your Peridot graduated faceted rounds, four to five mil in size. So, every, you know, a little graduation, not, not, not too much at all. So if you do want to kind of mix these up, then you could do. Um, looks great with the Argentium. The Argentium so beautiful. One thing you'll notice about Argentium silver comparing it to sterling silver is how white it is compared to sterling silver. It's, it's a really, really beautiful, pure white colour. And the reason for that is it's a higher purity of silver you're going to be getting, which is so exciting. Um, Price point today, absolutely amazing. Here we go. Come on, Tom. Should be £44.95. pence. Forget it. It's the Breakfast Club show. We're going to give you an amazing Breakfast Club deal. It's absolutely fantastic. Already loads of items have already sold out. £22.47. pence. Well done. Do get involved this morning. It is Friday. We've got loads and loads and loads of incredible deals to get through. Uh, just fantastic. What, what, what's wrong, Michael? What are you laughing I at? I tried to do a camera move and it didn't work. You tried to do a camera move and it didn't it's, work. It's quite hard on these cameras. Well, if you don't try, you don't know, do you? Well, I do, well, I do know now, Karen. Well, you do know yeah, now. Yeah, okay, so, so he does know now. <laughs> but yeah, just give it a go. See what happens. <laughs> nothing changes if nothing changes, Michael. There you go. £22.47. Well done. It's true. Nothing changes if nothing changes. If this studio breaks, we'll just, we'll just transmit from the car park, I think. That would be good fun, wouldn't it? Would you enjoy that? Or the pub down the road? Yeah, we've got a harvester down the road. Other pubs are available, but um, yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? By the fruit machines. <laughs> By the fruities. By the bandits. The one-armed bandits. <laughs> the one-armed bandits. Ching, ching. Uh, so Woodland Jasper Puffy Squares. Oh, one of my favourite varieties of Jasper in the last 12 months. I love it. Love the colours. Love the clarity. Love the fact that these beautiful inclusions are kind of suspended within the gemstone. Shut that door. Who was that coming into the office? Gee whiz, is that Chloe Jones, our fearless leader? Oh, it's Caroline. Caroline, our fearless buyer. Uh, there we go. So Woodland Jasper, you've got these gorgeous sagey colours, beautiful, delicate pink tones, gorgeous mustard colours, gorgeous uh, creams as well. £7.95 pence for your gorgeous Woodland Jasper puffy squares. They are beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, less than £8. One of the most popular varieties of Jasper we've done over the last 12 months here on JM. Uh, do come through and get this. We've only got a couple of chances available, so, so check your baskets out. The Breakfast Club deal is only available uh, for an hour after it's been played or until it sells out. So that's what you need to know about all the items that are played in the eight o'clock hour. Well done, everybody. Lots and lots and lots of people coming through. Um, text in, how are you doing? Have you had your breakfast? And if so, what have you had? Anything nice? Anything lovely? Anything yummy? I invested in, in a uh, neutral bullet after uh, at New Year. They're very good. They're very good. The combinations of things that we're having are quite unusual. Um, great for baking. Oh, okay. Put soup in it as well. Put soup in it but as it well. Comes out quite frothy. Yes, frothy soup. Mmm, yeah. that sounds really lovely. Look at these beauties. Oh, hello. What's that? Bit of bit of tassel. Um, look at these. Oh my gosh. Look at that one there, Michael. For the windmills of your mind. Carol, I'm sure there are companies who transfer VHS to DVD. If you have some tapes you want to keep, John's maybe. Uh, just a thought, yes, that is one of the ones that we are going to be keeping. I've done that. I've, I've, I've transferred them like home tapes and stuff like that. But not oh, yeah. yeah. Not the one on DVD. Digital. Good call. Angela, I've taken the day off just to... Uh, just to Watch Elizabeth and the and our amazing Argentium. You are ace too, Carol. Thanks, Angela. Cheers. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so Elizabeth's going to be joining us. We're very excited about that. Argentium coming your way in half an hour's time. Oh, we're very excited. 
You want to give her a big fat demo as well in the nine o'clock hour. Yeah, lovely. 9.95, goodness me, how many of these do we have, Tom? Four? <laughs> Four! <laughs> Four! <laughs> All right. There you go, everyone. Four! <laughs> Uh, well done, 995 Collector in Suffolk. Well done to you, my darling. You're the first one through. Glenda, well done to you as well. Glenda's in Suffolk as well. Got to be a collector and Glenda, both from the same place. Well done. Uh, 995, fantastic. Only four available. Only two available now. Boom. Boom. Chugga, 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 chugga. Um, what number? Thank you. 21, same age as me. Uh, not quite 20 years ago, thank you. 18, thank you. <laughs> 40 next year. Oh! How are you feeling about it? How are you feeling about it, mate? Um, alright. Yeah? I'm, I'm completely fine, mate. It's just 30 that you have a bit of a, a, a meltdown, but I think I'm, I'm fine. Twelve ninety-five, everybody. We've got some of our friends' fiftieths now. Oh, that's uh, that's interesting. Oh, my cousin's fiftieths. Um, it's amazing, isn't it? I remember my mum and dad's fortieth uh, birthdays, and I remember thinking, "Gosh, that's really old." Me too, yeah. I remember thinking that's a really old age. Goodness gracious me. Um, 8.95 for your brother, I graduated, thank you. It's not, is it? Life begins at 40, isn't that what they say? I organise my mum's 40th birthday. You organise your mum's yeah. 40th? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Oh, oh, how lovely. Oh, 8.95, well done, Regina, well done to you, my lovely. 80 carats of your beautiful pyrite. Oh, wow, these are gorgeous. You could really stack these up and do some really interesting designs with these. These, do you know what, would look great with the Argentium as well. Oh! <gasps> There's beautiful Argentium coming up in less than half an hour's time. Phyllis, well done to you, my darling, in the Shetland Isles. Oh, how wonderful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. Let's move on. Right. Okay, lapis. Love, 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 love lapis. One of my all-time favourite gemstones. I love blue gems, don't you? I love, 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 love blue gemstones. Um... I love the richness, I love the heritage and the pedigree, the history. It is such an important gemstone, this. And this is from the original location. This is from Saraseng in, in um, Afghanistan, where it's been mined for over 6,000 years. You've got an incredible quality of gemstone here that was used to make the most expensive pigment of its time, of the kind of 14th, 15th century, ultramarine, which means beyond the sea. Um, and it's a pigment which doesn't fade. So you'll quite often see really, really old frescoes from the 13th, 14th century, uh, sorry, 14th, 15th century, and, and all of the colours have faded apart from this bright, vivid blue, and that's your ultramarine. It never fades. 10 carats of double A grade lapis lazuli. Yeah, that's what we like. Yeah, absolutely amazing. What you're looking for with the double A grade lapis is you're looking for the right balance of Lazulite, calcite, and pyrite. You don't want too much calcite peeking through because that's, that's what gives you the white wisps, and you don't want that. You want it to be predominantly blue with your pyrite, and the calcite is what's the body of the gem, so in the bulk of the gem. $24.95. Wow, that lapis, says Sarah. I know, it's beautiful stuff, isn't it? This is the really, really, really best stuff uh, that we can source. Neutral bullet breakfast smoothie, berries, banana, spinach, avocado, plain yogurt, and a pinch of turmeric. Great start to the day. That sounds amazing, Sarah. Bit of turmeric. Get some yogi. I had some mango in mine yesterday. Ginger. Bit of ginger. Get, cut your root ginger. An egg. No, don't want a raw egg in mine, thank you. Um, let's get that price point all the way down. £14.95. pence. <laughs> You put boiled eggs in, Tom. That's disgusting. Fourteen ninety-five, Jackie. Why don't you collect her in more? Eh? Why don't you, my lovelies? More people coming through. That's great to see. Well done. Isn't that fantastic? Linda, why don't you collect her in Gloucestershire now? That's great. Well done. Only a couple of those available. Well done. <laughs> Who's that coughing in there? Is everyone all right? Hey, Wayne Del Paso. Wayne's in again. I think his next day off is tomorrow. Is that Wayne Del Paso out there? Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. 
Where's Michael gone? Michael! Come on! Sorry, sorry. I'm talking to Wayne. Yeah, but this is your... Come on, mate. It's a live show, Michael. I'm asking what he was doing here. <sighs> Colour change garnet, oval. There's lovely Alan. I've just seen Alan walk past the door. There he is. Colour change garnet. So it gives you this really, really lovely kind of delicate mocha colour I like to describe. Oh, do you know what? I could I'd kill for a mocha right now. I'd love a mocha right now. Who else would like a mocha? I'd like a mocha with an extra shot. You, I'd love... Oh, I love flat white too, but I'd, mocha, I want a bit of sweetness as well. Um, colour change garnet. So when you get this near incandescent light, such as candlelight, romantic candlelight, um, uh, uh, then it's going to go beautiful and rosy pink. £14.95. What's your favourite um, What's your favourite coffee, uh, Michael? Coffee? Just coffee. Normal coffee. Just normal coffee, just like an Americano. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Well done. £14.95 for your colour change garnet. Brilliant cut oval. Gorgeous. Do you know what, Tom? I was at that place yesterday. I'm, I'm, I saw my lovely friend Sarah. We, 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 we had some brunch. I had a sweet corn fritter with poached eggs and halloumi, a sweet corn fritter, which is like, a, it looked a bit like a falafel. And then it had two poached eggs and then it had some fried halloumi. Then it had maple syrup. It was absolutely delicious. Hashtag just saying. Where's that from? Oh, you're having meat. You're having meat tonight for your dinner, are you, Tom? I've not had meat since um, New Year's Eve. I had chicken. The day before that, the 30th, I had a steak. No meat. Oh, I've had some fish, but that's it. And loads of veg and fruit and stuff. Oh, I am missing it. 14 95 is your should-be price for this, but you can forget that. Forget it. Forget it, Michael. Yeah, he has. He's forgotten it. He's completely forgotten it. Here's your deal today. Here we go. 90 carats of your gorgeous Labradorite. Here we go. £9.95. These are lovely, aren't they? Lovely shape on these. Like gorgeous caskets, aren't they? Really beautiful. Well done. With that gorgeous Labradorescence coming out of there as well. Well done. You're having sweet corn fritters tonight, are you, Ollie? That sounds nice. What are you having for your dinner tonight, Michael? Uh, chili. Chili con carne? Chili con carne. With meat? Yeah, with meat, yeah. Very nice. What about you, Tom? What are you going to have, Lovey? You're just having meat. I might have macaroni cheese. I might make a really lovely macaroni cheese. Tom's having mystery meat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a lovely macaroni cheese, I think, tonight. Oh, no pancetta on or anything. Oh, that, yeah, thanks, um, Ollie. Ollie can sense when I'm wondering, where am I? Where did that just come from? Because I'm focusing on the job in hand, Tom. That's why I forget these kind of irrelevant details. <laughs> Multicolour sapphire graduated. <laughs> Faceted rondelles. Here we go. Um, 15 carats in total. Look at all that gorgeous sapphire. Look at the colours on that. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous purples, gorgeous yellows as well. Some lovely kind of almost kind of a really, really rich... Really rich reds on here. $49.95. <laughs> oh, how wonderful. Well done, everybody. Give us a call when you can. $12.95. Oh, dear me. Oh, dear me. There you go. Do you know what we found last night as well? We found a, uh, a VHS, which was long play. Do you remember long play VHS tapes? Mm. But the tape was stretched, wasn't it? So you could fit two movies onto one mm -hmm. tape. Never even Did you ever watch a movie so often? I, this is Indiana yeah. Jones for me, the, where yeah. the tracking went, because <laughs> yeah. it was so stretched. Yeah. Um, that happened to me all the time with Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Do you remember accident? You could actually look, put sellotape over you the You could two. put sellotape over the two holes to stop. No, so, so you could... Record. Oh, so you could record. I thought. Yes. I thought so. so you could. You like a, ah, yes. Because if you poke, broke, yes. Broke yes if you broke it, it means you can't record over it. Yes, you're absolutely right. Oh dear me. Here we go. Um. Uh, Opal. Oh wow. This is lovely, Tom. This is really lovely. 
So we're going to be joined by Elizabeth in about mm, 20 minutes. Ba -ba -da -da -ba. Da -da 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 here we go. Ethiopian opal graduated faceted dumbbells. They are amazing. All that gorgeous opal essence looks just stunning, doesn't it? Look at that. Greens, blues, reds. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that wonderful quality. It's an eight centimetre strand that you're going to be getting here. These beautiful, that, that beautiful kind of harlequin fire that you get where all the colours look like they're stitched together in like a, a diamond pattern almost. They are wonderful. How many of this do we have, Tom? Nine available, everybody. Okay, so what are we going to do, Tom? You should be paying £160.95. Do you think we're going to stay there, Tom? No. No? We're going to go lower, aren't we? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea I was actually uh, the question in hand. <laughs> no, uh, I think. Uh, well done, everybody. £69.95. There you go, everybody, for 10 carats of your gorgeous Ethiopian opal. It's beautiful quality. Look at the size of these gemstones as well. They look absolutely amazing with all the gorgeous Argentian that we've got coming up um, uh, from nine o'clock onwards. I know a lot of you are tuning in specifically for Argentium today. If you have any questions at all, please do text them in and we'll feed them to um, um, Elizabeth. We'll do our best to answer all those questions for you. We're going to be seeing a big demo hopefully in the next hour as well and um, kind of answering any kind of unanswered questions which you might um, um, have. But yeah, send your questions in early. Uh, because we will be extraordinarily busy in the next hour. 69.95 for your gorgeous Ethiopian opal um, uh, faceted tumbles. They are absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Well done, everyone. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Stunning. Let's move on to um, Amethyst. Oh, wow. That is lovely. How many, how, how many do we have? Four. Look at this. I'm going to put it like that. There we go. <gasps> geode, amethyst, geode, minimum 150 grams. Wow. That is amazing. Look at those incredible amethyst crystals. They are off the scale. Which way around do you like it, uh, Michael? Do you like it like that? Uh, I like it like that. Yeah, I like it like this as well. Traditional. Wrong. Traditional. <laughs> really? Um, gorgeous. Um, look at all these incredible crystals. They are absolutely off the scale, aren't they? They're so beautiful. This is how amethyst forms um, inside a cavern, inside a hole, basically, uh, where the crystals grow inwards into that kind of cavern um, over millions and millions of years. Had it been left for another few, I don't know, um, um, a million or, or 100,000 years, uh, then you would be getting even more of those uh, crystals and even bigger crystals. Collector and Lanarkshire's already got two of those, £34.95. If you're into your crystal healing, then these are really nice things to be able to have just dotted around the house for your kind of feng shui, for your kind of crystal healing, um, uh, kind of um, um, uh, uh, um, things. Struggling with words this morning. Sorry. Sorry. Right, what are we doing now? 13. 13. I believe there's a T in 13. Don't you dare start stamping on the floor. Ollie, how many times do you have to correct your kids' uh, grammar and inserting the word like into every single sentence? You ain't done nothing. <laughs> you ain't done nothing. You haven't done anything. Um, so my kids put like into everything. So there was like this thing. And I was like, and she was like, and he was like, I said, Daddy, stop doing that. She says, there's no other, there's, no, there's nothing else to say. There's nothing else that, 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 that I can say to make it say it. And I said, I said, well, yes, there is. Just take the word like out and just, and just, and just say the sentence, you know, normally. 
Anyway, here we go. Chrysler Praise Micro Fasted two to three mil rounds. These are lovely. Gorgeous color. The epitome of green. It's that really, really beautiful kind of healthy, life-giving green, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a certain glow to it, hasn't it? Really, really beautiful uh, quality. They're faceted rounds that you're going to be getting here as well, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence for your incredible chrysoprase. Fifteen carats of your micro-faceted chrysoprase. Let's get that price point down even lower for you today, all the way from Australia, mate. Nine pounds ninety-five pence. There you go. There you have everybody. These deals are so amazing today, aren't they? They're just incredible. Well done, everybody. Woo! Oh yeah. Yeah, we are 15 minutes away from our gentium, everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this is lovely. This, this, this will go beautifully, actually, with the chrysoprase that we've just done. Look at this. <gasps> Genuine natural specitite garnet. You know the beautiful um, Davrite garnet that we did? Let me just try and locate that because it is well worth. Yeah, here we go. Popping these together. Ooh, yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? Specialite garnet, another really rare variety of garnet. These are both varieties of garnets. All the way from Madagascar, should be $79.95. What is it about Madagascar? Like, so, some of the most amazing gemstones in the world come from that incredible island. It, it's just superb, isn't it? We're at £79.95. Let's give you an even bigger saving today, all the way down. Get those texts sent through. How are you doing? Have you had your breakfast? What was it? 19 pounds and 95 pence. Do you treat yourself on a Friday, maybe, to a nice brekkie? You know? I, yeah, I reckon, yeah, cafes are busy on a Friday morning. Greasy spoons. Do you have a good greasy spoon near you? We've got one about five miles away, which is lovely, really nice, but it gets very busy with bikers and, and, and people on a Sunday, especially. Uh, Ms. Janet, I find myself resisting saying it to some of my colleagues. Drives me nuts. There ain't nothing on the screen. Oh, there ain't nothing on the screen. There isn't anything on the screen or the screen is blank. Goodness gracious me. Under 20 pounds, well done. What is happening? What is happening to uh, grammar? It's when, um, it's when the youth today, instead of saying look at her, they're saying look at her. <laughs> Look at her. Where is it, love? Thanks, love. Look at her. Look at her. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're funny. You're funny, guys. You're funny, guys. <gasps> Don't you dare. <laughs> I work with such a supportive gang. Here we go. Ruby, emerald, tantalite, sapphire. They call it sapphire. So 109 carats of your ruby, emerald, tantalite and sapphire. We're under 20 pounds. Gorgeous quality, hey? Um, you've got your beautiful emerald, one of the most prestigious gemstones in the world. You've got your incredible sapphire with all of those gorgeous um it's kind of multi-tonal isn't it you've got your incredible ruby with those beautiful kind of raspberry jam colors in there and then your incredible tanzanite which um, is one of the newest gem discoveries um, uh, um, um in the world really only discovered in the late 1960s and when you consider all of the other three gemstones here are, are kind of um full of heritage and pedigree and worn by members of nobility for hundreds thousands of years even hi all in it Drives me mad. Totally. Totes. Totes amazeballs. Uh, we're under 20 pounds. I don't, I don't think people really say that anymore anyway. Uh, Jackie, well done to Ella, well done to Collector, well done to Samina. Uh, well done, under 20 pounds for all four strands. How is that even possible, Tom? Because it's a breakfast club deal. It's an amazing breakfast club deal. What is it, Michael? It's an amazing breakfast club. Blah, blah, blah. Amazing. Gorgeous. Right, what are we doing now? 15, 
15. No, that's not right. Oh. Hello. I don't know. Where was that meant to be from? That was number... Sorry. Here we go. Amethyst. <gasps> Amethyst buttons. Oh, beautiful round cabochons. We are 10 minutes away from Argentium. Do you think Argentium sounds like a superhero name, maybe? Like Magneto. He was a superhero, wasn't he? Or wasn't he? I don't know. Supervillain, yes. Argentium. Just been reading the David Williams book, Knit Boy. Um, I can imagine people with capes. Uh, Argentium. I don't know. With Argentium. Uh, Argentium. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Sheila, well, you? maybe it's just me and my weird little world. Probably. Probably. Um, well done. Yeah, most probably, to be fair. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. Um, it is. It is. It is. Yes, I am rather strange. Uh, 1295. Fantastic. Well done. 45 carats of your beautiful amethyst in three cabochons there. I like the fact they're all the same size. They're all 17 mil. So if you wanted to plan that design, um, you know, using all three of these, you know, a pair of earrings and a, and a ring, I don't know, a pair of earrings and a pendant or put all three in a pendant. They're all the same size. So you can kind of Plan ahead, can't you? Which is really nice. Kletcher and Kent, well done to you as well, my lovely. Absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, brilliant. Well done. So we've got Argentium coming up. This is seriously exciting. We've got lots and lots and lots coming your way. Argentium is amazing. Um, there are a few kind of key things which I'm really excited about, but I know for a fact that Elizabeth is going to completely blow your minds with this incredible uh, material. I love the fact that it's purer than sterling silver. I like the fact that it's more tarnish resistant than sterling silver. I like the fact that it's whiter and brighter than sterling silver. Those are just the things that I love. I love the fact how easy it is to use. You don't need any of the big burly tools uh, that are normally connected with um, your smithing. Um, it's so exciting. So exciting. But I know Elizabeth has got a, a whole heap more to tell you about this amazing material. Material. <clears throat> and it's so affordable like embarrassingly affordable. 180 carats of milky aquamarine tumbles. Aren't they gorgeous? Lovely bit of pearl knotting maybe. A Marla style necklace, a Marla style bracelet. Just that right size, aren't they? They're a very tactile kind of size and shape, aren't they? They're really beautiful. Did you just say that, Tom? I'm tactile, he said. Not something you'd say about yourself, love. Awkward, isn't it? 42 pounds and 95 pence. Okie dokie. Right, here we are. This is good already. Um, I've only got a few chances available. Three in the world. Let's get that price point down. 12.95. There you go. 12 pounds and 95 pence. I'm even echoing in my own ear. Can you hear me echoing? Yeah. Yeah. Echoey, echoey. Two chances available now. Uh, and well done, in-house designers coming through to get this well done. Collector coming through now. That's great to see. Well done. You're doing so well today. Well done. I just think it's um, it's brilliant that we're still live, don't you, Michael? Yes. After so. uh, after everything that's been going on over the last week, and we still can't use our main studio due to due to technical issues. I think it's absolutely brilliant that we're live. Unfortunately, we can't give you the late show at the minute because the the, the equipment is just um, it's not built for being live for um, for 14 hours. Keeps overheating. Madeleine, well done to you as well. Fantastic. Yes. Okay, here we go. Beautiful ruby. Look at these beauties. Oh, beautiful ruby rounds. Oh, yeah. 95 carats of your ruby graduated three to five mil rounds. They are stunning. <gasps> One chance in the building. I mean, ruby is one thing. Ruby rounds is something even more exciting. Um, another great opportunity to use this with your incredible argentium as well. Um, you, know, um, uh, you know, using that really beautiful fine silver argentium with something like your ruby. Just gorgeous, hey? Okay, here we go. Let's get that price point in for you today. $49.95. There's dozens on here. Well done, in-house guest designer Anne. 
Yeah. Come on, Anne, we'll give you a special deal. 39.95, there you go. There you go, Doc. Well done. Right, do not go anywhere. When we come back, we'll have Elizabeth with us and we've got loads of Argentium. It is going to be unbelievably popular. Any questions that you have for the Argentium um, uh, guru, please get them in. Text in. Our text number is 60777. Start your text with the word JM Studio. Normal network challenges apply. We'll pose any questions that we have to Elizabeth um, and prepare to be amazed because this is the most amazing medium. Uh, we'll see you in a couple of seconds. Jewelry Maker by Storm. For any jewelry makers that haven't seen Argentium, you're in for an absolute treat on Friday morning. For those that have seen it, you're already addicted and you're ready to go. But Elizabeth, you've got something to show us with a boiled egg. I have, but it's going to remain a mystery until Friday as to what the boiled egg is for. <laughs> okay, so there's only one thing for it. Tune in on Friday to learn what to do with your boiled egg. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Tune in 
Peter Jewel We Make Care every morning at 8 a.m. for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the guest checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. 
Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Hello, welcome back. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Carol. <laughs> we got we each both got names. each other's names right. Yeah. <laughs> we keep calling each other Caroline. How funny. Well, we could just each call each other Caroline. It would be much easier, that's wouldn't that's it? It would be a lot easier, wouldn't it? Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. All right. Argentium, the show that we did with you back in, I'm trying to remember November, what it was, was it remember, November? Remembrance Day, funnily enough. Oh so. my gosh. It, uh, it broke so many records, Elizabeth. It was absolutely phenomenal. Um, we knew it was going to be a really popular show and a really popular brand, if you like. Mm. Um, and everybody seems to love this. It is, it is, uh, there are a number of things which I can think of, which, which I love about the Argentium, i.e. the purity, the kind of, the, tar the kind of, the lower tarnish um, um, uh, risk. Yes. How easy it is to use, how affordable it is Absolutely. to use. Absolutely. It is the most amazing product, isn't it? It is. And I'd like to tell you just a few more of the unique properties yeah, from a manufacturer's point of view, as well as the, the points you've raised. Yes, please. Argentium is actually purer than sterling silver. Yeah. It's 935, mm -hmm. but it will, under British hallmarking law, hallmark as 925 because there isn't a 93 hallmark. Yeah. So it means it has 935 parts of pure silver mm -hmm. in it, as opposed to 925 parts. Yeah. The rest of the alloy um, has less copper than sterling silver, right. which is one of the reasons it tarnishes less <sighs> and you get less reaction to the material. Yep. It also has another alloy ingredient in it called germanium. Okay. And it's the germanium that makes it really special. Right. Germanium allows the material to fuse, which ah, you cannot... Okay. Normally, you can only fuse with fine gold or fine silver. You mm -hmm. can't do it with sterling silver. Um, and it allows you to fuse, it allows you to, to granulate, mm. which is with something we're going to be showing this morning, um, and a process that you can't do with sterling silver. You mm -hmm. can, ag again, only normally do it with high carats of gold. So it's simple, it's easy, you're going to be having a go. Brilliant, and, I can't wait. Um, the, great, the other great property is that because of its purity, mm. a lot of people that suffer from not being able to wear sterling silver, or sometimes you know how people's fingers turn green or Absolutely. they have a reaction in yeah. their ears, yeah. this is much, much more user friendly. Mm -hmm. We've got um, customers who can't wear sterling silver yes. that we've got testimonials from that can wear Argentium. Oh, because one of the things that the germanium mm. in the material does is that once the fusing and the polishing and the cleaning has taken place, the germanium in the alloy mm. migrates to the surface. Right. And it forms a... F you can't see it. Mm. It actually forms an oxide layer, which you would think oh, would be bad, right. but germanium oxide is white. Is it like... So it builds... You can't see it. Oh, All wow. these pieces will have germanium oxide on them. But it's like a protective barrier, so oh, it stops wow. the copper discolouring the material Brilliant. or the things that people react to being mm -hmm. what's touching their skin. Mm. So once it's allowed, once you've finished production and you've cleaned it and everything else, the, the germanium will continue to, to form this protective layer, um, which is one of the things that make it unique. Yes, absolutely. But I'm talking too much. We should probably no, get no, on not with it. all. Um, it is. It is incredible. It is. It is. One of the things I love about about sterling silver, comparing it to something like white gold, is how is how white it is. Your argentium is even whiter. It is. Isn't it? If we put a piece of and it's stupid, I didn't bring a piece with me. But That's if I right. put a piece of ster, if I put a piece of standard sterling, it's Mix. marginal, but it yeah. is definitely whiter. We mm. have again, we've had tests produced. And I could bore your yeah. viewers with a, a sort of very scientific <laughs> I graph. I was looking at the graphs yes. last night, actually. It was um, interesting. It is a much nice, it's a much nicer colour, I think, than mm. um, any of the white metals. Yes. And it keeps its colour better and than sterling. And if you sterling. compare it to something like platinum, which is, which is a really beautiful metal, platinum will just look grey. It looks very grey in comparison, yes. yes. Absolutely. Fantastic. Right, so we're all dying to see a demo. If you have any questions at all for Elizabeth, please get those questions in. Our text number is um, 60777. Start your text with the word JM Studio and normal network charges apply. We do have um, three main kits to bring you today. 
one of the first things Elizabeth's um, going to be doing is demoing and kind of dealing with a couple of the um, uh, questions that you had when we launched our Gentium on Jewelry Maker back in November. So it's going to be really fascinating to see this. Yes. Right. OK. The floor is yours. Elizabeth. OK. Now, because you haven't seen any of the techniques mm. um, live before. Yes. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to um, fuse a straightforward fuse of a joint. Okay, perfect. So I'm afraid this is going to be an on and off. No, that's absolutely um, the fine. The thing that I notice we haven't got is the safety specs. Do, uh, do we, we do have a pair? We do have some in... Because otherwise I know somebody's going to come and say, you're not using the safety specs. There we go. Um, now, we're going to start with a very simple jump ring fusing. Gorgeous. And the thing to remember when you're fusing there are some key points because I've noticed that on your website there has, there's been one, possibly two viewers who've said they've had trouble fusing. Mm -hmm. um, and there was one lady said that she couldn't make any of the jump rings fuse. Mm -hmm. Now, I did respond to her, but I'm just going to go through the, the main points mm -hmm. of how to make sure mm -hmm. a fuse is nice and clean. Mm -hmm. um, and that is that when you have your jump ring, mm -hmm. um, you will get you will receive them in your kit and they will be open jump rings so i'm not sure which camera we're looking at at the if moment you just, if you just if, if, okay the um the jump ring will almost be offset and yep. split open yeah you can see that so what you need to do is close up the jump rings so that they're as tightly fitting as possible okay so if so you just you'll, hold that there you'll then michael see can see that 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 one has yeah, closed now let's get it so that you can no that's okay know. you can see the closure so on that it. yep. it's closed Perfect. as near as possible yeah lovely it doesn't have to be touching in every single part of the the, the join mm -hmm. but there needs to be some cop point of contact yes um and if you find that you can't do that the best thing to do because some of the jump rings may be a little hard when you receive them mm. you in theory you should be able to close them by hand yep. but if you can't you need to anneal the metal okay um, and for anybody that doesn't understand um, the process of annealing, mm -hmm. what you do is you take, in fact, the easiest thing to do here is just to show, um, you take your jump ring, this is one that isn't closed up very nicely, you take your jump ring, and I'll just move this block out of the way for now. Mm -hmm. The key to any fusing with Argentium is flux. Ah, um, yes, this and is an amazing, this is the like Arge glue, it is it? It is a sort of... It's the thing that allows the fusing to take yes. place. So the Argentium flux is a, it's a clear... I'm going to put a little bit in the lid because it's easier than risking knocking this all over. This is what allows you to... to, to this is what allows oh. you to use Argentium and not have to invest it in is. so and this much is what, machinery. This is why you also damage. don't need to solder it. Yes. So, so that's the great thing. The, the wonderful thing with fusing is that you end up with nothing to clean up. So there's it, no soldering there's marks, no there's soldering, no fire there's, scale. And there's nothing... With our gen, if, if when you solder normally, yeah. and like me, you're not great at soldering, <laughs> um, you end up with sort of not necessarily the smoothest line because of solder, and, yeah, yes. which then needs cleaning up. Of course. Because you're not adding material to yeah. this, you don't get that, you just get a solid joint. Oh, that's fantastic. So, isn't it? what you need to do, first thing, as I say, is make sure the joint is completely closed mm -hmm. up. And um, you can see it there, yes. What you can do at this stage and i'm not going to do it because i need to be sat at a bench to do it but it's to run a piercing saw down the joint that will make sure it's nice and crisp and clean lovely you don't have to do it but it's just an, an added option okay so you take your argentium flux and i'm Gosh, probably not using very much at all no. are you just a dab all you need to do is just jab, dab it into the joint and make sure that it goes through the the actual joint mm. and then do you want Safety these or do I have these? Or? Um, I do have this as well. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to see through that. <laughs> They've given me this. It, you look lovely. It was the best that Tom Neary could do. <laughs> so <laughs> Yes, but then I've got two pairs on, so don't we look lovely? <laughs> we Caroline. are gorgeous. We're good to go, I think, Elizabeth. <laughs> OK, so these are the torches that you're using, yes. and these are a great little torch. The... The other, recapping on the points that you need to remember when you're fusing Argentium, is to make sure that the torch at all times is full. Because even though you can... <laughs> even though... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> 
even though you can get <clears throat> a flame coming out of the torch when the, the cylinder's nearly empty, yeah. there's not enough pressure and force. So you'll stand here thinking, it's not working, it's yes. not working. And it's nothing to do with the material. Yes. It's there's not enough gas in the torch. Right. So if you are having trouble, the things to test, fill the torch up. Yeah. Make sure you have the flux down the joint. Lovely. Make sure the joint is as close together as possible. Of course, yeah. So these jump rings were used in the last kits to make, where are we? This ring. There you go. Lovely. Um, so I'm going to do the first Beautiful. one. Oh, wow. So I think that might have been kit one last time. I can't remember. But so I'm going to do the first one. Yeah. Then I'll line the next one up and you can do it. <laughs> so <laughs> pay careful attention. I am going to pay very close attention. OK, I'm just going to put my flux over to the side. And to light the torch, as I didn't remember last time, you pull down this button on the back. Um, yeah. So this button pulls down. You need to make sure that the hole on the top is completely open because there's a sort of swivel here. If it's closed, you again won't get a flame. I've got the um, plus, the, the sliding thing all the way over to the plus, so that's the maximum amount of gas coming out of it. Mm -hmm. And so you pull down the button, push the button in at the back, and then to keep the torch on, you push this side thing. Yeah. I don't know what we call it, side button, I trigger. suppose, again. Trigger. Yeah, trigger. Yes. Um, the thing, again, another tip to remember, is the hottest part of the flame yeah. is the end of the blue um, The tip point. of the blue. Now, yeah. I'm squinting at this. That's the inner blue flame. If yes. you look at this, you'll see there's a sort of lighter blue flame around yes. the outside. Yeah. But the tip of the inner blue flame yeah. is the hotter point. So, now... This is where trying to see through two lots of glasses. Don't even is not go there. Idea. I've just got polycarbonate uh, uh, written all, of, all over my screen. I'm actually going to wait for somebody to shout at me. And I might go back the other way, actually. I'll try it that way. OK. So gently warm up the whole piece. Yeah, lovely. And you will notice, can you see that the flux has gone a slightly brown colour towards yes. the joint? Yes, yes. And the metal is now beginning to look wet. Oh, yes, yes, it is. It is. It's fused. No. Now, is be, it really? That's it. To be absolutely sure. No. What you then do is take it, flip it <gasps> over. No. And just make sure that it's gone all the way through. Oh my gosh! I thought this was going to be. No. I don't know. You thought it was going to take longer. Than I this. thought it was going to take longer. Yes. I, I was expecting it obviously so to turn again, black. Again, it's going wet. It's done it again, and that's fused all the way through. Now. That um, is amazing. Another point at this stage, and I'm not going to touch it because it's obviously hot. Yes, it's going to be white There hot. are things to remember about Argentium that you don't do. You don't touch it when it's red hot. <laughs> not, not with your fingers, but with anything metal. Ah. Because part of the properties that germanium cause, when it's red hot, it's brittle. The minute the colour's gone out of it, even though I wouldn't pick it up with my fingers now, mm. I could pick it up with the um, tweezers. tweezers. And I, at this stage, normally would drop it into the safety pickle, which we're also um, going to cover this morning. Yes, of course. The safety pickle will pickle out the any burnt on flux. It just cleans off the surface. That is, sen that is astonishing. We're not doing the safety pickle this morning simply because it needs to be kept warm while you're using it. Okay, okay. So, that, oh, this is just straightforward water. Yeah. Um, you will see. Let's see how. And this is just burnt on flux. You and will of course, see, the safety pickle will get that. Yes. You will see that's fused. Honestly, that is that is alchemy. That is absolutely incredible. I was expecting I was expecting it to go black. I was expecting it to take a good few minutes to get that closure. You you can't even see. The closure on it it's just completely it's completely fused so having watched me <laughs> can i have a go you're now going to have a go <laughs> okay so and we'll... this this is relevant actually to the first kit because the first kit uses these <laughs> jump rings to so, make up the earrings speaking about this incredible kit we're going to do this kit now and then i'm going to have a go i'm so excited okay um this is very 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 exciting so what you've got here is you have got the very first Argentium kit. Now, can I just say these kits, although we do have decent quantities, they are going to be extraordinarily popular. Not just by people who 
who are brand new to Argentium, who've never seen this incredible uh, material made before, but people who came through to get the Argentium last time, Caroline has said, um, um, who's, who looks after the buying of um, this incredible brand, has said that she's had quite a few photographs from uh, customers who bought Argentium when it was launched back on, um, on November the 11th who've made pieces and they've been so excited with their results, they've there, sent in photographs there was one of their pieces. There was one lovely one that, if you haven't shown it, I think Caroline said to see if we could organise it this yeah. morning. And that was of a lady called Yvonne Froelich. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your name right, um, Yvonne. Yvonne Froelich, mm -hmm. who bought the kits to make with her granddaughter. Oh, wonderful. For her daughter and obviously mm. her granddaughter's mm. mum for yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Um, and they had a whale of a time, and she sent through Incredible. clips of her granddaughter, who's 12, oh, make, wow. making this. No experience whatsoever, and it was just lovely. This is, this is what I, you know, I, I, I love silversmithing. I love, I love silversmithing, and I love the, the work that goes into it and the skill that's involved with it. But this is silversmithing for people who maybe got no... This Absolutely. is kind of making your Argentine, which is even purer than your sterling silver, and making it with, 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 um, with little or no experience. Now, these are a bunch of components that you're looking at here. Give us an idea, Elizabeth, what can we make with okay. this kit? This kit will allow you to make earrings and a necklace. And oh, it's in, wow. It's entirely up to you whether you could whether you choose to end, include the pearl on the necklace Beautiful pearl. and the earrings or whether <gasps> you want to make them plain so this is the plain version yes i and love that then this is the version oh can you bring that over so we can have a look um now they are put in place with a high-tech material called <gasps> glue <laughs> it, it's a two-part epoxy oh. resin <laughs> so, but the rest the, the whole <sighs> assembly of the piece is fused and then the pearls are, are Elizabeth, glued in the jewellery that you've got here, this is kind of, I'm looking at this, this is, this is Tiffany's, you this is De Beers, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is astonishing what you can make with little or no experience. You'll, I would advise anybody who's coming through to get this incredible kit. I mean, look at the quality of what you are making here. The quality, the weight. I love, I love making. Um, and that's the, that's I, the plain version. And this is the plain version. Perfect. I love looking at silver jewellery uh, like this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. You're making something which is very, very substantial. You're making something of real inherent quality and value to be able to make this. Um, from watching today's show, and I'd probably go back and watch the um, show on the 11th of November yes. on our YouTube channel, um, and you know, just to get a bit, uh, just to get a really good idea. But honestly, you can make these pieces look. You can make these pieces look because, of course, you've got the the, the little pearls here. The pearl studs here, I mean, that could be the price of the kit easily, couldn't it? I mean, yes. you'd probably sell the earrings for even more, wouldn't you? Yes. Um, the, the earrings, you can see the components. It's made with um, uh, six, of the smaller, six of the smaller jump rings. The pearl studs, which are here, the two little pearl studs. The posts, presumably these are all Argentium silver. These are all Argentium silver, and there's two and options backs. here. Oh, I suppose you could use so, these. So these are, if you choose to use the um, pearls and do a pearl version. Yes, yes. Or you can use these if you don't want to use the pearl ones, and then you've still got a pair of bonus pearl so studs out So you've of got that. options here. You've got the little cups here, which, of course, you can glue, um, just use a two-part epoxy um, uh, glue, um, onto your Argentium studs there, or you've got the option to use your little posts as well. Yes. Um, you've got your larger pearl as well. I love how in keeping that pearl colour is with the, with the Argentium It's as a well. sort it's of beautiful. nice silvery tone, isn't it's it? It's gorgeous. You've got this incredibly high quality Argentium chain as well. You've got the slightly finer jump rings. You've even got a little clasp there as well, which you can see. All of this is Argentium. Now, Granted, if you are making these pieces and you're gifting them or you're selling them on, a lot of people won't know what Argentium silver is. Um, we've got the branded boxes today. We've got a bit of everything. We've got everything you're going to need. Um, as you can see, I mean, we've got guest we've got designers coming through to yes. get this kit as well. It's fantastic. What a brilliant price point. And you can make jewellery, which, let's face it, if you, were, if you were going to be making your piece embellished with pearls, you know, your suite embellished with pearls, 
you know and I know that is going to be selling for more than £32.95. I mean, you could probably stick a one in front of there easily, no problem whatsoever. And it's just so simple. I can't wait to have a go because I, I do love silversmithing. I, I like the idea of it, the, but, but seeing your silver piece go black and then filing it down, and, and that, that confuses me slightly. And the other this thing is, is so if you look at that, that's 16 inches maybe, yes. 16 inches square. That's the amount of space brilliant you, so yes, you don't need you lots do of need, space you do need a dremel mm. um or a lot of patience to clean it up with some emery paper yes you're still going to have to do that it won't go black in the same way that sterling does yes but you will need to put a polish on it yes um so we'll come on to the dremel which i think you're also selling a little later on i'm just i'm just looking at these pieces here as well these are the kind of pieces i mean when i first met my husband when we first started dating he bought me a beautiful silver ring um, and, I, and I've still got it today. It's very, very much like this. This is, this is really beautiful, heavyweight, substantial and heirloom I, kind of landmark jewellery that you're making. It's I really could be substantial. Fibbing, but I haven't cleaned this that since the last exquisite. time I was on the show. Seriously? So, seriously. Goodness me. And it's still so beautiful and shiny. That, that's brilliant. Sorry, Tom, what was that lovely? Let's do the next kit, which is the uh, long bobby pendant and, okay. e and um, an earring kit. And then I'm going to have a go. <laughs> right. Fantastic. Um, how, many, how many have we got left of this kit, Tom? Okay, so three quarters of the stock have gone. That's brilliant. Keep coming through for that. Obviously, we're going to have big queues on the phone line today, just to let you know. Second, hmm, second kit is going to allow you to make these beautiful pieces now what you will probably see is that there are two, oh, the earrings aren't sliding around there are two different finishes here there there's are. the bright finish and, and then this one looks like there's something different yes it looks slightly like oxidized that's almost. been oxidized ah, but right. we're not going to use any chemicals to do it oh yes of course there was a preview <laughs> that people may have seen that included a boiled egg um i'm going to show you how to oxidize your silver um, and then you can polish off the highlights so that you can get that depth of colour down in between. Because a lot between. of people want to do that. A lot of people want to get that oxidised look, but you don't necessarily want to use your chemicals to do it or you're a little bit frightened of doing it or you want to use something a bit kinder on the environment possibly mm. that you can find around the house. That's why Elizabeth bought in her boiled egg. So we'll come to that a bit later on in the show. Let's do this kit though because people are absolutely flying in. Is it this, it's this so kit here? So which one are we it? doing second? Um, so th it's this oh, kit it's this here. One, yes. So that's going to be that one, isn't it? Yes. Uh, Is that right? I'm looking, I think so. Don't recognise it when it's in the containers. Okay, that's all right. Yes, I think yeah. it probably is. Perfect. Okay, so this kit here, you've got your clasp, you've got your two pins. Yes. You should your, have a your long earring piece butterfly of wire. backs. Yeah, we've got the long uh, piece of wire. You've got your jump rings and you've got your chain as well. Presumably, Elizabeth, this is what is going to allow us to make. Yes, this. which looks a little odd, doesn't it? And well, I'm going I to suppose... show you a really, really quick technique for being able to turn out hundreds and hundreds of bits of granulation. Now, the kit is £14.95. I could not believe my eyes when I saw the price on that. Looking at this piece of jewellery here and knowing that if you look online and if you look at certain jewellers' work, I've got to be very careful what I say, you can get pieces very, very similar to this, which cost hundreds of pounds using this kind of technique. Yes. Now with this kit, this will allow you to make the beautiful pendant and the gorgeous earrings as well. Um, they're beautiful. They're like Grecian grapes, aren't they? They're absolutely mm. beautiful. Um, each piece will be unique, obviously. Absolutely, and that was um, the point I was just about to make. Yes. That nobody will make the same thing. No. Um, as you can see on this they're one... Like bubbles, they're beautiful, What I did Elizabeth. with this one is this one's been um, flattened out a little bit. Oh, OK. So after I made the granulation, I then... I actually can't remember whether I hammered or sanded those, but you can do it either way. OK. Um, just to get a flat on them. Yeah, so beautiful. it's a completely different look again. 
It's gorgeous, isn't it? That's absolutely beautiful. And we're going to be seeing that granulation technique um, in today's show as well, which is really, really exciting. There's, I mean, there's, there's, uh, we had 200 of this kit. There's hundreds of you coming through to get it. Loads in baskets. Let's do the last kit. And then I promise we will have a, we will have a go at this. Okay, so the, where is the final kit, Tom? I've only got, no, I've only got two kits on this. Well, I can on, probably on, on here, help. lovely. Although I've dismembered most that's of mine. That's okay. So, um, that's okay. The final kit has. You tell me which one it's in. Oh no. Have you got it? No, I, I've just got the empty bag. Okay. Well, I will tell you what's in the final kit then. Yeah. Again, a piece of wire. Gorgeous. A and I've slightly uh, misshaped this. this, so you will get a perfectly round jump ring. <laughs> this was a little bit of early prep. Okay. So a large jump ring for the ring shank. Yeah. Two earring posts and butterflies. Lovely. And what I don't seem to have in here, but you will have in there, will be two of this size jump ring. Yeah. Which are what the earrings are formed onto. So that's Perfect. it. Perfect. Okay, so you get the this piece here, which is for the, uh, and which is to make a ring like shank. That. It with. will look um, nice and tidy. And presumably, this is the ring. This is kind of the ring shank. This is it this is. is this is wonderful, isn't it? Now this kit, we've got four hundred of this kit already. One hundred gone. You've got your jump rings, your larger jump ring, your long piece of wire. It, 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 <clears throat> is is argentium slightly heavier than sterling silver? No, it's about the same weight, but it does have. There is something about it that yes. has a nicer feel. It, it, it feels. But it then feels I am biased. <laughs> no, no, no. I no, and I totally appreciate that. But but it does it does feel slightly heavier, slightly more weighty. It feels like you're getting more. I don't I don't know what it is. I think the thing with um, all these pieces is we've tried to make something that's not too flimsy and lightweight there is nothing flimsy mm. or lightweight about any of these pieces they are they are substantial um a lot of a lot of people the reason why they will buy um i don't know just bringing tiffany's back into the in, in back into the conversation if you if you um, um a lot of people will buy um tiffany's sterling silver jewelry and um, the design is really beautiful it's very commercial but really if we're being if we're being honest it's about the amount of silver it's about what you get for your money and yes those pieces are you know they can be very very high end in price but you feel like you're getting something you're getting a lot for your money and this kit by the way i have 400 of this kit over half the stock has gone the price is it's 10 pounds 95 you can make your own wedding bands you can make your own um uh, christening um, 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 uh, pieces. You can make pieces. Mother's to... Day, Valentine's Day. Uh, Valentine's Day, yeah. Mother's Day. Of course, Mother's Day is um, March the twenty second. Um, to make your Russian wedding band um, uh, pieces as well. These are these are the kind of pieces which a piece like that on the high street. I'd expect to pay triple figures for that on a chain, you know, easily, easily, well into the hundreds and not a hundred pounds either, you know, well into the kind of two, 200 pound mark, especially if you're going to be maybe engraving onto it or you want to patina it or, you know, whatever you might want to do with it. And it comes with the chain as well. These kits are, you know, 30 pounds, uh, which was for the mega kit, then down to 14.95. This is 10.95. And I'm going to show you how achievable it is to, uh, <laughs> to do as well. Well, supposedly. Um, yeah, oh. it, honestly, if I can do it, then anyone can do it. I do have a bit of a history with tools on, um, Don't tell me on that. live shows, Elizabeth. I'm not going to lie to you, uh, including fireballs and things like that. So whenever I touch Perhaps anything. I will take the visor then. <laughs> yes, I probably would. Um, but fantastic. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Um, brilliant. Any questions that you've got at all for Elizabeth, please get those. Uh, questions through. We've got a lot of people asking for a DVD, an Argentium DVD. Well, I'm not sure about that. I mean, we sh should be doing something, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> it would be exciting, wouldn't it? DVD, says Angela. <laughs> Lots of people asking for DVDs. Um, it is amazing. And, 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 and something which you've touched upon as well, Elizabeth, is that, is that you don't need huge amounts of tools, huge amounts of space. You don't need no. your own workshop. This is very really, much it, isn't it? To get going... The crucial things you need are the yeah. charcoal block, which yeah. I know you're selling. Yeah, we are today. And yeah. I do have a much tidier one. Mine's well used, so that's what oh, it gosh, will look it is, like for it? when you get it. Yes, wonderful. Um, you need the um, blowtorch. The, but the butane torch, yes. yeah. The, you almost certainly need two pairs of parallel pliers yes. most of the time because a, a lot of what we're doing is closing up jump rings. <clears throat> yeah. I like to use 
um, we will be using these a lot today, flush cutters. Flush cutters, definitely. Um, and it, flush cutters allow you to do the granulation very quickly and very oh, right. easily. Okay, so you do need a pair of those. Yeah. A paintbrush. Yeah. This is a, feels a bit like Blue Peter, doesn't it? <laughs> um, and a fairy liquid bottle. <laughs> yeah. And some sticky back plastic. And a coat hanger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, my very tatty ring stick, I think you sell much nicer, tidier ones, but this serves me That's very well. A hammer. <laughs> yes, cuddly toy. <laughs> so, is that, so is that a nylon? A, it is a nylon, a nylon head. You could hammer. use a hide a hide one or you could use a metal could one. You could use a metal you, one, yeah. You could, but you need to be very gentle if you're using a metal maybe one. Coat and maybe put some masking yes, tape over it. I mean, it or a some nylon one is. Despite Softer. the fact mine's very tatty, it's very <laughs> it's very useful. And yes. again, I think you're, you're selling Steel these. Block. Mine has been sat in my shed, which is why it's looking quite so revolting. Anybody buying one will get a nice tidy one. And some flux as well, which, and some um, flux, which yes. we do have on today's show. I know a lot of you want you uh, can't, more of this. You cannot fuse without the flux. <gasps> so so the, two, the three, if you didn't have any of the other tools, mm. the three things that you must have are a charcoal block, yeah. and it needs to be a natural charcoal block, there are, there are other types available, yeah. and the composite ones don't work as well. Okay. Um, the flux yeah. and the torch. Perfect. Sarah in Cheshire, flipping love Argentium, and Elizabeth is ace. Thank you very much. That's nice, isn't it? Well, I hope she's going to enjoy doing this. Absolutely. Kits as well. The 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 torch that we've got here. So the so the primary tools we're talking about are the torch, um, the charcoal block. And the flux. I've got all three of them here. So oh, um, that's the charcoal block. So lovely. <clears throat> um, uh, so that's that's the charcoal block. Yeah, I'll get that in a sec. There we go. And the There's little it. bottle of flux. Okay. So um, so your blowtorch is that what you want to do first, Tom? Tom? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So the blowtorch. I will just pop that there. There we go. So the blowtorch first. You can get the gas to fill this up from any any good uh, news agents. It's the same as kind of lighter fluid, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's, um, it's it comes <clears> in a in a canister. I think you can't sell this because um, of transporting. Exactly. But any news agents mm -hmm. um, yeah. will sell this type of thing. And you fill it up from the bottom. Follow the instructions on the can, um, and here is your incredible torch. If you've got the torch which we used for things like fold forming, it's the same. It's the same kind of torch, isn't it? This. Um, this um, uh, well, I'm not sure which, which which you use for fold forming, but if it's sort of a similar torch yes, to this, absolutely, yes, absolutely, yes, yes. Um, so fantastic torch. You will be using it across quite a few mediums here at Jewelry Maker. So um, so well worth getting this today. Uh, so it's your micro butane torch. It comes with a really lovely stand as well. Very very simple stand, but so worth it because of course this is going to get very 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 hot. The last thing you want to do is put it down flat um, and then, of course, that will singe yes. um, um, uh, whatever surface it goes onto. So brilliant that it's got the little stands. Some of them don't come with stands, which just baffles me. Mine did, um, but I don't have it with me. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> never mind. That's a good example. <laughs> <laughs> so your micro butane torch today. We'll have loads of people coming through for this. Unfortunately, with a lot of these tools, we don't have thousands in stock. And I know that, you know, a, a, a lot of people want these. Um, 50 of these available, already loads of people coming through to get this. Here's your incredible price point, £34.95 for your micro torch. Um, brilliant. And you will find that the, uh, that the gas, on um, when you do fill it up with the gas, um, it will last a good while. You saw how long Elizabeth was using that torch for. It wasn't very long at all. Obviously, there'll be mm. certain techniques, I'm sure, where you use it for much longer. But, um, but, but, but it, will, it will last you a long, long time. Um, so all you need to go with this is, is just go to your local news agents or supermarket and get some gas uh, to fill that up with so 34.95 for this today well done everyone keep coming through for that which one do you want to do now tom okay let's do the charcoal block now which is this one here so this is a natural charcoal block why does it need to be natural what, um, what is it, it about it it gives off or it helps produce a protective oh wrong teeth protective <laughs> atmosphere when you're fusing okay so it actually just helps keep the work nice and clean yeah but it also it generally does produce a better fuse i've tried the composite blocks mm. which are slightly less expensive but actually they they don't give the same effect at yeah. all okay and they make fusing a lot harder yeah okay um right so price on this let's just get the price in um, we don't have many of these either um, only 150 available. I mean, they're, it's just going to sell out. So 9.95 for this today. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. So um, uh, 9.95 for your charcoal block today. Well done. Um, Guess designer Jan's come through to get this. Loads of other people. Lots of people multi buying as well. Um, and um, I suppose if you're working on different projects, 
would it be beneficial to have a couple of these well, on the go? Well, I do tend to keep two on the go because, yeah. as you can see, the surface of this one, <coughs> because I've used it an awful lot, has deteriorated enormously. It's been fired. It also <laughs> almost always will crack. Yeah. Um, now, But it's extraordinarily brittle, isn't it, two, charcoal? Two sides. One of mine is slightly better than the other. Yeah. But one of the things that I will say for the granulation today yeah. or some of the fusing that we're going to do, we'll yeah. do it on the clean block. Yeah simply because one of the things you will find that if you're fusing on here, mm. I think the piece that we did, no, no idea where we put it, but the piece we fused first of yeah. all, it, it will, because the metal gets to the point that it's wet when it's fusing, yes. it is literally liquid. Yes. Um, if you've got a really cruddy surface, for mm. want of a better way of putting it, it can it picks up some of the texture of the surface. Mm. So it just means you have got a bit of cleaning up. So Right. So on bigger pieces, try and use, try and keep one side of your block yeah. nice and clean and yeah. tidy. Okay, brilliant. Um, I say that because, advisedly because some of my blocks I've got holes in, I've got bits drilled through. Yes. Just because of some of the techniques I'll show you. Yes. So try and keep one side clean and the other cool. side um, for doing slightly or if, messier or things. Or if in doubt, for the sake of 995, I'd probably get, get a second two. one. You know, get a second and one. The, um, the other thing that well it does mean if you've got two once you end up to the point that it's cracked yeah um you can support the work sometimes when you're doing yes. um pieces that need support because the thing you can't do is hold with a pair of metal tweezers oh, that me. is yes. the one thing you can't do so yes. um that's the other reason i tend to keep all the bits of my grotty charcoal blocks because they're <laughs> quite useful for yes i'm um, sure sort of props gorgeous um right this this is the magic potion. This is your Argentium Flux. Now I've got 250 of this available. This is what allows you to fuse your Argentium together. Now this eliminates the need for soldering. Um, it, it acts as, as a glue. You saw that Elizabeth hardly used any of it. However, if this is going to be something which you're going to be doing in the future, maybe, look, maybe looking to sell your pieces, um, then you will be getting through this. It is an amazing material. It's, it's, it it's, is. It's the, the other great thing with it is that just before the point of fusing, it mm. turns brown. Yeah. So you've got an extra visual indicator okay. of what is about to happen. So yes. you need to get it to the point that the flux has turned brown yeah. and not panic and not think, I'm going to melt this. Yes. There, there is an element of keeping your nerve. Keeping your cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. I can imagine. Um, Four pounds and twenty-five pence. It is absolutely brilliant, and you have to get this. You know, if you're going to be doing your argentium, there's no point getting the argentium without getting the flux. You have to get this. Uh, well done. Loads and loads of people coming through to get this today. Well done. Um, uh, just, just fantastic. What, what is the flux? Is it the, what, what, what? Now, why what do you have it? to ask me a question that I can't <laughs> answer the technical side to? <laughs> um, Chemistry. Yes, uh, yes it's, it's, it's basically <laughs> alchemy. Okay, that's fine. That's fair enough. There, um, there are, over the years, there have been all sorts of different fluxes developed. There there's there's a borax yes. that um, mm -hmm. is a horrible material. You have to grind it up to make a paste. You paint it on. Yes. It leaves nasty pit marks. Oh, it's not no. nice. This that's is a nice, good. clean flux. Yes. You, need, you need flux. The thing I should also say is that if you are doing, and why would you, but if you are doing anything that's sterling silver yeah. and soldering it or yeah. your we're not going to do any soldering today but if you solder argentium as well which you can do mm. um it works perfectly well for soldering so it's not just an argentium right. flux ah. you can use it across other materials so Fantastic. you can use it on your sterling as oh, well that's wonderful that's mm. really nice to know you can use the and two. it's a nice clean flux that's yes. why we we like this one. Yes, yes, fantastic. So four pounds twenty five pence. Um, just uh, so many people coming, still coming through to get that. Well done. Kit wise, uh, Tom, how are we doing quantity on the kits on the three kits? We're just going to double check, um, and if there's any left of 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 any of those kits, we will. I promise. I promise. We 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 are going to get into a demo. It's just we wanted to get the bulk of the products. Um, done before we do this and don't and, and we will be demoing an awful lot uh during this show so just so and just to we uh, will be demoing a lot <laughs> <laughs> fantastic yes for the okay so for the mega kit the first kit that we bought you which was this one here with the pearls with the jump rings there's still 
40, 50 available, okay? So this is the one that was 32.95. This is what we're calling the mega kit because of course you've got so much. You've got the three big jump rings. You've got the um, seven slightly small, is it no? Six. No, it is, it is seven. It there is, is seven. A, that one actually gets used on the pendant. Ah, perfect. So the seven slightly smaller jump rings, the two smaller pearl buttons, the larger pearl button, the two um, um, uh, pin setting um, posts, the other two earring posts. Well, you don't have to use them as earring posts, but the other two posts as well, the butterfly backs, the chain, the, um, the clasp as well all for 32.95 now all of that silver you can see there is our gentium silver presumably if you made the pendant from our gentium silver and then you put it on a sterling silver chain you then can't sell it as our gentium silver you can't can you? sell it as our gentium silver and also you haven't then got the benefits that you have with our gentium that it needs less cleaning absolutely that it's whiter and that um it's hypoallergenic yes so, yes, yes um, of course so no yes okay <laughs> fantastic so um so 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 do make sure you don't cut corners you know get get the proper materials get the proper kits this is all our gentium um and and, and when people want to get to, um when people want to get to their pieces hallmarked for instance because with something like this you know you might want to and yes. you know the larger pieces you might want to as well what should they do okay so if they are registered to to um yeah. use their own hallmark yeah. what they have to do is that they need to go onto the argentium uh guild website okay and they can register free of charge with us mm. to be an argentium user mm -hmm. We will then let whichever assay office, well, in fact, we let all assay offices know every time anybody registers mm. that that person is authorised to use our trademark. Lovely. So when they send their work in for hallmarking, mm. the assay office will add um, the flying unicorn, which is the logo, if you have a look. Yeah. This On the little um, logo, which is the flying there unicorn. It's probably easier on that nope. one. Oh, there sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. There we go. So they will add that to the hallmark. Lovely. So you know that what you're yes. looking at is Argentine. And the, I think one of the other things that you're selling um, mm. in little packs is the, yeah. the little Argentium um, information card, which, again, if you are going to go as far as having it hallmarked and adding the Argentium mm -hmm. mark, mm. it's nice if you put that because it explains a little bit about what Argentium is. Mm. So... We love people adding the Argentian mark yes, to their work. Yes, I'm sure you do, um, yes. Because it is, as you mentioned, it is actually a brand. Yes. And it's nice to actually be able to use that additional marketing tag. Absolutely. Um, when you're selling your work, and if you're to going have, to do And that. to have all the boxes yes. and all the kind of the, the branded goods as well. Because um, it is something very, very special. You may have heard of Britannica. No, Britannia silver as well. Um, it is, called it is Britannia, Britannia silver, yes. Yeah, um, and and you know these the, these are the kind of names that really will give you a lot of a lot of kudos as a designer. Um, right, what should we do, guys? Okay, so let's so let's do a bit of a demo right so, now, shall so we? So we're going to do a demo, or we're going to have you do? Okay, I'll do a bit. I'll, I'll do, do a bit of it. Oh, goggles! Here we go. <laughs> I've got some goggles now. There okay. we go. That's a bit better. Now yours are more elegant than mine. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put the goggles okay, on screen right, right I'm now. I'm going to for take you. these off while I'm um, lining this up for you. So, I'm going to make this easy on you. Okay. I have lined up this jump ring. So, taking my own notes here, I will put the clean block on. I'll just pop that over there for now. The so goggles a, on screen are the ones which um, Elizabeth nice is modelling surface, for us today. Or will be modelling in a minute. They're only four ninety five. Okay. Oh, okay. No, that wasn't the one I did. Let's find it. What about that? Just one? yes. I think that was oh, one yeah, I took off. Okay. So you can see it's lined up. There is some part of the ends of the jump ring mm, touching. Yes. That's what you need. Can you so, see that there, Ollie? You see that there? Okay. So you will need a okay. paintbrush and your flux. <laughs> Okay, if I, if, I do, if I move it there, and just a little bit of the flux, okay. This is one of those things you can't put too much on at, at okay. this oh, stage, so it's not a problem. Okay. And then just paint it. Paint on. it and make sure it goes down, because you can see it's sort of sitting, now you've seen it suck, suck down the joint, yes? Yes. So that's what you want. You want to see it sucking down Seeping in between the, through. yes. You'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Right. So we'll move that out of the way. 
<laughs> yes. I, I'm now worried since you said you don't no, like it. I'm the fine. No, I'm fine. I don't like it. I love it. I just don't have a very good track record. Okay, okay well, so. We'll move, we'll move some of the bits out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> She's just going to go right worried. to the car I'll park. Just, I'll just go outside. <laughs> okay. Okay, so to turn the torch on, yeah. I'm going to have to take these off while I do this. No, you, no that's fine. So you need to pull this down here. Yeah. And push that at the same time. Yeah. So pull down, push, and then you push the side trigger in, and yes. that will keep the flame on. Okay. Let's have a go, shall we, everyone? Okay. Button, no, button down, push that, and then push the side trigger. And make sure you don't get your hands in the flame. Okay. Okay. So you don't need to hang on for dear death. Okay, I'm not hanging on. So okay, you can, it's fine. You can just, it's actually a little bit easier if you hold it further down the torch because it gives you a bit more manoeuvrability. Okay, lovely, thank you. Manoeuvrability. So remember the, the hottest point of the flame yeah. is the end of the blue tip. Yeah, okay. And just gently warm all, all around the um, jump ring. And you can see the flux bubbles up a little bit. I'm doing this almost blind, you know, I can't see things through oh, this. Oh no, don't say that. Right, you'll see it's going red and yep. now it's starting to look wet. Yes. Right, that should be it, I think. If you're not entirely happy, and I think that probably has gone. Yeah. So, turn your torch off a minute. You press the button at the back to turn <laughs> it off. <laughs> Put it somewhere we're not going to set yes. fire to anything. And then what you do is... Oh, gosh, is it stuck onto the... It, it's just... <laughs> It's fine. Okay, it's fine. It's then flip it over. You've got a little bit of charcoal stuck, but that will come off in the pickle, so don't worry. Find where the seam was, she says, peering over her glasses. Oh, you can and just this, see it. You can just see it. Well, if you can see where it is, I'll flip it over. Yeah. And then you just need to heat it up again just oh. to make sure that you've fused it all the way through. Oh. Button down, Thank press. You. Yeah. Side. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> I noticed everybody's left, left the studio. I know everyone's left. <laughs> just been left. And you'll see it's just getting up to temperature. It's just getting to the wet stage. That okay. should be fine. Now, what you will have seen on that, since we've sort of <laughs> got... <laughs> I wasn't keeping that clear an eye on it, is that you, you are actually OK, but what you would have seen if you'd carried on mm. was you, you've noticed how... Um, these were made, these are an organic shape. Mm. That's created by if you carry on at this stage, it will all start to pull in on itself. Whoa. So that's that's how we created these the oh, first time right. round from a bigger jump ring, and we heated it and it shrank. Right. So I'm just going to dip that into the water to cool it off. Yes. And as I, I say, you've got, a, you've got a bit of charcoal on there, but don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and you have got a bit of distortion because it did start to melt. <laughs> <laughs> but that was my fault for not watching too carefully. Yes, it's your fault, but Elizabeth. It is my fault entirely. <laughs> but you will see there is That's no amazing. joint in this now. It's got character. I'm really sorry about the black spots, but as we don't have the pickle made up. Normally when you've done all your fusing and you've mm. um, got to the next, when you're going to get to the next stage, what you need to do is mix up a batch of pickle. I've got a tiny slow cooker that I keep mine cooking in. Oh. Or if I don't, if I haven't got that handy, I just heat some water up, yeah. melt it, whack it into the microwave for yeah. 30 seconds to, keep it, to, keep to, it warm. to warm it up and yeah. then drop it in. It, it's much more effective to use it when it's warm. Okay. okay. Um, is this a pickling solution that you can use for sterling silver as well? The honest answer is I don't know. I wonder whether I you can. I would think you probably could. This is, is a it's, safety it's, pickle. It's a um, citric acid. It is a citric it, acid, a citric yes. acid, isn't so it? So I don't yeah. think it's going to have any adverse effects on anything you do okay. with sterling. Um, okay. Um, it's, your, um, it, 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 it's your safety pickle today, which obviously I'm going to need to get rid of the charcoal on mine. <laughs> yeah, but I would need to get rid of it as well. Okay, that's good to know. It's not just me. It's not just um, you. Fantastic price point today. Here we go all the way down. We've got so much more to get through. Seven pounds ninety-five pence. Loads and loads of people coming through to get this. Anne Marie, Gail, uh, Mazza. Um, oh, it's just it's just so many people. Um, Michael, do you have any questions about our gentium at all? 
I think everything's been answered for me. Like it, it's it's pretty simple, isn't it? Really, it, it is. It's really yes. simple. Literally in fact, we could pull you in and get you doing a thing. Oh, yes, I think in the yeah. next hour we probably <laughs> yes. should do. Um, I'm, I'm happy to do that. But once you're confident with this, it allows you to make things like this, which of course we're going to be looking at on today's show, and and. Um, and your and and you know you, you can make some really really special pieces. You can, can't you? and one of the great things with it is actually you tend to end up with not very much waste oh, because that's brilliant. the technique that we show you for the granulation, mm -hmm. you will find that if you have any other other if you have some teeth that fit it would be helpful. <laughs> if you have any small pieces of material left over, don't bin them into your scrap bin. Yeah. Hold them and make sure you don't mix up your argentium and sterling because then you do get into a bit of a pickle. Um, keep all your bits of argentium aside because mm. when I show you the granulation technique, you'll Ooh. see that you can actually use any odd bits that you've got left over to make any size of granule. Here's a question for you, um, um, Elizabeth. If I've made something and it distorts and it's, and it's, and it's a mistake, what, what do I do? Can I rescue it? Can I remedy it? Um, the chances are you can't rescue... If you were making something, these are the components that we were these going to assemble to make the earrings. Yeah, lovely. If you distorted it at um, the stage that you were doing the first joint on the earring, mm. you won't be able to make exactly that. Mm. But the chances are you can probably make something else. Fantastic. Um, the, the thing with everything in life is you learn when you make a mistake. <laughs> that's all joking apart, that's exactly how this necklace came about. Was oh. I, <laughs> I was trying to make something using some round jump rings. And I did what I did to you just now, which was keep my eye off the ball momentarily. And my jump ring just went... Yes. And I looked at it and I thought, oh. And then I looked at it again and thought, actually, that's quite actually, that's nice. Quite nice. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and that was actually genuinely how this started life. How fascinating. Isn't that so gorgeous? So if it does go wrong, everything's about learning. Mm. Just look at it and see what else you might be able to do with it. So we've got loads and loads and loads coming up in the next hour. We've got more demos. We're going to be seeing um, incredible brand new techniques that we haven't seen before on Jewelry Maker with Argentium. Any questions that you have, please get them uh, through to us as well. But many congratulations to everybody who came through to get all of those incredible kits. We do have a little bit of quantity left of the first kit, but everything else is pretty much gone. But do try and get these pieces. Um, we'll see you in a couple of seconds um, for loads more fun. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced Jewelry Maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, theme shows, program guides, and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share.
know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides, and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Hello there, we're back. We're back with our gentium with Elizabeth. Hi. <laughs> Hello. How are you, everybody? We're going to have more demos in this hour because I appreciate that last demo. Although fun watching me uh, um, having a go, uh, it wasn't very long. Uh, so we're going to be doing a big, a big um, uh, demo in this hour. Um, we're going to bring you a few items first, though. Mm -hmm. I love all of it. I love all of it. Well, you can learn how to make all of it. Yes. We've been talking about this on the um, on the break, actually, and how wonderful it is. I can imagine people getting quite addicted to Argentine well, I have to say, pieces. I have to do it now, but when I've got spare time, I quite often just sit down and and, and make, and make things. Oh, absolutely, it's it, it, it's just so 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 lovely uh, to do. The first kit we're going to bring you. I've got four hundred of this one, by the way is um, the uh, 935 Argentium Finest Silver Looped Earring and Ring Kit. Have you got the, um, have you got the, uh, the product um, list? Lovely, Tom. Oh, this is the you one we did from the, the last show, isn't yes, it? Yes, I think so. So just tell me what we should be getting here, Tom, because I've got, it looks like I've got 12 jump rings, two, two pairs of earring findings, um, the, the butterfly backs, yeah, and then I've got four of the posts as well. Um, and that will allow you to make this ring. Oh, sorry, we're out wow. of camera. So this ring here, this will allow, this kit will allow you to make this ring. Now, and a this pair is, of matching earrings. Oh my gosh. So this is what you demoed when we launched our gentium, it is, isn't yes. it? yes. So if you want to see how to make that specific piece, then please look back on our YouTube channel and uh, look at the Argentium show that we bought you on November the 11th. Um, well, well, well worth it. £11.95. That ring there, if that was for sale in a, in a jeweller's, a handmade 
Argentium silver ring. So purer than your sterling silver, completely bespoke, completely handmade. Um, and, you know, you're going to be selling that on. Are you going to be selling that below, um, you know, um, 70, 80, 90 pounds? I very, very much doubt it. Um, not, not to mention which you've got the uh, you've got the um, uh, the butterfly backs and you've got the posts as well, which is absolutely incredible. Well done to everyone coming through to get these incredible um, kits today. Any questions that you've got at all, please do let us know. Um, you know, there's no such thing as a silly question. You know, with with stuff like Argentium, we understand. And I think and I think um, Elizabeth understands. We all understand that there are going to be people having a go at this who haven't had a go at, Absolutely. for want of a better word, silversmithing before. And I before. think the thing is, I've got to remember, is that I said to you earlier, if we were having trouble matching up the end of the jump rings, then we'd just anneal them. And mm. I assume everybody knows what annealing is. Um, and actually, that's the wrong thing, because... Mm. That's not okay. everybody does know what annealing is. All the annealing process is, is heating the metal to just below red hot. To just relax. To release the stresses mm -hmm. that have been put in when the jump rings were turned up. Yes. And then you will find that they move really easily. Yes. So nothing complicated, and I'll demonstrate quickly when we're doing it. Oh, I can't wait to see this demo. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. It, it's, to make, it's to make the silver more workable. It's to make it more pliable. Um, where are you at with um, kind of setting gemstones with this? Is it, is it, I mean, presumably you wouldn't set gemstones with it in the way that you'd set gemstones with silver clay, for instance. You wouldn't be able to fire, fire no, the gemstones um, with it. Well, again, it's very much dependent on the gemstone. Yes, I'm um, sure it is, yeah. That we have in the past, not through something that you could do, do on a TV channel, but we've cast stones in situ. Oh, but wow. that's obviously dependent on the stone as of much as anything. Is. Yes. So it's perfectly fine for doing rub over settings, for doing claw settings. Yes, lovely. Um, as yet, I haven't got any experience in um, clay, mm. so I can't answer the question yeah. honestly on yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but watch this space, you know, yes. you know, it, 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 it's undoubtedly something which, you know, other guest designers will, will, will love it, you know, will latch onto. We've already seen guest designers coming through to get this guest designer, Jan Dwyer. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with her work, but she does lots of uh, beautiful um, um, sterling silver pieces with pearls, with inlay, um, she inlay sets gemstones into pearls mm -hmm. as well. And, you know, well, I, I think Jan will love it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love my Argentium ring. It, um, I wear it pretty much all the time, and it was from this kit. This is um, a lovely text from Michelle in County Durham. Um, it's durable, and as you said, the Argentium no, ring that you've got there... This has not been cleaned, You, you no. haven't cleaned that since I November. Haven't. But if, if, it, if it does sort of end up, it won't tarnish, mm. but it will almost certainly pick up bodily um, oils yeah, and skin. Absolutely. The best thing to do, and I think you're selling these as well, mm -hmm. is just to wipe it over. Oh, here we go. The silver, yes. Yeah, the cloths. Is yeah, to wipe it over one of the up. Argentium cloths, and that will remove all the gunk and bring it back up to a lovely shine. Perfect. We've got the cloths coming up in a second. Um, Hilya says, uh, "Fab show, loving all the argentium." Elizabeth, can you fuse the chain? Uh, can you fuse the chain to a ring in the same way? Many thanks. Um, can you fuse the, the chain, chain to a ring? To a ring. If you mean, can you wrap it round a ring? Do you think she Possibly, means that, or yeah. do you think she means fuse a ring on the end of the chain? Mm. I'm not sure. In either case, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. um, if she wants to come back and ask a more specific question, yeah, we perfect. can give you a more specific yeah. answer. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for that, Elizabeth. Thank you. So these are the larger jump rings. Yes. I'm going to make rings using these, aren't you I? You are going to make rings with those, yes. Um, now, we use those as ring shanks on this. We're going to use a similar one on a ring shank today. And you'll look at it and think, that's huge. But that was the whole purpose. This was to try and make it easy and mm. cut out a few stages. Yes. Um, so you've got more material than you need. <clears throat> the thing to remember, keep your scrap safely. I use these little pots, um, but any sort of pot or um, plastic container will do. Just keep it because you can use it for all sorts of things later. Do you have any shrinkage with Argentium or not? You don't have shrinkage when you're fusing it, mm. no, unless you overheat it, in which case it will shrink yes. in. Yes. Um, when you cast with it, it's exactly the same as with sterling. Fantastic, so we, yeah. we produce a casting grain. That can be used for casting, and you get the same sort of sh shrinkage. Fantastic. But um, just on what we're doing here, no, you won't get any. Um, I, I'm thinking back to pieces that I've seen in jewellers before where you've got a, 
a sterling silver ring um, or a silver plate ring and the shank of the ring you can you can barely see it it's it's so flimsy it's so thin there's such a a tiny amount of precious metal in there these these are in uh, this is well, you, an, can, you can see there's a lot of extra material that you're getting here there's a huge amount yes. of, of 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 precious metal that you're going to be getting there and don't forget with your argentium as well it's purer than your sterling silver it's purer than your sterling silver so it's 93 percent no 93 and a half percent uh, pure silver, whereas 925 sterling silver is 92.5%. And the difference is, of course, the other alloys, which, which, are, which are there to make it up to the 100%, obviously, um, there's less copper in there. So it will oxidise less. Um, you do a 960 as well, don't you, Argentia? Oh, now you've really snuck in with that one. <laughs> yeah, this is sort of the equivalent of, if you want the nearest analogy, this would be um, the difference between 9 carat and 18 carat. We, right. It's sort of just, it's a, it is purer. Again, because of British hallmarking, it gets hallmarked as 958 Britannia because there isn't a 960 okay. hallmark. Right. Okay, right, um, okay. And the advantage there is if you're super hypo, uh, if you super react to yes, sterling, and you need really this is even more um, non reactive. Yes. But um, we did it primarily for bigger silversmithing pieces. Mm. For the jewellery, the 935 has been fine. Yes, I'm sure it but, is. Oh, yes, there is another grade <clears throat> of Argentium. So you, there are two grades, 935 and 960. 960. Um, obviously, you can make your rings using this um, little collection here. Um, if you wanted to make something like this as well, but on a, obviously on a larger scale, then you can do that. I love the way these are all fused together. I really, really like that. I mean, presumably you could you could um, do it so that they're all nice and loose on you there, but, but to have them fused, I think is, yes. it, it's, it's now, the much other thing, more a piece, we've, isn't it? We've not touched on this and we mm. didn't do it on the last show, okay. but if you buy the, the pack that's got these three in, yeah. if you size them all up so that they're the right size and identical for you, the other thing that, and I'll take this off, Okay. that you can obviously do is you can make yourself a very nice Ooh, show that to Michael. fused stack, stacked oh, ring. So you that... make your three individual rings. Oh, my gosh. And, you can and just then you can them. just fuse the three together. Presumably that would be reasonably simple. As it well, is it? reasonably. <laughs> you, you, what you would do is you would fuse the individual rings, mm. make sure they're all the same size, yes, and you can exactly do that on size. your ring sizing stick very easily. Yes. This, once it's fused, um, stretches up, up really simply. Oh, it, it will okay. give you probably two to three sizes. In, mm -hmm. in, so if you've made it a little bit small, don't oh, panic. It will stretch fantastic. nicely. Yes, brilliant. So get them all the same size. Mm -hmm. um, make sure everything's fused. Pickle them. Get it nice and clean. Mm. A little tip is just on the surface that's going to be fused, uh -huh. rub it on a piece of emery paper, which I don't happen to have because we're right. not don't working worry. in the same studio. <laughs> but just to make sure both surfaces are nice and clean, mm. line them up and then flux all the way through the three joints. And then you just fuse the whole lot together. Fantastic. Fantastic. So there's, you don't have to use it as a... You could do it with two, you could do it with three. You don't have to use Gorgeous. it as a single ring shank. Oh, how wonderful. Gorgeous. OK, so we've got some beautiful chain here. Again, this is your Argentium uh, chain. Yeah, well, it, that's what's in there, Livy. <laughs> OK, so what, um, what size are the jump rings, Tom? Is it, is it either of those? 14 by, t uh, 14 by uh, 14 and a half by two. It's going to be those, those, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Okay, perfect. So that's these ones here. That's what we were just talking about here, actually. Um, and so we used them last time, these. but I can't for the life of me. We used them to make these. That's what we used them Did for. You? Yes. Oh, wow, fantastic. <laughs> Could you take that necklace off and then yes. we can pop it on here so you don't have to stand super still so we can... We didn't actually make exactly this necklace last time. I'll shorten this. We made we'll just a variation. It over twice. Um, but um, the the stations that That's are on here, we use those jump rings oh, oh, oh. to make those. I think it would be really beneficial because I know you said you might do this, but I think it might be really beneficial later in the show to see what happens to a jump ring when you keep yeah, on heating. I'm happy heating, to show heating. you because this buckling effect, and we've. I'll be honest with you, on the break, we've just been looking at a certain website and we've been looking at a certain um, melted heart and, and kind of coffee bean design. This, this, is, this is it. This is exactly what we're looking at here. 
And what I was struck by as well, as Elizabeth said, um, you know, feel the weight of the um, uh, necklace. It's absolutely incredible. You can very, very simply, very, very easily make these incredible pieces. So what will be nice to see, I think, is to see that is to see that happen, because just I mean, I mean, you could obviously take it to the um, take it one step further and obviously put chain in between these. But just one of these is lovely just as a Just, just on a, a single pendant. chain is really nice, yeah. yes. Beautiful. So you've added little, you've got little jump I've, rings I've on fused it. jump rings onto the side of that. Oh, that's clever. Okay, perfect. So eleven ninety five for this pack of five. Um, again, you think about how much, you know, the resale of these. And I know a lot of people aren't necessarily going to be selling these pieces on. These are the kind of pieces which you'll make for friends and mm. family yourself, you know, for a wedding band, you know, for some, you know, for someone's silver wedding anniversary, you know, whatever it might be but for. But I know that um, somebody who bought the kit from you the last time, I noticed on your oh, wall literally. of fame had made up exactly what you were saying and had managed to make from <clears throat> the jump rings we supplied um, an organic heart. So I'm oh. guessing they shaped their jump ring into a heart and then melted it in the way I'll show you later. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that sounds lovely. These are the smallest ones. Um, so these are your 935 Argentium. Again, don't forget that number, 935. It's really important. And, and, and I would advise anybody who is going to be making these pieces and then ultimately selling them on. I'd be going, I'd be printing a load of stuff off about our gentium. Yes. I'd be singing it from the rooftops, um, you know, about, about the purity and the hypoallergenic um, uh, benefits that this incredible um, uh, precious metal and has. And the fact that it has this nice whiteness to it. I love that. That's one of the things, that, that's why I love sterling silver so much. Um, a friend of mine, she was, um, she wanted a, she wanted a, um, um, a ring made. She's recently divorced and she wanted a ring made to put, to wear on her wedding band finger because mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's not something that she necessarily wanted to advertise. And she said, well, what shall I get it made out of? You know, what, I've got the gemstone that I want. I was thinking maybe 18 karat gold. I said, they said, no, don't do that. Use, use silver because silver gives you that brightness, that whiteness. I, I said, you know, don't, don't go for platinum because it will look gray. I'd go for silver and, well, and, and, and giving her an answer now, I'd say go for Argentium. I think the other thing as well is that a lot of people Beautiful. tend to forget with white gold, yeah. rarely is it ever actually white gold. Well, they rodeo, they re rodeum, rodeum plate it. Yeah. And the problem you then have is that it wears through. Uh, yeah, the great thing with this is you haven't got that issue. Mm, it, it, yeah. The colour it is is the colour it stays. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Four ninety five for these jump rings, absolutely fantastic. Um, just everyone is multi buying these. Um, brilliant. The opportunity to make things like your little Russian wedding band earrings or pendants. Um, the uh, the ring that you've got, presumably these jump rings would be a little bit fine to do that. They're a bit with. too thin for that. They mm. we used um, this size when we did them. Yeah. I think it was the. Or, I'm it fairly sure. Looks, I'm fairly sure they it look was a little those, bit yes. thicker than these, don't they? Um, but great for connecting things together. Absolutely, yes. And in fact, what we did with these, and there's nothing around that I can show you, we fused the ends on these, on the end of the chain with the fittings on, and then I showed people how to twist to make a figure of eight to make a more interesting clasp Ooh, on the end. Wow. That sounds exciting. Gorgeous. But yes, they're, again, they're a great... They, they go through this particularly thin chain. These are a point eight. Um, jump Wire. ring. Yeah, which is nice and thin. And you need that thinness to go through this this chain. Most of the jump rings that we do here at Jewelry Maker that are sterling silver are points are done on a point six wide. So these are point eight, so they're a little bit thicker. Although they look a lot thinner, um, that that's only because you've just been looking at jump rings which are yes. which are this thick. Um, so although they are quite a bit thinner than these ones, they're actually thicker than a lot of the jump rings we bring you on JM. And I'd advise to anybody coming through to get any of these pieces today, whether you saw the first show or not, go back and watch it again. Because of course we're referring a lot to things that we did in the last show, this beautiful ring demo, which I know a lot of you are gonna to want to do, a very, a very achievable design. Um, please go back to our YouTube channel um, um, and, 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 and watch the show on the morning of the uh, November the 11th. Perfect, which number is that lovely? <clears throat> if I can just fill in a little bit while please you're looking do. for that piece. Yes, please um, do. The other thing, just if people want more information, there's a lot of technical information on um, our guild, our Argentium Guild site. Ah. So if you go to the resources tab on the Argentium Guild site, yeah. it tells you more about fusing. It tells you more about what Argentium's about. Yeah. Um, and it will give wow. you sort of extra help. 
sorry, the quality, the, the quality of these, absolutely amazing. Now you'll notice these are a little bit different to the trigger clasps we normally offer you in the fact that they don't have a jump ring attached to them. Most of the trigger clasps that we do already have a jump ring attached on the bottom. That's where these jump rings that we've literally just bought you come in. If you want to use these, and um, presumably if you wanted to cut it in half, you could make your own jump ring. You could ring make, and make much it a smaller ones, smaller. yes. Um, uh, they're all argentium. Again, if you're going to be if you're going to be making your argentium necklaces, bracelets, whatever you're going to be making, please do not cut corners. If you've made an argentium piece and then you put a sterling silver clasp on the back of it, you can't sell that piece as argentium silver. Um, uh, just just purely because it's and in the same way you wouldn't you wouldn't put your plated base metal with your sterling silver. You wouldn't be able to sell it as precious metal then. The same applies to this. So if you are really intent on selling your Argentium pieces as pure Argentium, then, then you know, get the clasps as well. Uh, 6.45 for a pack of uh, five of these. Marie and County Antrim, yeah. hi all, loving the show. Highly recommend this wonderful product. So easy to use. My granddaughter, Lucy, 11, uh, has had hours of creative no, that's fun. That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, isn't that wonderful? Yeah. That's really nice to know because I think, Quite often, you know, you've got to give credit to some of these um, to some of these young people or young adults, I should say. And um, we, we you know, they are they are um, they have aspirations to make really beautiful pieces of jewellery just the same as you do. As long as you're there to watch them and to supervise them, of course, with the naked flame, then, you know, and they're aware of the aware of the safety issues and, you know, the precautions to take, such as the goggles. Um, then, yeah, it's something which you can really enjoy doing together. Absolutely. It's just, that's the really nice thing. Is that you yes. could, it's a nice way of bonding between the generations. Totally. Absolutely. And it's not something that, that, that has to be fired for hours and hours in a kiln. Um, you know, it's something which... Um, oh, look, guest designer Alison coming through to get this as well. That's brilliant to see. Um, I know that Alison's a massive fan of Argentium as well. Um, I'm just thinking if you were going to be making something, you know, if you're if you're if you're a grand a grandmother, a grandfather and you wanted to make something with your grandkids, something which connects the two of you, whether it's a pendant, you know, whatever it may be. Maybe you live quite far away. What a lovely thing to be able to do over maybe February half term together, you know, making pieces. And it's you're making precious metal jewellery together. And you're also making memories. I think that's the oh, thing. It's oh, something lovely. you'll never yes, forget you're absolutely doing. Absolutely right, Elizabeth. Yeah, you're making memories. Mm. It's really important to do that. Um, right, um, next. Trace chain. Did you say trace chain? Yes. Is it a trace chain? It is a trace chain. Well, it's what we call... It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it, again, it's a nice Gosh, weight, though. It's really not a really flimsy weights. one. Goodness me. 6.6 .6 grams of your um, precious metal on there, which is... I don't know where I've just got those from. I'm just going to pop those there, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, obviously, you're going to need this if you're making pendants, if you're making bracelets, if you're making charm bracelets, whatever it may be. Um, great to have this. One thing I will say, um, presumably when this gets sent out to, to our customers, it will, it will, it will come in a, a plastic it bag. It comes in a like little these. plastic bag, and I, I don't know whether it's wrapped around, which is probably what you're going to say, but it's well, actually quite easy to untangle this one. <laughs> I was just going to say, right on the bag, Argentium. Yes. You do not want to be getting, as you said earlier on, you don't want to be well, getting... Well, your, your, your big, still, your your big bag will have... Um, oh, yes, look, Adam. The, the, Adam the details um, on it. Yeah. I would suggest you keep your kit pieces in the bag Together. so they come on. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Or peel the label off and just use the Argentium sticker that you can stick onto a... A plastic container yeah 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 I think just so really that good. because if you see it i'm saying it's whiter but if you saw that in sterling and that in argentium although i know the difference until yes. you've got used to it you yes. wouldn't be able to tell the difference so keep them separate and undoubtedly you will be able to tell the difference over time i mean i, I can tell the difference between silver plate and sterling silver i think a lot of us who work yes. here can you just get used to it don't you and in turn you'll be able to tell the difference between the argentium and the sterling silver um, but being able to make and i'm just thinking about the five jump rings that we bought you earlier on and and you've got your chain here being able to being able to make these incredible you know a necklace like this which is such high quality i totally um, appreciate why Elizabeth was wearing this one today. This is such a lovely showcase piece. And I love the fact that you said earlier on it was made from a mistake. mistakes. <laughs> um, it, 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 it's just, it, it, it's absolutely gorgeous. And, um, and and we'll be seeing a demo in a second and, and, and seeing just how incredibly versatile and simple and easy and achievable this incredible material is to use. What do you want to do, Tom? Should we get on to a demo, lovely? 
Perfect. Okay, so. Okay, so we're just going to do a box very quickly. A brush. There we are. It's a brush. <laughs> it's, uh, it's 95 pence. I don't want to make you jealous, Elizabeth. I think my brush is better than your brush. Yours is bigger than mine, but that size isn't everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Brilliant. I, I like to, I mean, I've quite often, if I've got one like that, I have to confess, I trim the... Do you trim the, it down? I do trim yeah. it because no, the thing is, enough. I like to be able to get right down. You like the precision. I do. Yeah. But yeah. for some of the work we're going to be doing later on, actually having a bigger I'll tip on the end. I'll let you my brush if you want well, to. Uh, we'll Elizabeth. see. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Okay. What are we going to be? Uh, what are we going to be looking at? Are you asking me? Oh, you're I'm asking, asking me. You, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think are we doing the big kit first yes, of all. Yes, please. That okay. would be really lovely. So what what we're going to start with is Beautiful. making the earrings, which um, I've got no idea where they've gone, but that doesn't really matter. So they're the earrings that, um, in the stage before the pearls are set into them, look like this. Yeah, I don't know lovely. whether you can see them. Oh. Um, and this is going to use the simple technique of fusing. So we won't make a pair, we will just make one of these. And the thing with this is um, to remember, as I've said already, is that we need to make sure the ends are closed up um, on the first jump ring that we use and that we get the um, flux down the middle of them. Mm. No, just just to let you know, whilst Elizabeth's um, getting sorted, um, the deal of the day, we're probably going to be delaying the deal of the day till about half past 11 because we've got so much Argentium stuff to do and the demo and all that kind of stuff. So, In fact, yeah. um, because this is one of those things, it's easier to show on a slightly bigger scale. Mm -hmm. The technique's exactly the same for the earrings as it is. I'm going to do it with the bigger yeah, ones for the probably, pendant because yeah, it is good. a little bit easier to see. <clears throat> um, but everything that I do here will be exactly the same thing you do for the small size ones. Yeah. Um, so... I find that when I do this, what I like to do is close up the first jump ring. Yeah. Um, because obviously you don't want to close them all up, otherwise you won't be able to join them of together. Course, yes. So these are slightly stiff mm. because they've, they've been turned into jump rings. Mm. So I'm going to do what we said, which is anneal them. So oh, I'm going to put my safety so specs on. So can you work on. hard? And, will it work hard it, in the same way? There, that there are two other benefits to or well, There's another benefit we haven't touched on this morning with Argentium, and that is... It work hardens exactly the same way that sterling does, so it will need annealing. The mm, more the yeah. more you do to it, the harder it gets, basically. Yeah. Um, but if you've got a final fusing, it will then go soft again. Ooh, and there are some things right. that you might not want that to happen with. Yeah. So a, the soft ring is not mm. ideal. Um, if you've got earring pins on the back of something, it's mm. not ideal. Mm. So there is a trick that you can use with Argentium to heat harden it after you've finished all your final production. Wow, fantastic. Um, you might need to give it a, a final buff once it's been heat hardened. Take a baking tray, a normal mm. enamel or um, non-stick baking tray, put your oven up to full temperature, put whatever you want to work harden in there, mm -hmm. lay it across the tray and put it in the oven for an hour, an hour and a half at full temperature. And what you will find is that it will go from being um, quite a soft ear pin to a very hard springy ear pin. You wow. can reverse that by reheating it of with a torch at any yes. stage. But if you want to get to that stage that your jewellery has got a little bit more strength to it, mm. particularly ear pins. Of course, yes. Um, I mean, sometimes I don't bother, mm. but if you're, like I can be, a little heavy handed, it is better if the pins are hardened. Okay. Um, just do that. And the same as we learn to build new pieces, um, I mean, that has not been heat hardened and that's that's got nice strength to it because mm. it's not really thin and flimsy. Mm. But if you use very thin wire to make ear wires or um, jump rings, jump, very yeah. thin jump rings, you can heat harden it in the domestic really oven. Good. Great stuff. Okay, okay, so I'm going to anneal this very quickly. Glasses. And you anneal it just to remove the stresses from the metal. I'll just put that out of the, the way. And when you anneal Argentium, the other thing to say is it's not quite like sterling. Sterling glows very bright red. Yeah. Argentium has got a it's a sort of stage down from the bright red. Okay. So don't expect it to get bright red in exactly the same way. Oh, here we go. Um, and it is just a matter of going in and gently warming it. You'll see it goes slightly brown. 
and then it'll sort of go back to silver again. That should be sufficient to have annealed it. Oh, okay. Because all I'm doing is just taking the stress out of the metal. Yeah. Um, and again, ordinarily, what I would do, I've let the colour go out of it, but I would pickle it at this stage. We're yeah. not doing this, so um, excuse any sort of skipping stages. That's, That's right. just for the sake of speed. Now, you will find that that's much, much... If you, oh, gosh. If you feel that, that's yeah. quite stiff. This one now is Goodness very me. soft. So that that's, the, that's the difference. That's the difference. I'll show you very quickly. Here it is, kind of, you can feel the stiffness there. Um, whereas this one here, much easier. And Perfect. it's not quite such an issue on these big ones, mm. but when you're on these smaller, thicker ones... Yeah it's best to do it because it does make life much easier Absolutely, when you come to match yes. up the ends. Gorgeous. So I'm going to take the first one and do exactly that. I'm just going to match up the end. Yep, lovely. Chop what it off the charcoal block. And these are saw cut, presumably, rather than, yes. rather than cut. Because you get that lovely flush. Although I am going to do a shortcut later on and Ooh, just do brilliant. exactly that and cut them. Love it. OK, so it flux on. Mm. Safety goggles on. Yep, come on, Elizabeth. Oh, you've got yours on. I've got mine on. <laughs> okay, torch lit, gently warm round. And you'll see the flux bubble has bubbled up. Yeah. Oh, you can see. You can just see it's getting to the temperature just about three seconds from now. There, it's just going, just gone wet. Yeah. Um, let it cool until there's no colour in it. Yeah. And then flip it over. Look at that. And I'm Perfect. The, the only reason I'm flipping it over is to make sure that the fuse joint has fused all the way through. So that's it. I'll just take it up again. There, you can see the surface is wet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the first one. Mm -hmm. Woo! Exciting. Now. What we do next, I will just anneal the next two quickly. And I'm looking at that one and I look like I've chewed that one, so I'll find a tidier one. You've what? It looks like I chewed it up with a pair of pliers earlier, <laughs> so I'll find a nice tidy one. <laughs> Your terrible jump ring eating habits. Yeah, Elizabeth. I was chewing on them, I was so nervous earlier that I chewed <laughs> the jump rings to bits. Okay, so we'll just anneal these two. Okay. Cool. Here we go. And you may not need to do this, but this is just sort of to make sure that everything's fine. <clears throat> it becomes, it goes kind of shiny, then it goes frosty, it doesn't it? It sort of goes a slightly brown colour. It does, it, it does it, go a little bit gold almost. It should go, if I don't lose my nerve, it should sort of go back to silvery colour. Mm. Oh yes, you can see, yeah. yes, yes, you can see so it going back. That'll be it for the annealing. Lovely. Tweezers. Love that. Hiding. I'll just cool those down. Right, so you can do this one of two ways. You can put them in, in a long line and fuse one of these, which is what I'm just going to do here. Adam okay, so these are me. joined. It looks like I'm starting to make the Olympic rings, but yes. I'm not. <laughs> so. So the one in the centre is the one that's The one in the centre fused. is the fused one. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to... I'm just wondering whether to do it all in one, but I don't think I will. So what I want to do is get the one I'm going to fuse next uh, so that it's as flat as it can be. Yes, lovely. Because the thing that does happen when it gets very hot is it, it will tend to ha want to slump. So ah. try and get it as flat as possible because otherwise what you'll find is it will distort slightly. You can rectify it, but mm. it just makes it a little bit easier at this stage. So the same thing again, put the flux in the joint. Don't get flux anywhere else, because if you get flux anywhere else, if any of the other silver's touching it, if you've got flux and two, it'll together. fuse. Yeah. So be very Good careful call. once you're doing this at this stage to only get it in the place that you actually want to fuse. Yeah. So I didn't see, did you do the other one as well? Or no, just I've one? only fluxed the one, one at this yeah. stage. Okay. And what you would have <laughs> done before you did this, you would have pickled everything. You would have pickled yes. it, yeah. So again, 
We're just going to go in hard and fast, and I've just realised I've not got my safety goggles <gasps> on. <gasps> what does the pickling um, solution do again? It gets all the scale it gets off all it. The, it gets off the um, burnt-on flux, burnt basically. Burnt-on flux, that's it, yeah. Because our gentium shouldn't have any fire scale. So we're going in. There's a, there's a breeze coming in here, there isn't is, there? There is, isn't there? It's the fan. And you'll see it's just about to fuse now. Just fused there. Lovely. So... I'm going to do the same thing again. Mm -hmm. Turn it over and just make sure that I've got it fused it all the way through. And at this stage, it won't take long to fuse because it's still quite hot. Yes. So you see, it's just gone wet now. Yeah. Can you see the surface? There. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Right. So again, this is, this is not best practice. You would be pickling along the way. Yeah. But I'm now going to drop it in here so that I can do the next bit. So yours, when you do this stage, you will pickle and it will be nice and clean. Um, and what I'm, now, what I'm now going to do is find the one that's not joined that one. and thread it through the other end. Ah, yes. So, so you can get your... she says, there, open it up and close it down. There you are. They're all connected nicely now. Yes. Yes, you, it's quite an important step, that, otherwise you're going to end up not being able to... Yes, now, this is where I have to make sure there. OK, so I'm trying to get the joint as far away from any of the other bits as possible. Again, just in case I'm a bit cack-handed with the um, yep. flux, which has been known. So flux, the only thing that I want to fuse at this Ooh, stage. There it is. <coughs> And as you can see, this is where I'm trying, I'm going to try and do this. Argentium is best fused hard and quickly. So yeah. lots of heat, very close into the point that you want to fuse. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to try and do that because I don't want it distorting too badly. So same thing again. Heat it. And the there breeze. And it's just about to come up to temperature, just going now. So it's just gone. Lovely. We've had a question asking when we're going to get the charcoal block back in stock, so I assume that's sold out. We'll get it back in as soon as possible. I think um, you have more on order. I'm fairly sure you've got more on order. Perfect. And Pamela says, will this show be available on YouTube? Yes, it will be on our YouTube channel. So again, I'm just flipping it over. I'm just going to make sure that joint's gone. So much like the show that we bought you on the 11th of um, November, that's on YouTube, um, as is, as will this show as well, almost straight after the show. So when you do get your Argentium kits home and you can follow the demo, you can kind of almost make along with, um, with Elizabeth. Fantastic. Okay. So let that cool so the colours come out of it. Yeah. Woo! And then you will see you have three completely... It's like some magic trick, isn't it? I love it. it. You'll have three Tommy completely Cooper. loose rings. Mm. Yes. You don't have to do what we've done here yes, wherever it is here which is that one which is fusing um, them all which together. is fusing them all together you could if you don't want if you don't feel confident and i'm trying to find a piece of chain here we are you could once it was nice and cleaned up of course you could do it and keep it loose because nice. they will stay they will stay like that of course they will um but, but we're not going to do that today no. we're going to push this so the trick with this is is to make sure that they go together so that they sit comfortably. Yeah. Um, and you, could, this is a bit where it's worth spending a little bit of time. Absolutely. Just getting... fiddling them around. You might want to do them so that they're open. You don't have to oh, do well, them nice closed idea. up. Yes. But it's worth spending that extra time at this stage. To get the look. To get the look that you actually want. Mm. So, but they will. There is one way they will naturally fall that they all sit nicely together. So, again, <clears throat> you would have pickled it at this stage. So yes. the fact that it's looking a bit brown a bit and rotty. unattractive, don't <laughs> worry about it. Yours won't look like that. No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> um, you will get this discoloration, and this isn't um, fire stain. What this is, this is flux. Mm. So this will pickle off. That's brilliant. What, without any without any abrasion, or Without any abrasion or That's anything great, at all. because sometimes the elbow grease involved yes. in getting fire scale off can... No, I just want to make sure I'm happy with that. I think that'll do. Oh, that is gorgeous. So what I'm going to do now, this is where it doesn't matter where you get the flux. I was going to say, yeah, it is. So this is a case of just running it over all the surface. And if you knock it at this stage, don't worry, because you get the flux in and then you can push it back again. So 
there. And the thing that it's worth checking, even though the seam is really nice and clean and difficult to spot, mm. um, and I haven't got it here, you will... Sometimes you may still be able to see a little bit of the seam. It's not that it's not fused. It <clears> just <throat> may be that you can see a t tiddly area. Now, I happen to know that there's a seam there, yeah. but I'm not that upset about it. Um, fiddle around till you've got these so that the seams are as hidden as you want them yes, to be. Yes, lovely. It's worth it at this stage. Yeah. So we're now oh. going to... No, you're going to have to keep them on. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to repeat the whole exercise. This will take a little bit longer because there's obviously a bit more metal there. So we just... That fan just keeps wafting, doesn't it? That is Which is very awesome. nice. It wasn't a complaint. You don't have to turn it off. So, we're just warming gently. Oh, and then we I will, love that. We will start oh, to what's see... what's the blue? It's like a greeny flame. Oh, it's just the flux burning off. So you can see the flux has sort of generally gone fairly brown now. <gasps> and we oh, get getting to the point it's that. just starting to go now. So Yes, you can see. Oh, it's stunning. Um, if we turn it around that way, you can see... The surface looks, it, is, it looks exactly what it is. It looks wet because it is molten. So... I just think that, that is the should, most incredible. Should have fused, but we'll let it cool down a little bit longer this time because there's obviously more metal in of there. Of course, yes, you can see it's still red at the bottom. And I also heard the charcoal block go ping, which probably means there's another crack appeared in this one. Oh, no. <laughs> so, it's OK. I'm going to turn it over and do it on the other yeah, side as well, do. just to be sure. It's just beautiful. Mm. You heard the charcoal block going? Yes, yeah. yes. Ting. Isn't that amazing? I can't believe how quick this is and how easy this is. The thing with all of this, it's about the preparation. Mm. We've taken some of the preparation out by putting the kits together. Yes. Um, and we're just coming up to temperature now. It will start to oh, get wet. Just... There we are. So, has it become? Okay. Is it me, or has it become more? Has it become brighter as you've fired it? Then has some of the the discoloration gone? It's, some of it has because yeah. some of the um, flux will have burnt off. Ah, right. Okay. So that should be cool enough to dip in there. That's the block going, not the um, thing. Yes. And you will find now, I'm trying to rub off. What I can do, if you just take oh, that, yes, I've please. got some um, scouring pad down here. Oh, I love this and stuff. Non We've got loads more tools still to come, lots more argentium still to come. So th some hammers as well still to come. Look at that. So we have a very high-tech piece of um, that is seriously sc scouring high -tech. stuff here. If I just <laughs> borrow that from you a minute. Oh, a green pot scourer. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. But it's actually very good for cleaning off, even sometimes when you're fusing joints together, it's mm. just to make sure that there's nothing on there. It's quite a nice, easy, yeah. non-metal removing way, but yes. use a nylon one. Yes. So all I've done there is just take off a little bit of the um, flux. flux. So all yeah. the nasty black spots on there aren't anything nasty in the surface of the metal. It's just flux. And the pickling um, will the just... The pickle will get will rid of that. that off. Yes. That's brilliant. So that's where you can leave it. You don't yeah. have to go... You, you can leave it at the first stage, which is the three rings fused of course, together. yeah. You can leave it at this stage, which is they're all fused together. Mm. Or what we're going to do next... <gasps> she says, trying to remember where it is. Um, I'm going to cheat because we would normally fuse... I know, it's disgusting, it's isn't it? We would, we would have fused um, this jump ring, yes. but we've already got one that's fused, yeah, so okay. I'm going to use it. Um, so this is somewhere to locate the pearl um, if you want to do the pearl option. Of course, yeah. And again, decide where you want it on the ring, but it, it will naturally find its hanging place once you put it in. Yeah. So I'm going to do a little bit of what I just said and I'm just going to make sure that the surface is clean mm -hmm. and drop it down. Oh, look. So She's it's sitting there. There you are. So it sits touching yeah, one of the edges. Yeah. 
without doing what I just did there, which was try and burn the burn my hand on the um, torch. <laughs> so I'm just going to put more flux down the gap. Yeah. If you look, this is what we're looking at. See? Lovely. Okay. Yeah. Gorgeous. Okay. So you put some flux on there. I have put some flux. The other thing you can obviously do at any stage you choose is if you decide you don't want completely round jump rings, at the stage before you join them all together, mm. you can flatten them out a bit. So if you want to hammer the surface Ooh, down or put a nice, um, Yeah, so it's another way option. you can sort of put a finish on there. Yes, lovely. Okay, so okay. I'll just repeat the same exercise. Warm it all up. And at this stage, the thing I would say is make sure that the... Um, flux is warmed gently because sometimes it bubbles up and then everything moves. Um, if that happens, reposition everything before you go back in because <laughs> if you don't, you'll find you fuse it in the wrong place and you can't, unlike solder, you can't remove it. Mm. The only way to get rid of it is to saw it off. So make sure you've got it where you want it. Morning, lovely ladies. Loving the show. Please, 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 can Elizabeth do a DVD and a workshop? I'm more than happy to. I'm going to talk for Elizabeth. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes and yes. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. And maybe for our birthday celebrations, which are in May. I love the fact I'm talking for her here while she's concentrating. <laughs> I'm concentrating because I'm trying to make sure that I've actually... Now, you asked me what happens if you go wrong. I'm, I'm actually probably going to show you that I have made a mistake <gasps> because I may not have got them quite up to each no. other. So we haven't had a fusing take place oh, here. No, so I'm going to let this cool down a little bit more. Are they, is it not joined on? It's not, no. <laughs> but it just proves even <laughs> I could make a mistake. Okay. But that's the thing, is not to panic, yeah. not to think, oh, I've made a complete mess, I can't do anything. Yeah. Um, I well, need to. I need to let it cool a little bit. I was going to say, when will that be okay of, to work? Yes, with? I need to let it. Well, it, I could, if I was at home and I wasn't doing this on TV, trying to do it properly, I'd be whacking a bit of flux on Rebel. now. Rebel! But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it cool a bit yes, more. Good call. So, <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, the cleaning. Let's do these cleaning cloths okay. um, uh, quickly. Um, these are lovely. Uh, this high quality jewelry care cloth is made from 100% cotton. It's been specially prepared to help maintain the bright white lustrous finish that is exclusive to Argentium silver. The cloth remains effective as long as it is not washed and should be stored in the wallet after use. Made in England, yeah. So is Argentium made in England or is it um, or is it made abroad? No, all the um, the silver is obviously sourced. Uh, the the actual silver is sourced worldwide, mm. but the argentium grain and material originates at home. Cloth. Guess designer Jan. I can't wait to make this pendant. Thank you for a great show. Oh, Jan, you're... Uh, yeah. And hopefully, Jan, without messing it up the way I've just done it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Beautiful cloth. It's like a moleskin. It is. Almost, and again, it? this, so is, this can be used on Argentium. It can be used on sterling silver. It too. can be used it on sterling be, silver. Yes. Perfect. Brilliant. Has it been impregnated with anything? Is it, it is, is it? yes. Yeah, There's a... Um, yes. It just smells it's like silver cleaner, yes. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah lovely. Um, 5 95 um, Loads of people coming through. A really nice, I mean, it, it's only 5 95 If you're going to be selling some of your beautiful Argentian pieces, you could even say to your customers, you know, if you spend over £200 or, or £100, you can get a free cleaning cloth. You know, it's entirely up to you. I would definitely be multi-buying this. Because I think if you're, if you're making jewellery and then you're selling a cleaning cloth to go with it, it shows that you, you are giving your customers that kind Added of Added value, yes. Absolutely. And, and, you know, it's something which should be taken care of, much like your gold and your silver. Um, Beautiful um, um, uh, packaging as well, which is uh, just fantastic. So that's okay. That's brilliant. Shall we have another go? I think yes. Let's have another go, shall we, Elizabeth? Let's try not to mess it How up. How embarrassing! This time, yes, thank possible. you. <laughs> so I just need to make sure that the, they are actually touching. Yes, I suspect they, are they weren't. Touching. Have you put your flux on? I have put my flux on, but just to be sure, I'm, oh, just no. to keep you happy, she's doubting I was, herself I'm now. doubting myself now. Um, <laughs> Lovely. And I will just push that up. Push it right up. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to, if it doesn't fuse, I'm going to blame the fan. Or we could blame Adam. He's standing there very quietly, but I think we could, I think we could blame I think blaming Adam. Adam would be a better idea then. <laughs> now, you see, this is where I, I think I've got an issue because it isn't quite touching. Oh. So if I push it right in, yeah, hopefully this time it will do. 
And the, the thing with this is, because you've got a bigger bulk of material here, mm. is to make sure that you warm this first. Yes, of course. Take your time yes. with things Don't like Don't get this. stressed out like I am. No. Definitely not. That's gorgeous. And I think here I've still go. got, I know, I think I've still got a gap. Have you really? Yes. I don't think you do, do you? So good that you can be so reactive with it, though, and just and just kind of alter it and um, tweak it, as it were. Oh no, that's right. That, now I think that now, has. Isn't it? Yeah, there you go. It's just starting to go. Right now. Oh, brilliant! Yes, you can see it's few. It times. has. Yes. Yeah. Now this is the one occasion that I would say yes. <laughs> this is the one occasion that I would say probably don't turn it over and fuse it from the other side because what you will see it could fall, couldn't it? Is it that could it flop? because it's because there's a gap. Yeah. Yes, it could just drop forward. So one of the reasons I was being extra careful was to make sure that there was actually a joint there. Yes. Yes. When you're not doing it hoping everything's not going to go wrong when yes, you're doing it yes. at home domestically you can make sure that everything's fine mm. you can also when you've got your jump ring if you just emery a little flat on the the surface ah, then you'll see. it makes it a lot easier yes. to push ah, it up ah, yes i see what you're saying yes that point of contact will be so a bit the a point bit truer the point of um truth is going to be when i drop it in here whether the middle drops out Oh, no. And it hasn't done. Oh, so goodness. we're fine. So you've now fused the centre section. The unfortunate thing with this is that at this stage it really does look quite messy because it there's does, so Elizabeth. much brown flux on there. Yes. None of that is affecting the surface finish. It's just, it literally is on the surface. So as soon as you pick all that, you'll will get back to away. a nice, it just sort of disappears into this um, pickle. So you will wow. then end up, the, these have just been, these haven't been polished, but these have been, been fused and these have been pickled. So you'll Beautiful. see there's nothing, and I'm not, I'm not trying to sort of sneak by any no, mysterious no, techniques no. in this. No, not it, at all. it really is just that these have been pickled and that hasn't. Yeah, just so the difference. that's the difference. That is um, tremendous. And at this stage, you then pickle it and choose to put whatever finish you like on it. I've done, in fact, she says, I think that's got a slight satin brush finish over yes, it. Yes, you can see, yeah. But these, have, oh, these have been a high polish. Yeah. So it, it's up to you how you choose to finish that. Now, normally um, at 11 o'clock, we go straight to the deal of the day. We're going, to, we're going to do a bit more Argentium after the break, and then we'll do the deal of the day. So the deal of the day will be coming up in the next hour, but not straight away at 11. I'm fascinated by this. I could watch this all day. Um, thank you very much for all of your texts. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of seconds. Bye. that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, theme shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share.
strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Hello, we're back with lovely um, Elizabeth from Argentium. I heard you when I was outside saying it sounded like a superhero. I should be going Argentium, shouldn't I? <laughs> should be wearing a mask, maybe. The Cape yes. Crusader. Um, so we, we're going to be doing flying through lots and lots of different um, Argentium products we're, um, and, and, and products which will help you when you're uh, doing your pieces. Um, today's amazing um, turquoise dinner of the day is on pre-order. Let me show it to you very, very quickly. And, and then before the dinner of the day, we're going to see another demo with um, Elizabeth, something that you haven't seen before with Argentium, which is exciting. Look at these turquoise Aren't they patterns. Pretty? Aren't they beautiful? But wouldn't they look nice in the middle of one of these? <laughs> they would. They absolutely would. Um, so this incredible deal of the day is on pre-order. Can I just say to you, if you're loving the look of this, it's Mexican uh, turquoise. It's a beautiful colour. Please do pre-order it because we've only got about 50 chances available. You're, you're going to be getting this incredible quality, colour, all of it. Um, for the most amazing price point, but I've only got 50 available. So you want it, get it now. It's on pre-order, okay? So we're going to be bringing that to you in this hour at some point. Right, first of all, let's let's do these hammers. I've got ball-peen hammers here, um, which when it comes to doing your Argentium, at some point... Um, you may need you may need your ball peen hammers, and they're actually quite nice for putting a little hammered texture on. It's unfortunate I haven't got one with me, but you can put that sort of you know when you see that hammered finish on yes. silver. If you use this end, yes, the ball end, yes, you can put those tiny little hammer marks all over. At what point would you do that? You would do that after you've pickled, cleaned, done a pre-polish, and yeah. then do it. Yeah. And then what would you do after that? Nothing. You, the, the hammering it's, will it's give you a nice finish. Perfect. Finish, yes. Brilliant. Um, you're getting uh, two different sizes here. This one's slightly smaller, this one's slightly larger. Of course, you can use this with all of your precious metals and all of your metal sheets and your wires. Um, not just for your Argentium, but, um, but fantastic um, uh, to use with your Argentium. Um, 6 95 Now, these are built for purpose. They're beautifully balanced. They're made for jewellery making. Um, don't try, don't attempt to do this kind of technique with the you hammer that you hammer nails into the wall with because you it, it would just break the precious metal it, you know they're not they're not built for purpose whereas these are both ends you know you can use this slightly domed end great for giving that beautiful dappled finish shona graham collector in angus collector in dundee well don't you as well lots of people coming through 6.95 for both of these can i just say you're still covered by that one pmp we've got we bought you quite a few items which are going to be quite heavy today 
Um, so you're still covered by that one PMP of just three ninety five, which lasts for the entire day, um, no matter when you shop with us. So that's great. So that's that. Jewelry snips. Um, these have got insulated handles on them, which is great. Um, these give you that really lovely, precise finish. Great if you're going to be um, using your metal sheet. Do you do argentium sheets? We do. Oh, yes. Fantastic. There you are. Um, there will be more later. <laughs> oh yes. Now that would be exciting. Um, so you can use this with your um, with your metal sheet. Um, presumably, you can use it to cut your wire as well. Yes. I, as I mean, well. I I like the flush cutters just because it's a good end. But those would work as you say, brilliantly on sheets. Yeah, definitely. And on any, uh, any range of wires. Yes, absolutely. Um, a lot of our guest designers use this with the copper, um, uh, with the bare copper sheet um, and with the sterling silver sheet as well. Uh, price point today, here we go. Let's get that all. Come on, Tom. Get with the programme, mate. Nearly. Oh, Ooh, nearly. <laughs> come on, come on. 4.95, there you go, brilliant. Well done to Margaret and Shona and Shan, well done to you, my lovelies, fantastic. Um, uh, so great deal. Um, do make sure you get your deal of the day. It is on pre-order right now, which is really unusual for us to put the uh, deal of the day on pre-order, but it's just because we've got lots of products to get through and we want to see more of a demo and we want to be able to bring you the deal of the day. So um, we just figured that let's, let's do the Argentium first and then we can, whilst we're in our stride, and then we can, um, yeah, then we can do the deal of the day. There aren't going to be any more mistakes in this hour, are there, Ooh, uh, Elizabeth? We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, right. um, what is it, love? Because there's nothing in there. Paper. Great. <laughs> it's it's who paper. What is it? Authenticity cards. No. Emery paper. Emery paper. For some reason, it's not in there. So what am I going to use my emery paper You're going to for? use your emery paper for... These were made using um, round jump rings mm -hmm. that I then took the, the curve off. Um, so these have been flattened down using emery paper. Oh, right, OK. The backs of the pendants that we will come to a little bit later with the granulation on these, and this yeah. is going to be one I've not found. That that one I flatten the back off mm -hmm. um, using emery paper just because I like that flat effect. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to do it, but it just, I think, gives a slightly cleaner Brilliant. finish. And presumably the different colours um, are for different grades. I'm guessing it's the different grades. Yeah, of one them. to six Yes. Um, uh, grade um, emery paper. Um, nearly an argentium coloured <clears throat> paper in there, isn't there? Yes, there is, isn't there? Um, three ninety five gets you your um, emery paper. I would start off with a, a with a finer with a finer grade, and you know work up to a coarser one if you want to. But uh, you know I'd start off with a finer one for sure. Uh, your price point today three ninety five. Fantastic. Add it onto your order. Um, gorgeous. You can see how easy it is to add it onto your order with that. You know with that big button there as well. Um, give us a call. Do get involved. Any more questions for um, Elizabeth at all? Please do. Text those in, let us know, um, because it is, it is really important that we you know, answer as many questions as possible. There's no such thing as a silly question. Um, and lots and lots of people who are going to be getting the Argentium today are brand new to this kind, mm. of, yes. this kind of medium. So, and the thing um, we fantastic. will cover off before we finish is how to, to make the little granules to assemble the pieces. Because once you know how to that, do that, you're away. You're away, definitely. OK, so we've got the argentium um, certificate of authenticity now this is going to be quite an important thing for you to get isn't it, it is if, it, if it's something you're going to gift your your finished pieces to friends or family or you're going to sell it it's just a nice added marketing um leaflet to put in with the, the, the jewelry information is power and the more information you can give to your customers or give to your people, uh, give to your people, give to your friends or family who you're going to be gifting this to, uh, the better. What it gives you is um, the uh, the flying unicorn um, 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 trademark symbol, caring for your jewellery. Um, it gives you lots of information in there. Um, fantastic. And then to go, of course, with the Argentian branded boxes as well. It just it's just the finished product. It's really really nice. And it just kind of takes away any 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 kind of um, any um, mystery as to you know what this is, how to use it. It simply says Argentium uh, silver is easy to care for and simple to clean. Simply um, uh, wipe with a soft cloth or for more intricate pieces, wash in warm soapy water and dry. Um, sorry, then rinse and dry immediately to avoid watermarks. Blah 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 blah. Um, and it just says it's certificate. Uh, it is certificated that this jewellery item has been made with Argentium silver, high purity silver, brighter, whiter colour, 
longer lasting shine, strengthened durability, hypoallergenic and responsible. Um, fantastic. It, it, it's all it's all it's all there on these certificates and you're going to be getting five of them today uh, for this price here. It's just two pounds ninety five pence. Really, really nice and just well worth it. Well worth it. This is the kind it of just takes it to another level, I think, doesn't it? Definitely. Rather than you just saying it's Argentium silver yes. and people saying, well, what well, is it? Yes. You can give them the information on it. I would say if you're going to be selling pieces as well, I'd print something out um, and I'd laminate it and I'd have it on my stand as yes, well. Yes. And actually, again, going back to the Argentium Guild site, which is oh, free yes, information, yes. there's lots of information on there that you can take um, and add if you're wanting to market it mm. on a commercial basis. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. Two ninety five for all of that today. Well done. Guess it's Anna Jan again. Uh, more people coming through. Loads of multi-bidders coming through to get that. People who I think are going to be making pieces and possibly even selling them on, which is really, really lovely. Um, um, we've got the metal block. Should we do that quickly? Let's do the metal block. Now, again, this is quite a heavy piece of... Oh, look how nice and shiny yours is compared oh, to my tatty one. Mine's it? a bit rusty and overused oh. and been sat in the um, workshop. Well, you shouldn't neglect your No, and in like actual that. fact, you shouldn't. It, the best way of keeping that nice and clean mm -hmm. is to lightly oil it occasionally yes. and it stops, it stops it ending up looking like oh. that. Put, put that you, can, you can emery them though, so yes, I, yes, that's I'll... a nice way of getting rid of all this. It's just as you can tell, I didn't Good before boy. I came on. That's all right, don't worry. <laughs> So your steel block, it is, um, it is very, very heavy indeed. Now, of course, you're covered by that one PMP of just three ninety five. And um, let me just tell you, it's not going to cost us three ninety five to send this to you. It's going to, it, you know, we will, we will pick up the bill for that. Um, but it's only three ninety five PMP per uh, PMP per order to add this onto your order. So, so, so don't worry about having to pay more in PMP because that's not the case at all. Nine pounds, 95 pence. Now, of course, this is great for all of your hammering techniques. This is great for use with your wire, any of the metals that we do here at Jewelry Maker, not just your Argentium. You might find that you want to have one specifically for each um, type of metal that you're going to be using. I don't think there's necessarily any need to do that. There's no kind of risk no. of kind of cross contamination. The, the only time I would ever say split out your Argentium is if you've got a, a larger polishing, not a Dremel, you're probably fine with your Dremel, but if you're using a big rotary polisher, oh, right, I yes, would okay. keep a separate mop for the Argentium yes. because what can happen is you can drag sterling across the surface of the Argentium. Okay. So yeah. Just try and keep those clean. Perfect. Thank, thank you for that, um, Elizabeth. Brilliant. That's fantastic. Uh, right, so we've got the face masks now. Now, what am I going to use? Oh, gosh. What am I going to need these for? If you're using your Dremel to um, polish or to maybe using a bra one of the brass uh, brushes that you've got in your polishing kits, I think, yeah. you just want, as well as protecting your eyes, it's a good idea not to have bits inhalation, inhalation yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. because tiny bits are the things that cause the problem so it's it's really if you're polishing it's a good idea yeah, it's just brilliant. best practice so you've got five of your um, um, uh, masks here really really uh, just dead simple you know easy to use I mean you know how to put a face mask on um, and just great when you're going to be um, polishing your pieces and using your Dremel with them price point for these today these are great deals, aren't Gosh, they? they are just a good deal. One pound ninety-five pence for five of them. I mean, they'll last you and last you and last you. They're wonderful. Um, great if you're going to be teaching. Fantastic if you're going to be making pieces along with you know other people, you know younger people, whether it's friends or family, whoever it is, you know one for each of you. Fantastic, gorgeous. So uh, one ninety-five for that. I've got an earring box, which is probably going to be this one here. That's an earring and pendant box, yes. Earring and pendant, oh, so maybe it, it's this one. You know, th that's, the you, that's the correct one, yeah. but you have the option, as we've done in oh, one of I these, see. of being able to slot um, a pendant a in, in the top. or earrings, It's or both. So the beauty with this, obviously, is that it's got the Argentian branding on it, um, which, you know, if you're, if you're going to be making these pieces, selling them on, and you really want to... Um, um, you know, quite from the rooftops that you're using Argentium silver. This is this is the this is the packaging to be getting. So you've got your branded earring jewelry box. It opens uh, really nicely. Actually, it's got this lovely kind of snap closure on it, which is really nice. Um, you've got your insert, which will come out. There you are. You've got your um, Argentium the finest silver. I would get the 
authenticity certificate. <laughs> and I would pop that just in there like that. If you've got your authenticity certificate, he's just got those. <laughs> there was some confusion there with a, with a little glass of water. Uh, we're all singing off the same hymn sheet now, that's good. Um, and, and you've got uh, your little um, insert, which of course has got the two slots here, so you can pop your pendant on there. You've got your, you can put your earrings in here as well, fantastic. Um, I mean, it could be for a bracelet as well if you want to, but I would definitely be getting the authenticity certificates and just popping that in there, just underneath, and then... I mean, the great thing with that is it also okay. it makes it a nice gift. Even yeah, if you're not selling it, it yes. sort of adds that extra dimension to it. It does, doesn't it? And it also keeps your jewellery out of out of kind of harm's way and kind of out of the out of air as well. So it's going to kind of keep it nice and um, nice and um, away from um, oh, I don't know, away from away from away from oxygen. It's just going to kind of uh, make that shine last even longer, which is great. Uh, 4 95 for that. That's great. Well done, everybody. Lots and lots of people coming through to get these. Such lovely packaging. Gorgeous. There's a ring box. Okay, let's. here's the ring box. Lovely. Oh, so nice. See, if you made your own wedding bands, your own engagement ring, mm. can Be you imagine? Oh, just... What a personal thing to do. Yes, it would be great. It would be, wouldn't it? And it's, it's nice if you get a group of friends together to do it together. Oh, so lovely. you could make your wedding band and you could make a gift for the bridesmaids. For the bridesmaids, yes, absolutely. Um, or maybe if you've got friends and you're all going to be turning 40 in the same year or you've had babies or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, absolutely fantastic. Well, well, Michael, you look at me like that, but me, you, are not, you Ollie and, and myself, we're all turning... 40 in the same year, oh, aren't we? That's you next want year. These, yeah? hmm? You want one of these? I want to, I want to make, yeah, I want to make Argentium jewellery with you. That's all right, isn't it, mate? That's all good. Yeah, that's all good. All right, then I'll do it on my own. No. Oh, no, that's fine. No, that's you've just, you know, you've just made your opinions very clear there. Bruce, you can come and do 40? it with me. <laughs> oh, no, we're turning 40 year. next year, Bruce, not this year. Oh, Get back in your gallery. Can I, can I come anyway? You can come, yeah, well, okay, you can come along. Get back in your cupboard. Don't, don't you dare. Bruce, get back in your cupboard. Bruce is getting shirty now because he's not invited to the party. I know, it's unbelievable, isn't it? We're turning 40 next year. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, let's see, he's having a day over 30. All right. Uh, so, 4 95 for your Argentium ring box as well. Look at all these multi bidders. It's great. It's great, isn't, isn't it? it? Really nice. I think people are going to be buying these and then maybe selling their jewellery in them. Um, you might get one of these little silica um, 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 pouches in here as well. I just keep that in there until you until you put the jewellery in there just to keep it away from damp. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Well done. Four ninety five for that today. Well done. Right, what next, Becky? Let's do the bracelet box. So is this the long one? Yes. Oh, nice. Take the little thing out there. Does it just come out or is it in there? No, it's uh, in there. I think that one's fairly well. It is fairly well yes. appeared in there. Um, so again, you've got the lovely Argentian branding on here. Branding on the front. I wonder if it's Talbots that make these boxes. They're based in Birmingham, they're brilliant. Um, Argentian, the finest silver. I like this purple as well. It's, it's really lovely, nice. isn't it? Gorgeous quality. Um, and then, of course, you've got your two elasticated loops. Fairly simple, fairly self-explanatory to be able to put your bracelet in. But oh, also a necklace as well. Which you could. I mean, one of these, long, if, you've made a, if you make a long one, mm. it's quite nice to just sort of slip it under the loops. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. Um, price point for this today, six ninety five. There you go. Nice to have the whole set, isn't it? Really, really nice to have the whole set. Does Argentium... Um, does do people recognize it in america as well actually argentium is is bigger in america than it is here really yes it, it's been well um it was taken up first in america really? so although it's a british product mm. ironically because i think the british craft market is maybe just a little bit behind the us okay um it it's got a huge following in yes, the I'm states sure it does. yes How fantastic. but interestingly they don't have tv that's doing it so well, you've you stolen go. the march on that one <laughs> <laughs> um 695 for your bracelet box let's do the last one which i believe is uh, this one here is that right ow don't catch your fingers in it like i just no it's did. got quite a spring <laughs> it does have a spring doesn't it quite a snap on it it's like the pretty woman bit isn't it uh, right, so 
this one is f predominantly for things like um, pendants, really, with your lovely chains. What a lovely way to finish off a piece. You know, you've put your hard work into making these pieces and, you know, it, you've invested your time, your energy, your money into making these pieces. That is all Argentium. Now, if that was on a stunning silver chain, you wouldn't be able to sell it in this box. You wouldn't be able to sell it as Argentium. But because, of course, that's all Argentium, you absolutely can do. This little insert will come out should you want it to. But again, just a really nice closure on there. Just really uncomplicated and just clean, lovely lines and, 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 and edges on here. I would say, I know it's only a bit of paper, but I would say get your authenticity certificate as well. Just pop it in with a piece of jewellery, you know, if you want to pop it on top or underneath the um, insert, it's entirely up to you. And it just answers any questions. And how much better is that going to look on a stand, you know, with the box and the information and the brand, you know, the branded box and the information. It's going to give you so much more clout than it just being on a jewellery stand, mm, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Fantastic, well done. Now, in, in a couple of seconds, we're going to be seeing a demo on this incredible technique yes aren't we? we are should we do should we should do, we do now, it becky yeah come on let's do it now okay we? right this is called granulation granulation yes we're going to be making lots and lots of small spheres <laughs> see she can do it without saying balls i mean oh, oh no you said i was being very steady careful on, not to. elizabeth right okay so within your kit whichever one whether it's the long pendant or the um I'm trying to think what the, the kits earring. were. The, the, the earrings and the ring the long or the long yeah. pendant. Yeah. You will have a piece of wire. And the first thing I'm going to show you with granulation is how to take the piece of wire and make regular size snippets, yes, if you want. lovely. Um, to be able to make the same size pieces of uh, balls. Yes. Now, there are two ways you can do it. I couldn't find the washer I normally do, but this will demonstrate adequately. Okay. I've got a, a regular bath washer that I use, um, but you can also take one of the jump rings that you fuse together, and the okay. principle works exactly the same way. Lovely. Doesn't matter whether it's straight or not. Take your piece of Argentian wire, I know what you're going to put do. it into here, and then you take your flush cutters so they are flush, flush. with the surface, and you snip. Oh, and that stops it from pinging, although I will put my goggles on. And I'll just do a few, just so that you can get the feel. But what it means is that because it's at the same angle each time, they are approximately, they're not absolutely 100% um, exactly the that's same all length. Right. But that's how you make the first stage of the granulation. Okay. And it's a very quick way of doing it. You can just snip down the whole thing. Mm. And what I tend to do, if I've got a few spare minutes I'll, I will just snip and just that, if I've got yeah. bits that I want to do uh, that that pot contains what you get from snipping down your piece of wire that's in the ring and earring kit okay perfect um so you're thinking well how do I turn those into the well, how do I turn them into well the it's granules. really simple so you take your charcoal block yeah and oh, I'm going to turn it over on a nice again. clean side um, the thing that I will say, and we might actually end up turning off the fan for this, is that they are surprisingly manoeuvrable once you've made them up into the Ooh, balls. Ooh, okay. <laughs> they have a horrible habit of running all over the place. Oh, no. So, um, ah. thank you. <laughs> there we go, Michael. So, we'll once off. you've chopped up all the little bits of um, granules, I'm just going to take one initially, just to demonstrate it. And I'll put my glasses back on. Yeah. And this is how easy it is. Light the torch. So there's no flux required for this. Okay. So you put your torch onto the granule and heat it. Oh, and you see how it rolled away. It rolled <laughs> this is one away. of those occasions actually where having the tatty old block is not a bad thing because the grooves it tend Stops they tend to stop them rolling yes. too far. But it's gone into a perfect ball. It has gone it? into a perfect ball, but I'll show you that again. Will you find that with all of them? Will they They will all go into a perfect ball. Oh lovely. So we'll just put two there. And we'll have the same problem that they'll roll all over the place because I've got no, it on the smooth okay. side. So heat it and it just balls up now uh oh that's going to show you too soon what the next stage is oh and that one's going to roll away completely this. i should really use be using the tatty old piece Don't worry. so <laughs> they do have a life of their own 
and there. So now you can see how to make the individual so ones. Cool. Okay. You, you can then, you don't have to do them all at one, you know, individual. Individually. But just remember oh, okay. to keep them spread out. So we'll do these and then I'll show you very quickly. Oh. So I can just move the heat on to the next one and then the next one. They're really behaving themselves. Shh. <laughs> okay. It's quick, isn't it? Michael's really close up on that. And the, awesome, the, the larger the piece of um, wire that you've cut off, the larger the sphere will be. <laughs> Interesting. But if you decide, if you look at some of the pieces, they look like they've got much bigger ones on. Yes. That's been achieved by, I've, you can see I've pushed two together here. What happens when you put the heat back on? No. Is that you then <gasps> oh make one bigger one? Oh my board. gosh. And if you want to make a bigger one, you add another one in. Can you do that again? And put, yes, I'll put another put two. Of them together. That put is another two together. Crazy. Or I'll put three together. Yeah, please do that. And this actually, of that all the things so I ever cool. do in Argentium, this is the thing that, if I had to be honest, I find a bit addictive. Yeah. It's so awesome. You're watching magic. Oh, yeah. oh come on. That's because you said they were behaving. Oh, they were behaving. No, it's again. We'll, we'll put that back up next to it in a minute. So oh. there's, there's the two joined. And I've got to let the heat go out because otherwise they'll stick to my tweezers. There we go. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. That is, that is, that, oh my gosh, one, that is what, amazing. Well, there we have one large sphere. <laughs> yes, Michael. What's the, the biggest you can get to? You could just keep going, actually. Because you remember we said earlier that we were going to show you what happens when you... I haven't got well I'll take one with a fused end I'm digressing very slightly but the principles are the same one there. so if we take a large jump ring we said about um, shaping it jump ring? when you heat here it. we go this is what happens to a jump ring when you so keep you'll see it. first of all it'll just start to distort now this works better on the larger jump rings because you can see the distortion no, no, but we can are you see so it's stripped oh, so there's, there's what gosh. happens on the when it starts to distort but if i keep going watch what happens <gasps> oh, oh <laughs> my gosh that's the coolest thing i've ever seen <laughs> So then you end up with a very large one. I would just but sit at home all day just doing it that. It is very satisfying, actually. Really satisfying. Can you, but, turn, can you turn everything to board? <laughs> <laughs> but you said to me, what happens if you make a mess of something? That's actually what you can do. You can snip things up and it will always, the surface tension will always I love bring whatever you've made into a sphere. OK, so because I know we're short of time, um, this is one I of those. I just want to see Elizabeth make balls for the rest of the show. <laughs> That's all I want to no, see. I did that in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> now this isn't um, recommended. I would be saying again, pickle oh, in between. On. I'm not going to make one large one here, but what I'm going to do oh, is show you the principle of how. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is make my life a little bit easier. So this is where flux does come into it. This is when you're um, ready to join them together. Because you assume that you use flux to stick them all You'd, together. The one thing you don't do, you, you use the flux to stick them together, yes. Mm. But what I do is I take them, dip them in the toy, take the tweezers, dip them in the flux. Yeah. And then... And hold them in place as well, I suppose, haven't it? And this, is, this shows you how the pendant is built. I'll hold the pendant up actually so we can see it. And the thing you will find is when you start to heat these initially, yeah. the flux will bubble up. Yes, so what you'll imagine. find is that you need to do this gently initially to let it start to dry. If they've moved apart and you don't like where they are, mm. reposition them before you put too much heat on. Yes, because otherwise you're... Otherwise you're stuck. <laughs> you're stuffed. Right. There'll be quite a bit of bubbliness here, I can imagine. There will. So what we're going to do is start right on the outside, 
And you can see it's starting to... Do, you can see where it's going white is where the flux have got to. Yeah. So this is just a matter of drying it out. And, of course, I'm not... This could be... You said, am I going to make a mess up in the second half? This may be where no, I do, because Elizabeth. this is a very no, large sphere at the end. So, right, so they, they haven't moved too much. And the you trick here is too. not to get them so hot that you end up with... Because if you... <laughs> that's a mess. very cool. <laughs> Michael's, Michael's got his safety You could, on. in principle, <laughs> melt this so that you end up with one very, very large one. So what you're doing, again, is you looking for the... <laughs> One Isn't very large ball. One very large ball, yes, which <coughs> is never good. Um, so you're going to wait till the flux has turned brown. It's so beautiful. And you're watching this very carefully because what you don't want to do is overmelt this. Oh, gosh, you can smell that. So the... you can just see it starting to... Oh, yes, it's going it's like a It's starting to colour. fuse. And you can you see there's sort of little joints appearing between the... Oh, just leave it there, Elizabeth. We're trying to follow it with the camera at the minute. Ollie, Ollie's going a bit seasick. <laughs> okay. Now I think that should have fused all of those. And again, I'm going to let the heat go out of this the block before I looks drop it hot in. as well. Yeah. Well, that's because we've got one very large one on there. If yeah. you were doing it, a I didn't really plan this out. I should have done it in the middle. So but um, if you were doing this. Um, normally you wouldn't have gone for one so well you might have done but you probably wouldn't have gone for such a large one so you can see those are all joined she says hopefully she drops them in here nothing's dropped off so again all the Gosh, you can feel the heat coming off all the black wow. all the black is purely um, the flux yeah. that's there but you can see they've all started to join together and this is exactly the process that's been used on these. I am amazed. So, I'm... sorry, interrupting, but no, to, make, not at all. to make these in the kit, you fuse your jump ring together first of all. Yes. And then you, the way you do it is, I'm not going to make a pair now, but I will show you how I start. Oh, you please do. Is that? No, where's my little thing of? There, there. No, I was looking for. Somewhere I've got it. Just talk amongst yourselves. Oh, I've got a little pot. Of, I've got a little pot of pre-made one somewhere. Well, there's this. Uh, Is that not it? No. no well, we'll do it quickly. We'll do okay. it. We'll make some more. It's the quickest way. Whilst whilst you're getting set up yeah. for that, Elizabeth, um, we've got a hammer. Um, which is invaluable. This is the hammer that Elizabeth was talking about earlier on. This is a nylon hammer. So the great thing about this, obviously, is that it's much more gentle when you come to hammer your pieces rather than you using don't... a metal mm. a metal topped um, or ended hammer. Um, this or a rawhide hammer are the ones that you'd want to use. Um, uh, um, it, it's a jobbing hammer that you've got here uh, with a lovely beechwood handle. Um, it's just going to be a little bit softer um, with your um, with your um, argentium. If you wanted to replace it, maybe with a maybe with a metal end, then 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 some of the other metal ends uh, will probably screw into here as well. Um, but just but just brilliant for use with your argentium, just because it's a little bit softer, you'll get less dense and less kind of um, it, it will do less damage. Um, fantastic price point on this, all the way down six pounds ninety five pence. Brilliant hammer there. Absolutely awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well done. So £6.95. Pence. Have you got your I pieces? I found my pot of little well spheres. Well done. Um, so, this is going to be a very quick demo. Uh -huh. what, I, what I do when I'm doing this is that I will start... I won't build it up the same way as I did with the pendant, with lots all to start with. Mm -hmm. I will take one or two pieces and use them as sort of locator... Um, Oh, okay. Ones, and then I'll fuse those in place first of all. So you're um, using them almost to make a base. Yes. So. Oh come on. Okay, so we'll just do two. Specs. <laughs> Specs, come on, come on, Linda. Here we go. And you will notice if anybody says, but she's not fused the jump ring together. She hasn't. <laughs> I would normally have been doing this on a fused jump ring. So we'll warm through again so that they don't blow up all over the place. It's 
So what will happen to that? So I know we're looking at the little the little beads on there, the granulation with the with the jump ring. Did you put flux on that? I haven't fluxed the jump ring. No. So what so will happen to that jump ring? Because you've been well, we'll heat see. <laughs> Probably nothing. Right. So those Ooh, now those yes. are now fused onto you the can see. Um, Lovely. thing. And what that then does, if I drop this into the thing to just cool it down, is it means that you've got somewhere that when you start to build um, <coughs> the next stage, because what you're trying to do with these earrings is build up and over, is that you've got somewhere to locate where you put the next one. Of course, yeah. Because you've if you try place. and do it all at once, what happens is the flux bubbles, yes. they all move and they tend to roll all yes, over I the place. Yes, I can imagine. Yes, it, well, well so, when you first, first created these, that's what happened. They kind of So it start, started start around. with a couple of locator beads. Yes, lovely. And it's the same when you come to do the ring. Ah, oh, yes, now. Is that what I've done with these is I put a couple of, of larger ones mm. just to locate it. Yeah, well, yeah, show that to um, you. And Michael. then I start to build. And it's entirely up to you which way you build. So you might only decide you want to do a thin line. It, it, it will grow organically yes, of its of own accord, it really. Yes, yes. Um, how, how do you get that finish on it? Oh, like now, this finish. is the boiled egg. Oh. <laughs> right. This is going to be that here I have one I made earlier. Um, so, yes, it is going to smell, I'm afraid. So, as we discussed, you can either do a bright polish um, completely Turn or... Turn the fans back on. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just blow the smell around right of all. That is just a regular boiled egg. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> so, it's, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have one I did earlier, uh, oh. did last night. So, all, what I found out is that boiled eggs, the, it's the white of the egg that actually has the sulfur in it. I oh, always no, assume it's the, the yellow yeah. bit, but it isn't, it's the white. Okay. Um, and I'm, it's a good job this isn't smelly vision, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I've got in here, covered in broken up boiled egg. Um, that's what it looks like, if you can see, when this is this ring. Oh my gosh. Left overnight in a, a scrunched up boiled egg. That is, that is so Now, it's not a black. great example because what, you re what you're looking for is something that's got valleys and pits yeah. that the oxidisation, when you come to polish this off, mm. will stay down. Yeah. So, um, it, don't try, so don't try and do it on a smooth surface. This was just to show you what the yes. difference was. The thing that I would also say is if you've got argentium silver that's been around and you've polished and it's nice and shiny, um, and, but you've had it for a while, you remember I explained to you that it, it keeps its colour and doesn't oxidise mm. because it's got a layer of germanium on it. Yeah. What you really need to do before you put it in the boiled egg is actually polish it. Ah, OK. Because you'll take off that germanium layer. The germanium, yes. So that what it's getting at is the sort of pure silver. Yes. So... That actually took me, although that's been in there all night, um, within 25 seconds of it going in, it started to discolour. No. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Um, wow. I, it's only been in there all night because I forgot to take it out. <laughs> um, but just a regular hard-boiled egg, peel it. You could take the yolk out. I think it probably would work just as well, mm. and it wouldn't look quite as mucky and horrible as that did. Mm. But... Um, put it into a plastic bag, yeah. put the piece you're going to do it, and then just scrunch, scrunch it, it up, up and leave it. And when it gets to a dark colour that you like, yeah. take it out, give it a quick wash you under the tap. You always take it back, can't Yes, you? and if you've decided you don't like it, you just polish the whole lot Scale off. Scale it back, yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. So How that's how you get the two tones of what we've got with this um, jewellery. Amazing. I am absolutely hooked. I love it. Um, on screen at the minute, we've got the Emery Stick Pack. Um, you've got... Right. <laughs> Have we just made these? What, what is this? Has someone just made these, these in the are car yours, park? Aren't mine. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way it's about what none to do with me. Um, okay, so you've got your emery stick pack for filing an elephant's toes. <laughs> <laughs> but in fairness, these actually are great. If you've got a um, if you've got a, a larger ring, yeah, 
or in fact, I think you've got some smaller size ones. They're great for getting into the inside yes. and taking off um, the surface. So they they may look rough and ready, but they actually they work very really. They ready. work, but they work really incredibly well. Six ninety five for this, and of course you can use those sticks again if you get your um, you know once you've taken all the grit off this, you can just stick the the grit on uh, the um, sandpaper onto the outside. Uh, but fantastic, six ninety five. I actually don't like touching those, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> ah, uh, but well done, six ninety five for all those. And you've got a variety of different shapes and sizes. You've got some stick ones, um, as in as in rectangular sticks. You've got um, uh, so th go away, Michael. If you can't be serious, go away. You've got your cylindrical ones, and you've got your long prismatic ones as well. Right, I think that's all we need to say about those. And you've got your half, you've got, you've got your semicircular ones as well. You like those, don't you? <laughs> I just don't like touching them, and it looks like we've made them. <laughs> It looks like the floor managers just made them. I mean, it's a great price. Anyway. Which one's a stick shape? <laughs> Is it a sticky stick? <laughs> it's a sticky stick. Basically, if you've got an old paint stick at home, just get some, yeah. We've done that, Tom. We've already played the nylon hand. We have. Yep. Me and Becky did that. Or maybe it's a different one. This is the one that Neary gave me. Oh no. Hello. Um, so the four ounce nylon hammer. I don't, this doesn't have a weight on it, so I'm not entirely sure. I think you've only got one hammer though, haven't you? Yeah, well, that's kind one. of what I thought. Sorry, image temporarily. Oh, no, temporarily. 9 that was. 9 Oh, okay. Um, it might be this one. I'm not entirely sure. I think, the, can you see the one that we played with Becky? Um, let's have a quick look. The one. This is the nylon hammer. Okay, so you've got your nylon hammer. Okay, here it is. Anyway, um, okay. So you've got your four ounce nylon hammer for three pounds 95 pence. There you are, fantastic. Yeah, would, I think, is the jobbing, would this be a jobbing hammer? Because I don't have a picture of that one, unfortunately. Let me just see. Let's have a quick look. It's, it's definitely worth doing this so we know which one's which. Right, okay. I beg your pardon. The hammer that we bought you about 15 minutes ago was the jobbing hammer. This is the jobbing hammer, okay? So massive apologies. This is 6.95. This is your one ounce jobbing hammer. The details are right there at the bottom of the screen, okay? The nylon hammer, the details on the screen right now, the main graphics on screen just here, um, this is £3.95. I, I apologise profusely for that. I'm really, really sorry about that. So this is the jobbing hammer, this one here. This one is 6 95 This one is your nylon hammer at £3.95. I do apologise. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, so, fantastic. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. That's three ninety five. That's six ninety five. That's a jobbing hammer. That's a nylon hammer. <laughs> Shall we do the deal of the day? Shall we do the gorgeous turquoise deal of the day? Um, we've, we've already um, had a few of these allocated. It's been available on pre-order since the top of the hour. Should we go into it now, Tom? Yeah, should we do the deal of the day? Yeah, perfect, yeah. So, should we just... Yeah, should we just go straight into it? Perfect, okay, perfect. So, deal of the day today... Have we? Perfect. Okay, so deal of the day coming up now. It's time for your gorgeous turquoise cabochons. They're all the way from Mexico. They're absolutely gorgeous. Deal of the day. Lose it. <laughs> so, here we go. So, your deal of the day today is... Turquoise. Um, I have to say, I, I, I love the fact that we've got Elizabeth with us today because, of course, the turquoise works so beautifully with your Argentia, it doesn't does. it? It does. And that is just, that reminds me of the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It's such a lovely colour. It really is, isn't mm. it? It's got that incredible... It's a real depth. Yes, it is. And it's got that incredible um, trueness of colour. The Sleeping Beauty turquoise um, that we've sourced in the past... Um, is famed and, and loved um, throughout the world because it's meant to be the closest in colour to the original Persian turquoise that was mined in, in, in modern day um, Iran. Now, what we've got here 
is Mexican turquoise. It looks like Kingman turquoise. It looks like your Sleeping Beauty turquoise. What I love about it is the size and the shapes and the faceting is, although it's there, and you can definitely see these beautiful triangular facets, it's not overwhelming the gemstone at all. You can still very much appreciate each one of these beautiful gems on their own as, a, as, as an individual. You can still see the gorgeous, the matrix running through these is almost like a, a cloudy matrix. Turquoise is meant to be the, the perfect combination of Mother Earth and Father Sky, and it's known as the Fallen Sky Stone, and it is the colour of those beautiful, um, it, it, is, it, it is a colour of, of beautiful cloudless skies. Already in-house designer Anne has come through to get this. She's made a beautiful pen, ooh, whoops, a beautiful necklace using the turquoise. Thank you for that. Let me show that to you. And a beautiful pair of earrings. Let me just pop those earrings back on the stand. Really, really beautiful. Um, and I've got a load of people checking out. £54.95. These beautiful pieces that you've got here. I mean, that is a suite of jewellery. That is going to be a triple figure piece. Surely to goodness. For really, really, really top quality Mexican turquoise that you've got going on here. Now, I've only got 50 of these available. We've had the most amazing show so far. It's been loads of fun having Elizabeth here. It's been really quite a groundbreaking show in what we've learnt, how easy and achievable Argentium is to work with. I'm, I'm really excited about this incredible medium. Um, we're, what have you just done, Tom? Oh. <laughs> well, that's done. Tom said to me this morning, we might be able to do, we might be able to do 49.95. He's just taken it down to 19 pounds. You know an I island. I that, wish I was on the um, phone. <laughs> <laughs> for turquoise, that is, for genuine turquoise, that is absolutely that's ridiculous. This is going to sell out in seconds. I've got loads of people coming through um, purchasing two loads of these. I mean, that doesn't surprise me at all. Look how easy these have been set as well, using earring backs as, um, as, 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 as a finding. Isn't that clever? Oh, isn't that clever, you, yes. Using a butterfly back and just kind of unfurling yeah. it almost. Let me show you the back of these, actually. Because that's definitely something which you might want to have a go at doing. Gorgeous. That's Only really 10 neat, remaining. isn't it? Really lovely, isn't it? And I assume she's probably set the pendant in the same way as well. Um, that is absolutely incredible. They're about to sell out. Um, £19.95. pence. Tom said this morning we might be able to do £49.95. Um, and the reason why we're doing these at £19.95 today is, is purely because of how amazingly popular the Argentium has been, how wonderful it's been having um, Elizabeth here. So I think we can blame you for this price. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous well done that's completely sold out well done everyone gorgeous right um well that was exciting wasn't it let's do um oh it's not in there it's not in there it's from the nine did you say is it from the nine yeah it's not in there love there's nothing in there apart from some bags nine Okay, so we've got some FlexRite coming up. Have you heard of FlexRite? I haven't, Do you know what no. That is? What is it? It's an amazing material made... Um, um, it, 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 it's an amazing material where you get precious metal, you plate it on top of... Um, um, you plate it on top of normally stainless steel and then you coat it in, in uh, like a clear nylon. So what you have basically is almost a... Well, with the one that we're doing today, it's a precious metal um, um, beading thread, pretty much. Oh, it's right. absolutely gorgeous. So this is... Um, an amazing material, which we're just trying to find. Any minute now, Michael, that's, uh, that'll be great. Here he is. Here's the flex right. Come on. Oh, was it not there? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, right. So the flex right 49. It's 49 strands. Can I just have the packaging, please, lovely? That, that would be, um, just even that would be useful. Thanks, love. So you've got your, oh, thanks, love. So you've got your 24 karat gold plating on top of your stainless steel, 49 strands of your stainless steel, and it's coated in a clear nylon. So you basically have, um, for want of a better description, um, uh, pretty much precious metal beading thread. It will be here. This isn't the Emperor's New Clothes. Look at it. Isn't it lovely? Look at how flexible it is. 
It's really amazing, isn't it? Lovely. If you've seen it before, if, if I don't know, I'll show you a picture of it because that's a, just a bit of a, a bit of a joke, really, isn't it? Kind of, I'm um, just showing you the packaging for it. Let me put that down. It's very sticky. But not sticky go. enough. <laughs> yes, exactly. Not sticky enough to keep hold of it, is it? Goodness me. Twenty nine ninety five um, for your fantastic flex right today. There you go. Beautiful. Um, made by Beadsmith, who are a fantastic brand name. Um, and and uh, we worked. Um, oh, thank you. There it is. You've got it. Way twenty nine ninety five. There you are, everyone. Now this is really lovely and flexible, Elizabeth. I promise. And so and it's a lovely colour, actually. Smooth, isn't it's it? Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I, I teach some beading mainly to the ladies at the WI, and I didn't really, I didn't know you could get there you are. that. Flex right, yeah. yeah. Learned something today. They do today. it in sterling silver. They also do it just in the stainless steel. You can get flex right forty nine, so that's forty nine strands all twisted together. Yeah. You can also get. Um, I think you can get another flex right as well, but they do it in stainless steel, stainless steel plated with sterling silver, stainless steel plated with 24 karat gold, they do it in brass, and they do the pure sterling oh, silver great. as well. So it's really nice, yeah. it's a nice, it's a really lovely beading thread to use, it's, it's kind of the beading, the beading thread of professionals, shall we say. Twenty nine ninety five. well done everyone. Glad we managed to locate that. Nine. Okay, oh no, we got 11, we got it, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. Box number four, please, lovely Michael. Okay. Oh, beautiful sterling silver pearl pendant. Oh. Oh, that's really, really sweet. <gasps> beautiful quality. Here you are. So gorgeous, um, uh, genuine freshwater culture pearl, which will have been peg set and set with a beautiful um, uh, bale. That's Cubixicone that's been set into the bale there. Really lovely. Look how um, uh, beautifully um, flawless that pearl is uh, as well. The nacre is so smooth on that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Almost looks like a shell pearl, doesn't it? It's not though. It's a genuine freshwater culture pearl. It would definitely have been hand selected to go onto a piece like this because it is. It is the main. It is the main thing. It is. Um, it is the. It is the main feature, isn't it? We're at twelve pounds and ninety-five pence. We've got a couple of minutes before the end of the hour. Um, is Elizabeth staying with us for the next hour? You go, you're going to be heading off after this. I've had so much fun with you today. Will you come back? Of course I will. I'd love to. <gasps> yes, yes. But you do need to try and shoehorn in a DVD and a workshop. Okay. And a book, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> TV series. <laughs> a TV series, I know. That would be absolutely amazing. But I think our gentium can run and run and run. It is the most amazing product and I and I do feel like we've only just begun we have this. and this is it's a great starter product mm. but we can build on it mm. I can't wait and the next the next kits we're working on we're going to create some little flowers some oh. really dainty flowers um, with some great stampings using the sheet that you mentioned. How wonderful. Yes, I mean, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Just to kind of reiterate, what we're doing is we're bringing back the, uh, this kit here, the bobby earring and ring kit, which will, um, which really feature very heavily in the, in the demo that um, Elizabeth's just done. You've got your Argentium silver wire, uh, which is a 0.2, isn't it? No, that's oh, sorry, I it's think a 2 that, mil. That's 1.5, actually. 1 .5? Yes. You've got your Argentium silver, uh, no, you don't get the chain with that, sorry, I beg your pardon. You've got your pegs, you've got your jump rings, you've got your butterfly backs, and you've got your, um, you've got your uh, clasp as well for £10.95. Because I think there's something missing. I think, there I think there's the ring shanks missing from yes, that. Yes, I think you're probably right as well. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll reiterate what else you get there as well. Um, the mega kit that we bought to air, which really is a mega 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 kit was this one here now this incredible kit gives you so much it was a little bit more in price but still only 32.95 you get an enormous pearl two smaller pearls you get a butterfly back uh, two pairs of butterfly backs you get your two pin um uh, peg set uh pins you get your two posts you get uh, finer jump rings uh, of the same, of similar size, slightly thicker jump rings, and then, oh no, sorry, I beg your pardon, you get seven of the thicker jump rings, two of the smaller ones, you get the chain as well, plus you get the three pearls, and, and you get the trigger clasp. Something I just want to mention on that mm. one, because I know we mentioned um, gluing the pearls into place, mm. but what you don't need to do is glue the pearl cup into place. Once you've made the oh. earring section up, 
You yeah. do exactly the same as we did with the... You just fuse it uh, You fuse it to the edge. Brilliant. So, um, the wrong way. It's, it's only... The, the only gluing is the pearl to the silver. Yes, so let me just find those earrings. I can't, I can't think where they are. They're probably just... Here we go, there we go. Perfect. So the only gluing is, is the pearl onto the silver. Yes. The post is already... Is already yes. fluxed on. Or as if it were. you choose to make them just as the plain silver version, mm. this is. You said to me, where would I choose to emery? Mm. I would emery the back of this yes. before I put the posts onto Gorgeous. this, and that is where I would definitely go back to the demo that we did on the 11th of November, because I show you a really neat trick for how to put the posts on. Anyone, anyone who came, um, anyone who's come through today to get any of these pieces, please watch this show back on our YouTube channel. Watch the show back um, that we did on the 11th of November on our YouTube channel as well. I'd like to extend my congratulations to everybody who came through to get all these pieces. And Elizabeth, it has been an absolute joy having you with us. Great, and I've so enjoyed much. being here. Thank Brilliant. you. Brilliant. Do come back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'll see you in a couple of seconds, but thank you very much, Elizabeth. Okay. It's been awesome. Thank you. See you in a bit, guys. I'll see you in a couple of Bye. seconds uh, for Last in Stock. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our breakfast club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website, where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. 
We now have the guest checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello. Welcome back. Wasn't Elizabeth... Why is that just sitting there? Wasn't Elizabeth amazing? Isn't she just a fantastic lady? It was brilliant to have her on the show. I have been totally bitten by the Argentian bug, if there is such a thing. It's been absolutely fantastic. Michael, should we move those things from there, love? What do you reckon? Yeah. They just don't look that great there, do they? No. Come on, you come in and oh, do that. Okay. Yeah, come on. You take that off. Take all of that. Here we go. And that. And I'm going to do this. Here we go. That's a bit better. There we go. Right, so we've got loads coming up in this hour. It is literally last in stock, though. So I've got this incredible... Um, this incredible strand of Dalmatian Jasper coming your way. It is an absolute beauty, this one. And Tom Neary is producing this hour. He has decided to do something very naughty with the price of this, haven't you, Neary? Oh, dear me, I've got indigestion. Right, so that's going to be exciting. Um, Grand Didier, right? Oh, my word! 15 minutes time, Grand Didier, right? Over five carats of Grand Didier. Right, look at the quality you're getting here. The clarity, absolutely incredible. This is going to be coming up in about 15 minutes time. We've also got an adjustable heart slider chain. 22 inch in length. Is this solid gold? It is, isn't it? Or is it gold plated silver? I think it is yellow gold. Yeah, I think it is just yellow gold. Nine carat yellow gold uh, necklace with adjustable heart on it. Can you see that there? Beautifuls. Gorgeous. That's going to be really exciting. That's going to be up in half an hour's time. So, loads to get through. Loads to get through. Let's start with number one. Well, you say it should be. It's actually in number 25, but anyway. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. We've only got a few left in stock. A lot of items in this hour. We've got ones and twos left off. If Tom can even be bothered, he'll put the, uh, he'll put the quantities on screen. But honestly, we've got so few of these items left uh, that they're just going to be on and gone. £21.95 for 280 carats of your floor, right? Crashing. Let's get the price point down straight away for you. Here we go, everyone. Absolutely fantastic. Just get involved. Here we go. £12.95. There you go, everyone. Love that. Don't you love that beautiful triangular one? Isn't that gorgeous? It's really beautiful. Well done. Beautiful stripes, gorgeous kind of zones of colour as well. Who's going to get it? I've got three people on the phone lines there. I've only literally got one chance available. Deborah, it could be you, my darling. It could be anybody um, uh, watching us now, but you do need to get through as soon as possible. Well done. 12 95 gone. It's gone. Yeah, appetite. Here we go. Here we go. Appetite nuggets. Graduated faceted nuggets. 
Check it out. We've got J lovely Jenny on the mid slash late show. Appetite graduated faceted nuggets. There they are looking gorgeous. Look at the beautiful, look at the green color there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? $49.95 already. An amazing deal for 44 carats of your beautiful appetite. Amazing deal. It's an amazing uh, midday hour deal, Michael, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's an amazing mid-hour deal deal. Mid-hour deal deal? 49, I don't know what he's talking about. 49.95. Let's get that price point down for you. Here we go. It, it's not going to stick around long, is it, Neary? It's not going to stick around long. <laughs> All the way down to 12.95. What are you doing, Michael? £12.95. pence. Well done. What an amazing deal. So we've got the Dalmatian Jasper coming up in 15. We've got the gorgeous um, uh, yellow, yellow gold uh, chain coming up at half past. And we've got the beautiful Grand Didier. Right? So we've got loads to look forward to. Well done. Scott. Next. Peruvian Opal, Peruvian Opal. Look at these. Oh, beautiful. So I said to uh, Michael the other day, I said, jewellery maker's amazing. And he said, Peruve it. Oh, oh, those were the days. Per Peru. Peruve it. Right, it's fine. It's your prerogative to actually... Um, <laughs> Peruvian Opal graduated nuggets. Here we go. $29.95. Let's get that price point. Dan. Down to Bargain Town. Here we go. Janet, are you going to get this one? Janet's going to get it. $17.95. Well done. What a gorgeous right there. you go, everybody. Gorgeous. Janice in London, are you going to take this one, my darling? Or it could go to somebody on the phone lines if you press number one straight away and you get it. Well done. He's sneaking on the website. Why not? A bit of sneakage on the website there. Well done, 17 pounds and 95 pence. That is a big old carrot weight. Big, big, beautiful Peruvian opals there. Look at that, look at that gorgeous stoniness. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, beautiful, well done. Moo kite, moo kite wheels. Beautiful. Oh, what a lovely strand. Mustards, burgundies, creams, mocha colours. How many? How many have we got, Tom? Two, two available. 260 carats of your Mooka wheels. Wheelie, wheelie, amazing, Michael. Peruvic, Carol. No, this is Mookite. 24.95. Let's get it under a tenner. Yes, let's get it under £10, shall we? Come on. Here we go. We've got, a, we've got a rush because we need to move along. This price is going down under, Carol. Amazing. $9.95. Amazing. Really, really quick. Yes, well done, Ollie. Lovely. $9.95 for you. To, oh, was that Neary? Was that Tom Neary? There we go. Uh, by the way, it's not, it's not Tom producing. It's Tom Neary producing. It's so, so Neary. Aussie to get involved. Sheila, well done to you, my darling, and Angela, well done. It's so Aussie. To... What are you talking no, about? You weird person. Right, well done, everyone. 9.95. Go. Ombre aquamarine. And oh, we've only got one, as far as I can remember. Uno. Uno, por favor. So only one available, ombre aquamarine. I tell you what, whoever gets this, you are going to be the owner of one of the most amazing strands we have in the business. We're going to take the price point straight down. 10 carats of ombre aquamarine. Aquamarine. La, 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 la. Crashing the price down. Here we go. Aquamarine. Only one chance. 24.95. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the sparkle on those. Beautiful sparkle, gorgeous colour, beautiful ombre tones in there. And you also they for under £25. Absolutely fantastic. You've got to be fast. You've got to be ever so fast to come through for all these incredible deals. Looking back over the um, over the kits and everything that we've been doing over the last over the last few hours here, um, I've got a couple left of a couple of the kits, Argentin kits, if you want to add those onto your order. I've got a collector in Kent. I've got Richard. It's gone to Sheila. Well done, lovely Sheila. Sheila in Washington. I think, isn't Washington in the UK as well? There is a Washington, isn't there? A Boston. There's a Boston as well. Two more opportunities, then it's time for the Grand Diddy, you right. Yeah. Gorgeous ruby graduated rondelles here. 
They're lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Beautiful colour. So juicy. So lovely and juicy. It's like a Morello cherry, isn't it? Um, isn't it, uh, Mikal? Yes. Yes, it is. Absolutely beautiful. Really lovely and juicy. All the way from India. Twenty four ninety five. Do you know what? That's a brilliant price point. Collector might have already taken this. Oh, let's get that price point down before it sells out. Here we go. Come on, Neary. Hit that button. He's pressing crash. Two people want it. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's sold out at 17.88. Amazing. Well done. Smokey Quartz, have you got time for this one, Michael? Quartz, we have Smokey. Do we have Quartz, we do. That's all you needed to say. Don't over, don't over egg the pudding. Tom, if I hear you say Scotland's National Gemstone one more time, get out the room. Let Neary do his thing. So Scotland's National Gemstone. Smoky Quartz graduated rectangles. Like bars of chocolate. Should we get rid of the two on that price, says, uh, says Neary. Yes, let's do it. Let's do this today for 9 95 Three available. Three available. For 9 95 each. Well done. Grand Diddy Wright coming up next. Fantastic. One's gone to a collector in Kent. Well done to you, my darling. Collector in County Durham. I've got two people on the phone lines. I've got Erica in Cleveland. I've got three people on the phone lines. Who's going to get it? I've only got a couple of chances left. Well done. It could go to anybody there. Well done, Joanne, Neil and Linda. It could go to you, darling, but you've got to check out. I've got five people for the last two. For the last one. Debbie. It's gone. Oh, it's gone. Well done. Gorgeous, well done. Right, Grand Diddy Ride Star by coming up now. This is ridiculous, it's amazing. Very, very limited in stock. We do, uh, 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 uh. Grand Diddy Ride. Here it is. Oh, Ollie's going to get the 60 second clock out. The 60 second? The 60 second clock. Um, Michael, have you got your 60 second clock ready? Yes. So, Granddaddy Wright, one of the rarest gemstones on planet Earth. This is Granddaddy Wright all the way from Madagascar. A gemstone which notoriously has sold in the past in gem quality examples for $20,000 a carat. You are looking at over five carats of, will you sit still? There we go, of Grand Diddy right here. Um, the clarity and the colour and the fact that these are faceted really make these unbelievably desirables. Uh, they are absolutely incredible. Thank you, lovely, 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 lovely. So over five carats of your Grand Diddy right here. I wish I had more chances available, but unfortunately we've only got how many chances? Two, is it, uh, Neary? Two, two chances available. Are we going to start the clock now or are we going to start it? Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd bring that. Yeah. OK, so over five carats of your granddaddy, right? Two chances available. Absolutely. Just you don't, 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 don't touch it. Ninety nine ninety five. But we're going to go lower. Shall I, shall I tap start? Go. It's a go, go, go. There we go. So we've got 57 seconds. And then, oh, look at that. Ollie's Ollie's kind of you go. It, it's a twisty in move, isn't it? Um, joy. Um, oh, my word. It might even be. Do you know what? I'd just do the price if I were you, Neary, because one's gone already to join Essex. I've got Michelle in Dorset. If you want it, lovey, just come through and get it quickly. We will honour the lower price point, though, just to let you know. Do you know what? We've got 33 seconds, and then, and then, and then the price is going to go down. Don't worry. We will honour that lower price point, though, if you do want to come through and get it right now. Can we not make this clock go a bit quicker? <laughs> oh, dear me. Absolutely amazing. I've got two people there. Oh, my word. Andrew and Hampshire could go to you. We're at 99.95. Margaret in Merseyside wants to get this as well. Oh, my word. Should we just do the price? Should we just get, yeah, come on. Yeah, there we go. Cancel. There we go. Let's do the price. Let's just do the price. Let's just do it because I've got five people with this in the basket. It's going to be fast as fingers first. Richard, Susan, Angela, Margaret, Andrew, Michelle, 69.95. Hit, go, 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 go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Joy's got hers. 
I've got seven people there for the last one. Collector and Kenty could go to you, my lovely. It's gone to Susan. Susan and Joy. Joy to the world. Join us in 12 minutes for our star buy, which of course is the, um, oh, is it the chain? Oh yeah, it is the chain, isn't it? And the Dalmatian Jasper. Dalmatian Jasper. You what? Saying I'll forget things. I'm in the moment, Tom. I'm in the moment. Oh, isn't it lovely? Sold out. <laughs> I got it, honey. Black Matrix Opal. It's all about the opal. People are starting to get the idea. You're quite right, Neary. Uh, Black Matrix Opal graduated playing six to mil, uh, six, six to mil, six to nine mil rounds. All right, Michael, it's not that funny. I think you've had big 60 mil. 60 mil. Oh, well. That would be, yeah, that would be very large. Um, oh, my gosh. Right. Um, so 69.95 for your Black Matrix Opal. This is what you should be looking for on these larger ones. Only, only just because I just saw the colours. You get pinpricks of colour. Uh, we are at 69.95, an amazing deal already, but we're going to be going lower. Oh, that's useful. Thank you for that. Little overhead shot a Rooney. There we go. See those colors? Oh, gosh, I'm going the wrong way. See those colors there? 19.95, Collector and Kemp, well done. One left. <gasps> Who's going to get the final one? Collector, it could go to you. I've got um, a, another collector coming through. Got more people on the phone lines. One left at 1995. This is the exact one you're going to be getting here. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love a bit of Black Matrix Opal. I really, really do. All the way from Honduras as well. Collector of Merseyside, it could go to you as well. It's also natural as well. A lot of the opal that you see, which is this colour, has been smoked. Um, this is natural. It's beautiful. And you get the pinpricks of colour within the opal coming out. And I really like that. Someone said the other day, I can't remember where I heard it. It might have been on the radio, that, that they say the sky is not stars in the sky. It's a black cloth with uh, pinpricks, and those pinpricks are heaven shining through. <sighs> I just like that thought. Coming up in 10 minutes time. The chain. Da -da 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 -da. I was listening to, um, oh no, because you'll take the mickey out of me. I was listening to Fleetwood Mac yesterday. One of my favorite albums is Rumours, I love it. And um, the, the song, The Chain. It's a beautiful song, isn't it? The chain. There you go. The chain coming up. <laughs> coming up. Look at that, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Can't wait. Ten minutes time. Oh, baby, baby. Baby, baby. Push it. Ah, push it. <laughs> Push it real good. Black Spinel, will you look at the state of these? They are epic. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. The luster on these is like A-list celebrity, isn't it? Think of a celebrity quickly. Who would wear this, Michael? Scarlett Johansson. Yes, Scarlett Johansson. For sure. Christina Ricci, someone kind of a bit quirky as well. Someone very kind of yesteryear uh, with, their, with their kind of their fashion, with the beautiful kind of 1920s hair. Oh, my word. 29.95. That is epic. Can I put this up to my neckline, please? Put it up to the older. Oh, my word. I love it. I love it. We're at 29.95. Let's get that price point down. Gee, where's the old double chinage on that? Cool. Wowzers. Sheila, well on to Richard as well. More people coming through. <gasps> well done, Desiree. Do you look at my double chins? Uh, well done, Sheila. Gorgeous. Sheila. Speaking of Sheila, we've got Sheila on the mid-show tomorrow, haven't we? Am I right in saying that? Or is it Sunday? Linda on the morning and Sheila on the mid. Both of them on both. There we go. Both of them on both. There you are. Some gorgeous pearls coming up. You've got a bit of everything coming up tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. <whistles> Multicolour Aura Light.
four available. Four available. Gorgeous colours. Do you know what I thought it was? I thought it was um, the Spinel strand that we've got. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Mind in Canada. It's the most incredible um, uh, gemstone. Lots and lots of healing properties attributed with Auralite. It's absolutely gorgeous. You've got your incredible um, uh, colours going through here, which are very kind of sapphire spinel-like. Yes, lovely, Mike. I'm about to say spinel-like colours. It is, isn't it? It's like your gorgeous kind of uh, purple spinels. It's absolutely gorgeous. £12.95. A gemstone um, used for soul connection and purification. It is only myth and legend, obviously, but, you know, what a fascinating uh, gem. Erica, Margaret, collectors, well done. I've only got four. Well, I had four. I don't have four anymore. £12.95. What an amazing deal for you today. Absolutely gorgeous. All the way from Canada. Really, really beautiful. One left now. Oh, yeah. Do you know what, Tom? I'd love some... Oh, no, I've got some water. Washington's in the northeast. There we go. That's where she's... Yeah, there we go. Gorgeous. Well done. One left. Uno más. Por favor. Okay, next. Oh. Slabs. Oh, my word. Labradorite slabs. Do you know what I'm making tonight for dinner? You've got me on the... Uh, you've got me thinking about it. And I think it was maybe... The eight o'clock hour this morning, mac and cheese. Ooh. Mac and cheese. See, if it was, I, normally I, put, I do mac and cheese with pancetta in, but I'm not doing that. No, thank you. I'm all right, Tom. I don't want a drink. Thank you, darling. I'm fine. No, I drink. Uh, so, uh, Labradorites graduated fancy cut slabs. Amazing. Off he goes. <laughs> that's near, uh, sorry, that's not near. That's uh, Tom Stewart talking. $24.95. Oh, he's cross now. There we go, everybody. These are gorgeous. They're, I mean, they're serrated, aren't they? Alison Tarry could make the most epic dagger out of these, couldn't she? A dirk or a dagger, wouldn't she? I mean, she loves making her daggers, doesn't she? These would be the perfect blade. Oh, look at those. Oh, how many do we have, Tom? Just the one. So this is the actual one you're going to be getting. Look at that colour. Look at that big face absolutely incredible oh my word that's absolutely beautiful gosh that makes me want to watch game of thrones again do you know what i mean it really does has anyone done that has anyone watched has anyone watched game of thrones twice have you done that ollie have you seven times well you've rewatched all of them Did anyone not do worth, it? it's not worth doing though is it? do you not think it's worth doing no kirsten it could go to richard I've only got one chance. It was just so beautifully, oh, it, was just, it was just so good, wasn't it? Such an epic series. Such an epic series. Such a shame it has to end. Gorgeous, well done everyone. Uh, that's pretty much gone. I've, I've, I've got a, a couple of people fighting over that. Right, three, six, nine, 12. We've done 12 products in 26 minutes. We are running out. What are we doing now? Chrysa Cola, Chrysa Cola, Chrysa Cola, Chrysa Cola. Chrysocola, la la la, look at this chain, look at this chain, look at the chain, look at the chain, the chain's coming up in about four minutes. <whistles> Gorgeous, well done, so the beautiful uh, nine carat yellow gold chain coming up. Chrysocola, 24.95, really nice strand, you're absolutely right, all the way from the Congo. Beautiful quality. Look at those gorgeous colours. Only one available. This is the exact one you're going to be getting. The benefit of just doing last in stocks, as in th there's only one available, is you are looking at the actual one you are going to be getting. And I think that's brilliant, Michael. Yeah. Isn't that great? It's grand. It's great. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. 70 carats in total, 1995 for you today. Well done, my lovelies. Can I just show this with the Grand Didier, right? I mean, I know the Grand Didier, right, sold out, but those two together... With, the t with today's amazing deal of the day, deal of the day, bomb, bomb. <whistles> Susan, Anne, well done. Um, I've only got one chance left, so one of you needs to check out or someone, oh, Anne's taken it. Well done, darling. Anne in Greater London, Greater yeah, London, yeah, Greater yeah. London. Anne. One more and then the chain. Yeah. Say that again. Say that again. As in rubelite. As in proper rubelite. Right. 
When did we get this in stock? July? Rubellite. What is rubellite? Rubellite is the red variety of tourmaline. It is one of the rarest varieties of tourmaline that there is. It's all the way from Nigeria. That is the biggest carrot weight rubellite strand I've ever seen. In fact, I've never bought you a rubellite strand. The only time I've ever seen rubellite is in solitaire rings, which I used to sell on Gems TV for, you know, triple figures. 40, look how shiny it is. Can you see how shiny that is, Michael? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shiny. Shiny like a wealthy woman's neck. Beautiful. <laughs> $49.95. Collector and Kent, you're already there. Um, I need someone to check out. That is... Okay, we've taken every single penny off this. £24.98. That is amazing. Sheila, is Sheila going to get this on the North East? I don't know. Could go to Susan, Richard, Collector and Kent. That is Ooh. absolutely phenomenal. That is gorgeous. I love that. Proper rubelite, that is. And not just one. Getting loads of them. Sheila's just... Snaffling everything. You go for it, darling. Time for a star buy. It's time for the chain. This is nine carat yellow gold. Only a few available. Let's go. Okay, Neri. Um, Break it to me gently. How many of these do we have? Don't be ridiculous, Neary. Is that it? Two. Disappointed. I'm not angry. I'm just, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> it's not going very well for you, is it, Neary? <laughs> so amazing chain amazing chain nine carat yellow gold that is a beauty that is solid nine carat yellow gold why do we not do more solid solid nine carat yellow gold because it's too expensive basically it, it, it it's an incredibly um high-end metal it costs us a lot to make pieces out of solid nine carat yellow gold. So for that reason, we can't, we can't, we don't tend to bring it to you. When we do, it just sells out. I've got two available. What? Already three people on the phone lines for this. Gee whiz, Neary. This has got an extendable, um, it, you can either wear it at 22 inches or any length shorter than that because this little ball will allow you to make this necklace shorter. Can I show people what that, what, that, what that looks like? So wear it at 22 inches, which is this length here, or pull that and wear it shorter. You can have it down, going down your back like an extender or round, no, it's just the way Ollie said it. Or you can have it down the front. <laughs> All right, I have a hairy neck. Avoid the avoid the neck beard, do you mean? The old <laughs> The hairy back. Just you have you been have you been uh, have you been spying on me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 59.95. There you are. I don't know what you're laughing at, Michael. I've recently been Michael Furball uh, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous well done to Susan. Carolyn, collector, you could uh, both take one of these. Um, oh, sorry, no, only one of you could take one of these because um, I've only got one left, basically. Uh, but well done. I mean, that is amazing. 59.95 for a solid nine carat yellow gold chain. Well done. That is beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous quality. Absolutely exquisite quality. Beautiful having a curb chain of this, of this length as well, a 22 inch curb chain. Absolutely gorgeous. Morag, well done to you, my lovely. Absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, it, could go to, it could go to one of one of the three people who've got this in baskets. Oh, there we go. So have you recently been defuzzed then, uh, Michael? Yeah. Imax. I had a massage or, a few days ago. You had a massage my, the other day? My first proper like, sports massage. Spo uh, they're amazing, aren't they, sports oh. massages? They're incredible. Did you drink lots of water afterwards? Yeah, for, for an hour. And literally, she didn't stop talking for an hour. Painful. Coming up, 15 minutes. Oh, it's gone to Morag. Well then, Morag and Susan got that beautiful chain. Look at that bad boy. Bad boy, what you what gonna do? do? 
So, beautiful Dalmatian Jasper coming up. Don't <laughs> steal my thunder all the time, mate. Yeah, we do have a decent quantity of that, thank goodness. What about the other ones? We've got the Kyanite. It's just easier to come in order, Neary, isn't it? I'm not bullying. I'm just saying what about it. It's my favourite gemstone. <laughs> Kyanite plain rectangles. Beautiful. Don't you look at the size of these. Absolutely amazing. Oh, don't you love that silver, silver shiller. One available, one available. 39.95, I'll tell you what, if this is left, by the time the graphics come off, I'm having it. Okay? There you go. We're at 39.95. <laughs> Let's get that price point in. Well done, everyone. 140 carats of natural, gorgeous kyanite all the way from Brazil. Beautiful, beautiful gemstone, I love it. Just love all the layers. Love all the interest, love the story this gemstone tells you. In every single gemstone, it tells you a slightly different story. It's wonderful, isn't it? Very, very cold gem as well. I, don't know, I just love my blue gemstones. I really, really do. It's gorgeous quality, isn't it? $29.95, one chance available. That is two, four, six, eight, ten. That's 11 rings you can make there. That is less than £2.90 a gemstone. Amazing. Gorgeous. Well done. Go on. Who's it gone to, Neary? Who's it gone to? <laughs> Sheila in Washington, you are, you're on it. She knows it, doesn't she? There's nothing in that one. Okay, let's do the specitite then. Hang on, who's made, Tom Stewart's made a coffee for Ollie and, what, and wants and to know how many spoonfuls of coffee you put in it. How many spoonfuls? <laughs> what? Three what? Two lots of coffee in and three sachets of sugar. Two spoonfuls of coffee and three spoonfuls of sugar. Oh. <laughs> Ollie, that's like the night that you and I had the espresso martinis and and um, and, uh, and and uh, awake for the entire evening. I'm a little bit tipsy and I can't sleep. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Palpitations. <laughs> Specitite garnet. We went together. I was at home and Ollie was at his house. Um, but, we, but the next day, both of us admitted that neither of us could sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and another one. Specitite Garnet graduated fasted Rundells. This is such a premium strand. Fifty nine ninety five. Amazing already. Dusty. Have you had any more of that coffee, uh, Ollie? <laughs> oh dear me. Thirty nine ninety five. One's already gone. Fantastic. How many do we have? <laughs> Only a few. Two or three, I think. Hardly two left. There we go. So we started with three. Well done. Thirty nine ninety five for thirty eight carats of natural specitite to go with the uh, with the um, zavrite that we bought you earlier on, and to go with the um, with the other one that we did as well. I can't remember. It was probably specitite again. Um, um, fantastic. Janice on the phone lines. Rosemary and Devon. Well done to you, my lovely. Um, I've literally only got one left. Who's it going to go to? Thirty nine ninety five for your gorgeous specitite garnet. Such high quality, and it is of course this month's birthstone as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Well done. Keep coming through for that bad boy. Tanzanite, no, that's not Tanzanite, that's blue Ethiopian opal. Blue Ethiopian opal. I'd love the good news. Yes, please, uh, Neary. Four of this one available. Gorgeous. Blue isn't my favourite colour, but all but pretty much my favourite gemstones are blue. Isn't that weird? Or maybe not. It's a good story, isn't it? Do you have any more stories like that? <laughs> I've got the diary story. I can tell that again. No? No. Nah. No? You don't want to hit no? Okay. Uh, <laughs> it is the world's most boring story, isn't it? Uh, Blue Ethiopian Opal graduated rondels. Hey, joking aside, you know where uh, people are saying that they use my diary story to put them to sleep? Have you heard... And it was on the Graham Norton show. Um, uh, somebody was on there, and I can't. It was Michael Bublé who listens to a sleep track 
MP3 thing, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, like a sleep thing every night. And it's Matthew Mahonahay doing getting ready for sleep. And I, he would he would put me, to, I mean, that, that voice, oh, that yeah. voice. Can you imagine Matthew Mahonahay reading my diary story, maybe? That would be instant KO. I've, I've heard that one. Kirsty's got the app and it's, she, she goes to sleep to it's amazing. all the greats. All the greats, okay. Five people on the lines. Um, we're at twenty nine ninety five. I've only got four of these available. Susan, Collector in Dorset, Collector in Kent. I've got I've got bidders on the phone. I've got five people on the phone lines for this. Twenty nine ninety five. You've got to get it home. You've got to get it home and see that gorgeous quality. Um, beautiful. See it in the natural sunlight. Although it is dyed blue, you get the gorgeous natural opalescence out of these as well, which is really really lovely. Twenty nine ninety five for you today, Caroline. It could go to you, my lovely, but you need to check your baskets out. Well done. Check out your baskets now. Do it now. So we've got four people on the phone lines now. Could go to any of you, but you've got to check out now. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Right, let's go. Two opportunities and it's a Dalmatian. There we go. Right, what are we doing? There is. There's nothing, there's nothing. Then there's neon. Neil? Who's Neil? <laughs> oh, you did say Neil. I thought you said Neil. <laughs> Neil, Neil, orange peel. Here we go. So. <gasps> that, hello. What was that, Michael? I think it's too much coffee in, in one stick. Oh, did you have one of Tom's yeah. coffees? Yeah. Did you have two spoonfuls, two shovels of uh, coffee in there as well? Tom, Tom Stewart, are you going to rectify these um, appalling drinks that you've made or not? Knowing Tom Stewart, though, he'll probably make them again and do something horrible to them. 30? 30 available. 30 chances available. Look at that incredible colour. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Oh, that's proper neon appetite, isn't it? Gorgeous colour. Beautiful at 44.95. They've got a one mil drill hole in them. So you can get your one mil wire through there, your 0.8 millimeter gauge wire through there. No problem whatsoever. Gorgeous quality. All the way from Madagascar coming at you. Beautiful. We only got this in August. 24 pounds and 95 pence for 30 carats of Neon Appetite. Incredible, well done. Gorgeous, go, 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 well done. At just 24 pounds and 95 pence for your incredible Neon Appetite. That's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful colour, I've got 30 available, who's gonna get it? Well done. Collectors coming through, that's really great to see. Check your baskets out as soon as you can. Well done, everyone. We've got the lowest ever price star buy. And coming up in one opportunity's time. Ollie, what are you talking about? What story are you telling about lasagnas? <laughs> what were you just talking about in there? I'm trying. He's just loving it anyway. <laughs> well done to Susan. Julie's got yours. Well done to you as well. Less than a pound per carrot. That's absolutely brilliant. Well done. Just to, just to clarify, <laughs> just to clarify, Ollie, the uh, Tupperware box. I don't know if is um is Elizabeth still here? Is Elizabeth still here? She's, she's left. Le egg. She's left a boiled egg here. She's left a boiled egg and some. Argentium silver. Hungry, you can have that mixed with some mayo and put on a piece of toast. Oh no, don't open it then. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> let's do some lovely rhyolite. Shapes of rhyolite. Let's get a bit further forward. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Such a wally, I know. Now, rhyolite. Oh, my word. Look at the size. I'm just going to put these down here because look, look at the size of those. Let's turn these beauties around. Look at those. Oosh. They're amazing. 
put them up like this, they look like standing stones, don't they? Like a ke like Celtic standing stones, like a stone circle almost, don't they? Have you seen the movie Brave? Aren't they like the stone circles in Brave, Ollie? With the little will of, will of the wisps? Oh, just spat everywhere then, sorry. <laughs> £24.95 pence for your beautiful Rhylite. I'd mix this maybe with some gallery wire and make them look really, um, really high end, really kind of, um, really kind of make an occasion of them. At £24.95, that's fantastic. 140 carats in total. Let's get that incredible price point down even lower. Let's take £10 off that price point. Oh, gee whiz. The wheels have definitely fallen off the show. £14.95. Well done, everyone. Well done. Thank you so much for doing these amazing deals, Neary. Thank you for doing... Padan. Thank you for doing these amazing deals, Neary. They're the best deals ever. They are the best deals ever. Can you do some more producing um, hours? Can you? That'll be it. Can you do some more producing? Yeah, producing. Yes, I think he said. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. Almost time for a star buy. Yes, it's almost time for the beautiful Dalmatian Jasper, which Neary's going to be doing the most ridiculous price on. Very itchy. It would go very well. <whistles> oh, paper, paper. Look at those together. They look great, don't they? Great. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Fourteen ninety-five. Well done. They look like claws as well, don't they? Should we do it now? Start by coming up right now. It's time for your beautiful Dalmatian Jasper. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Sorry, I don't know what Michael's trying to tell me, but um, anyway. Um, so, um, you have got here... An amazing deal for Dalmatian Jasper. Now, Neri has picked this one out particularly, A, because it's got a biggish quantity, B, most importantly, it's going to be a cheeky price. Mm -hmm. Naughty, naughty, very naughty. So, oh, let's get the, Michael, get your clock out. There we go. So we've got the uh, 60 second clock ready to go. The 60 second clock ready to go. Okay, so let's get those graphics on. There we go. So graphics on. Here's your first price. Any minute now. 24.95. Now I'll tell you something, you can forget that price. You can forget about it because it's not your deal today. How about we take this under 10 pounds today? I need to see you there. I have a decentish quantity. Uh, we got a, a decent quantity, don't we Neary? 100 chances available. So what I'm going to suggest is pop it in your basket. You don't need to check out until you see the price, until you're happy with the price, but it's going under a tenner. Okay, so let's get that 60 second clock going. There we go. There you are, mate. So 54 seconds and then the price is going to go down. Put it in your basket. We're going to be doing something ridiculous on the price point today. It's not going to be 24.95. We're going to go way, 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 way down. Under £10. Lots of you there. This is great to see. Check your baskets out. If you like the thought of getting 90 carats of natural Mexican Dalmatian Jasper for under a tenner, then I'd just check out because that's where we're going to be going all the way down. Already loads of you there with this in your baskets. Please do check out as soon as you can. That's really great to see. Well done. Collectors coming through on the phone lines. Lots of people there on the phone lines. That's great to see. Well done. People are going to be multi-buying this. We've literally got 18, 17 seconds and then we're going to be taking the price point down. I need to see you there. It's under £10 we're going to be taking this. And I tell you something, it's not going to be 9 95 or even 8 95 or even 7 95 It's going to be lower. Well done, loads of people. Sheila's just bought three. Well done, darling. All the way down. Zero, zero. Oh. Ninety-five, five ninety-five, five ninety-five, ninety-five. Well done, amazing. Loads of people coming through. That's great to see. I like that. I think we should do all of our prize crashes like that. Boom, 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 boom
Well done. It's £5.95. pence. Well done. It's flying out the door. Loads of multi bidders. That's great. You've got about, we must have about 50% of people multi buying there. That's absolutely brilliant. Well done, everybody. Loads and loads of people coming through. Seven pence a carrot. Absolutely amazing. Seven pence a carrot for your incredible Dalmatian Jasper today. Well done, everybody. Um, We've got multi-bidders. This is great. It's going to London, Caerphilly, Hampshire, Washington, Warwickshire County, down to Cambridge, Park, Belfast, Eton, Montier, and all of its vendors. Loads of people coming through. That's great to see. Well done. Absolutely fantastic. Keep coming through for that because that should have been twenty-four ninety-five today. Five pounds ninety-five. How brilliant is that? Brilliant. Oh yes, please. Thank you, lovely uh, Michael. There we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. More people coming through. Please check. Everybody buying twos and threes of that bad boy. Well done. Bad boys. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come for you? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Well done. Right, next. Look at these. Here we go. So beautiful black hearts. Who sung Black Hole Sun? Was that Soundgarden? Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Do you remember that song? Song of the 90s, that was. It's a great song, wasn't it? Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden. Right, Black Agate Hearts. I might have to listen to that this afternoon, actually. It's a great song. £16.95 for 380 carats of your beautiful Black Agate. Oh, on the strand, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 20 on there, my lovelies. 9.95 for you today. Well done. That's brilliant. I've got about 25 of these left. That's 20 hearts you're getting on. How much does that work out to per heart? 50p. 20. Yeah, it's 50p. 50p a heart. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, so 50p a heart. There you go. That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? 47 pence a heart. Gee whiz. Oh, I hope Hattie, my, my six-year-old, I hope she doesn't write any maths test today. She's doing a five times table today. And she's doing a spelling test with, um, so cinema, police, circle, dance, ice, necessary, and bicycle. Necessary. N-E-double-C-E-double-S-A-R-Y, I think. Yeah, double C. Yeah. 50 carat Labradorite drop. Where? Where is this? There it is. Thank you, Michael. Mikel. Solid as a rock as ever. Solid as a rock. Look at the faceting on that. Oh, it's like mossy, isn't it? Mossy, mossy, mossy. <laughs> Gorgeous. Straight down. Let's get that price point. Straight down. Neary, you're doing amazingly. Well done, lovey. Tom Stewart, has he made those other drinks or not? Has he replaced your drinks? Dreadful. Six ninety five. Oh no, Ollie's got a sore throat. <clears throat> oh love. Gorgeous. Well done. We've got a fitting an emerald and a kyanite. All right, Neary. Don't start barking orders at me. There's no dilly dallying. So six pounds ninety five pence. Well done. Fifty carats of your labradorite fasted drops. Gorgeous. Well done. Right. Let's move on. Let's move on to the kyanite. We're doing the kyanite now, Michael. I kyanite believe that, Carol. Amazing. Totally unprompted that was. Is that right? Is that right? <laughs> Thanks. Love kyanite, Mike. I feel bad for emerald because I love emerald. Emerald and kyanite, kind of joint top gemstones. Joint top gemstones. I love this gem. An enabling gemstone, a gemstone for communicators to make you into a better communicator, apparently. Love it. Oh, lovely. Uh, all the way from Nepal. Um, mind at altitude. I love it. It's beautiful. A gemstone that's literally been squeezed from oceans upwards to the top of the world. I love it. We're at £49.95. Look at the silvery light and energy coming from there. Isn't that just the most exciting gem in the world? I love it. I absolutely adore this gem. I could look at it 
all day. The silveriness, the quality you've got coming out of here is just superb. And the faceting has been done with such care and precision, these beautifully applied um, triangular facets. Loads on the strand, 49.95. There's loads of work that's been poured into this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've got time for one more opportunity, and then it's time to hand the baton over to lovely Jenny and Deb Rudd, who are with you for the mid slash late show. They're with you till six, basically. These are gigantic and they're very, very green. Gorgeous. Emerald graduated faceted rondelles. Five by three to eight to by four mil in size. Beautifully faceted emerald, 95 carats, yeah, 9.95. How do you like them apples? Absolutely amazing. That is amazing. For almost 100 carats of one of the world's most prestigious genuine gemstones, that is incredible. Look at how beautifully it goes with the kyanite as well. Those two look absolutely gorgeous together, don't they? Beautiful quality for 9.95 today. Well done, everyone coming through to get this. Beautifully faceted, use them as individuals. Gorgeous quality. Well done, everyone. Sheila, well done to you, my lovely. And um, anonymous bidders coming through as well. A couple of a couple of bees coming through. Um, people on the phone lines as well. Check your baskets out as soon as you can. Well done. What are you doing, Michael? Check out your baskets. Well done, everybody. Right, I tell you something, I've had the most amazing show today. It's been amazing having, having a little bit with us today. It's been amazing having you with us today as well, Michael. Yeah, yeah. And Ollie. And producer Tom. And producer Ooh. slash floor manager Neary as well. <laughs> coming up now, we've got lovely Jenny and we've got lovely Deb Rudger on the mid-show. They've got loads coming your way. Do not go anywhere. Becky's going to be producing as well. It's going to be fantastic. Have a fantastic weekend. You're going to absolutely love tomorrow's show as well. We've got Linda and Sheila as well. So loads coming your way. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a couple of seconds.